But yes, guys, welcome back to some more Honkai Star Rail. Just like one day before 2.2 comes out, like, like yeah, literally, <laughs> Aventurine's banner is just about to end, and Robin will be rolling around tomorrow. And in today's stream, yeah, we're gonna be watching the Honkai Impact like third cutscenes and you know learning about the lore and whatnot just in case it does come out in uh yeah come up in the 2.2 story so if y'all are wondering why like suddenly had like this urge to like learn more about Honkai Impact third it's because of well, well you know this lady right here as well as a certain old man <laughs> in this game as well so yeah a lot of things in Honkai Star Rail like are very are very much related to Honkai Impact third like a big shocker, I know. But yeah, I've been interested in the Honkai Impact lore for quite a while now, ever since I started playing Genshin. But now with uh, Honkai Star Rail out and everything, and with that whole like scene between like Welt and uh, Acheron, yeah, it makes me desperately want to know more. Conversation between Welt and Acheron always interests me, but it, like I think all of the lore like kind of flew over my head, as I think it did for like many people. So yeah, so in today's stream, we're going to be learning more about the Honkai Impact 3rd lore, uh, watching cutscenes related to it, watching the animated shorts, and watching this YouTube channel called Homu Labs that you guys recommended to me to, I guess, further explain the lore about, like, Honkai 3rd. And hopefully we should, like, yeah, understand what that Welt and Akron conversation was all about. And who knows, maybe if, it, like, anything else comes up in 2.2 about it, we will, like, know what they're talking about instead of being completely lost, <laughs> like I did, uh... Yeah, during that scene. But yes, we will be beginning with Robin's trailer first because it just came out. Then we're gonna start up with um, one of the videos that one of you guys recommends to me, which is like Hobu Lab's video about Welt Gang and like his connection to Star Rail. And then somebody, actually, let me go ahead and pull it up here. Somebody in my YouTube community tab uh, recommended me like a series of videos. Like, shout out to them, by the way. But yes, uh, Jack. Uh, Jack Carsing, like, uh, in my community tab on, like, the, on the Honkai Impact third post, posted a bunch of videos here to, like, watch. Let me just zoom in on them, just in case you guys can't see. But yeah, these are all the videos he, be he basically recommended me to watch, which is introducing to the Honkai verse, Reaver 1, and just a whole lot of these videos here. Of course, we're also gonna be watching the animated shorts on the Honkai East, um, Almost had some Honkai Star Rail. The Honkai Impact 3rd YouTube channel. Which I'm pretty sure most of these uh, videos are on that playlist. So yeah, we're going to be watching them all. And also watching some videos from Homo Labs To, I guess, further explain the lore to me. As well as to some of you guys who haven't, like, seen or know a thing about Honkai Impact 3rd. And yeah, hopefully get us to understand in more detail. That's an awesome playlist. Full experience. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to know the full thing. Because I don't think I... As much as I do want to play Honkai Impact 3rd, I think um, managing between Genshin and Star Rail is a bit much for me already. I mean, maybe one of these days I will actually play it, but uh, I don't think that day will be anytime soon. Maybe in the far future, though. Maybe I'll, like, give it a try. Yeah, and the one thing I'm still deciding is, like, what order do I watch these videos? Because, yeah, we're gonna start off with Robin's trailer first, obviously. Then we're gonna... Yeah, somebody recommended me to watch the Story of Welt Gang first, because, you know, I... We know Welts. This Welt is like the same one that is in um, Star Rail, like the Honkai Impact third version and the Star Rail version are one and the same. And also, somebody recommended me to watch the Himiko video as well to learn more about her. So I should get this stated first and foremost. Uh, the knowledge that I have about in Honkai Impact third is very, very limited. There, okay, so spoilers if you are like wanting to learn, if you want to know about Honkai Impact 3rd, obviously, but the only things I know about um, Honkai Impact 3rd is that Welt exists in that universe, and it's the same Welt in Star Rail. Bronya, Sila, and Acheron are like. Okay, and Sushang, Locha have like XPs in Star Rail that their original versions existed in Honkai Impact 3rd. I know about like. Auto Apocalypse, and he's like the main antagonist and whatnot. I know Kiana here, who's like the main MC, but I don't know too much about her. I know Raiden Mei is like the main inspiration for like Raiden Shogun in Genshin Impact, and also mm. Acheron in Honkai Star Rail. And yeah, Bronya and Sila are like a canon couple that are in Honkai Impact 3rd that's also translated to Honkai Star Rail. 
Don't know much about Sushang though. And I also heard that Yanqing is also an XP, but a much older version of him. Kokolia too. Kokolia is also like an XP as well. But I don't know much about her other than she seems to be also evil in Honkai Impact 3rd as well. And I believe that's it. That That is basically all my knowledge about uh, Honkai Impact 3rd. Also, yeah, the fact that um, Himiko has some... Um, Let's say a uh, not so nice fate in um, Honkai Impact Third, mm. but that's it. That is all my knowledge of Honkai Impact Third. I know nothing else other than like the Hershers and whatnot, and just a brief stuff you guys have told me about. But I want to understand it in full. I want to understand it in its entirety. So that's why this stream exists to understand all of the Honkai Impact Third lore, and mm. yeah, just understand it as a whole. And who knows, maybe get excited for like future characters XP's that may show up in Star Real as well. Like, who knows, maybe Kiana may show up in Star Real at some point. Maybe like one of these other girls may show up in uh, Star Real as well. Who knows? But yeah, looking forward to watching all of this and hopefully understanding the majority of everything that's happening. This is gonna be fun to watch someone who does not know much about the Honkai lore. Yeah, I'm excited, honestly. It's like diving into a brand new game, almost. Because yeah, I don't have the time for Honkai Impact 3rd as of right now, but I do want to like know the lore and whatnot, just in case it like, yeah, comes up in 2.2, like, like, I don't know, maybe Walt and Akron have another deep conversation with each, with each other. And also, yeah, the finality stuff as well, that and how that relates to like Kiana and May and whatnot. Yeah, we're gonna get into all that in the bit here. I will recommend watching the Akron Mirror Celestia trailer again at the end of the stream, and you'll notice some things. Yeah, that's what I plan to do as well. Like, go back on previous um, cutscenes, like the Welt and Acheron cutscene. Mm. And also, like, yeah, the Acheron mm. Mirror Celestia teaser as well. To see, like, if I understand it more after learning about all the Honka Impact stuff. <sighs> Be sure to hit that like button, by the way, and subscribe if, you, if you're new, because probably we'll do more of these kinds of streams in the future. But alrighty, that's our reaction to Robin's trailer completed. And now, we're gonna be moving towards... Uh, what you guys all clicked on the stream for, which is, yep, let's uh, finally get into Honkai Impact 3rd stuff. You know, actually, I got I have something to confess, guys. I thought Honkai Impact 3rd was like the third game in the series. I thought there was like a Honkai Impact 1 and 2 for some reason. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I, I just, uh, yeah, for the longest time, I thought that for some reason. But then I thought, no, Honkai 3rd is like, like, yeah, the, <laughs> the base Honkai game. It technically is. Oh yeah, true. If you do, if you do count like Gun, what was it called? It's a fourth game. Yeah, Honkai Gakken. Right, right, right. Those those games and Gun Girl Z. Yeah, those games. So I guess yeah, technically it's kind of like the third game or the fourth. But all right, let's get into yeah Honkai Impact third stuff. But yeah, okay. Uh, first of all, um, okay, just still deciding on what order to watch this in. But I think. Yeah, what one of my viewers recommended me to watch the story about Yang and also Himiko's fate first. And then move on to like the animations and stuff. And then if I need to, go back to Homo Labs to uh to have them yeah, to have them explain like the Honkai Impact like <laughs> lore as a whole. On stuff I like may not understand and whatnot. I would recommend to watch Himiko's video after the animated shorts. Oh yeah, because um I believe Final Lesson is a... Uh, Basically all around Himiko, so maybe we'll watch the Himiko video after Final Lesson. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go with <clears throat> what uh, yeah, this viewer of mine told me to watch. Um, introducing to the Honkai Verse, Reburn One, which which is here, and yeah, just all these videos in order, I think. But alright, let us go ahead and begin. Never... Yeah, also, yeah, shout out to this viewer of mine, by the way. Uh, Jess Karn Singh, you, you're a goat for real, for recommending me, like, this whole list of videos. And yeah, we'll watch some more of these videos, if I if we do have the time. Because, yeah, this is a lot to go through, but... He says I can, like, probably finish this in, like, three hours or so. So, yeah, if we need to watch more, we'll watch more. But yeah, let's begin with, uh, Homulab's explanation about Welt Yang. Uh... Yeah, because he's a character I like. I'm like most familiar with. So yeah, let's start with him. Uh, probably yeah, I'll leave subtitles on just in case um, I miss out on what words say and whatnot. But right, let's begin with uh, yeah, Hamu Labs. Everything you need to know about Welt Yang before playing Honkai Star Rail. I'm already playing Honkai Star Rail, but might as well watch this anyways. All right, beginning in three, 
two, one, let's see our granddaddy welt. If you never played Honkai Impact 3rd before, you might be very confused as to why people lose their minds over this plain looking grandpa that is seemingly obsessed with making anime and going on space adventures with a bunch of kids. <laughs> Are you fellow kids? What? It's okay though. <laughs> That's honestly like what I think in my head whenever what does this like idle animation when he like looks at his phone and then it's just like, oh, what the hell is this? Okay, let's Without continue. knowing his backstory, well, it comes out as a pretty strange guy. I even saw people saying that, and I quote, He's ugly and I don't understand why what? would anyone what? want to play. What? What do you mean, well, it's ugly? The fuck? I've never heard a person in my life say Welt is ugly. Like, to this day, I still don't have a Welt on my account, and I still want him. Also, yeah, his splash art is like references to Honkai Impact characters, right? Like, that's Otto. That's, I believe, his wife. Yeah, that's also another thing I know. Welt is, like, married. I think he has a kid, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know what this shard is all about, though. Yes, him. And to that, I'll have to borrow a quote from a certain individual known as Jesus. <laughs> them together, for they do not know what they are doing or saying in this case. Why? So, why is it okay? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm pausing so much at the beginning of this, but why is everybody calling Alicia? I, I, th I think that's her name, Jesus. I, I'll probably know in later videos. Get my glasses and let Grandpa Homo Labs tell you youngsters a story. A story about a hero who saved Earth countless times. A man that endured insurmountable obstacles and managed to rise to the challenge every time, shouting in the face of adversity, I am wealth of humanity. Holy and shit. I stand against you, Dark Queen, as a warrior guardian of the human race. So this is probably why a lot of people okay, hype up wealth so much. Are a bit corny. But even so, you can't help but fangirl over this man whenever he appears. Yes. It is no surprise that we're all Walt stands here. To be the one character from Honkai Impact 3rd to come over to Star Rail. We even have a meme in the Honkai community that Walt is just that way as a self insert in the story. Wait, anyway, really? <laughs> I've never, I've never heard anyone say that before. <laughs> before you embark on your trailblazing journey with him. Also, yep, thank God for the my ad skipper. No Don't want ads interrupting that. AKA Walt Yang is a what the? Hang on. Play that name again? Joachim Nokian Vartanen. Joachim Nokiv. What? Is that his actual name? Play that again. Joachim Nokian Vartanen, aka. I'm not even gonna try and say that. A character with a very <laughs> what? History. But before learning anything about his chadliness, we must learn about the man who. Is that. Named him what Eric language is that Wait, name? Dutch? Throughout the history of human man whose name. Wait, anything hang on. About his chadliness, we must learn about the man whose name he inherited. Welt Joyce. Okay. Welt Joyce. I've heard about him from some of you guys. Honkai incidents that lead to the deaths of thousands are referred to as Honkai eruptions. These are usually accompanied by the awakening of cursors, powerful beings. Oh, Swedish. Okay, thanks. Thanks for that. Laws. In 1952, the first Honkai eruption took place in Berlin and took the lives of 300,000 people. Amidst the ruins of the disaster, a young man that didn't have any memories of hmm. his past was wandering around. Due to a special property of the core of reason, the minds of the 300,000 deceased were absorbed into his Herscher core and allowed the man to resist the influence of the Honkai, making it possible for him to become the first Herscher that fights for humanity. Okay, the Honkai. I'm still a bit lost of what that is, but from what you guys told me, it's apparently like something that like ends the world in, in some degree. Like... I think I still don't fully understand what the Honkai is, but if you guys can fill me in, that would be much appreciated. Sorry for pausing so much, by the way. I just, yeah, want to get my thoughts out without like interrupting the video. He was eventually found by a secret organization that combats the Honkai known as Shikso. After Shikso. Years of experimentation, he was transferred. A lot of unique to names I see here. Division, where he met Mophead and Lobster, uh, I mean, what? Einstein and Tesla for the first time. He also got Mophead. to know a scientist. <laughs> this is 
<laughs> but that's another thing too. A lot of these inside jokes are probably gonna fly over my head too. The man was treated with kindness and respect, and Einstein even chose a name for him, Welt, which is German for world, and Joyce after the Irish author James Joyce. In the time spent there, Welt catches the eye of Elias's son, a small and shy boy by the name of Joachim. Joachim. Okay, slowly but surely knowing about <laughs> how to pronounce that name. That Schicksal was hiding many secrets and that Auto Apocalypse, the current overseer oh, yep. of the organization and Holy the shit. professional clown, had <laughs> why, why are they so close to each other? <laughs> they also discovered a weapon left by a previous civilization from 50,000 years ago known as the previous era that was wiped out by the Honkai. The weapon was hmm. called the Star of Eden. Eden, and it was made from the Hersher core of the previous era, Hersher of Earth. Who okay, wow. <laughs> we just started and a lot of the terms are just like, oh, just with the Hersher of the Earth, the, the Honkai, the Snitch, oh, the holy shit, so many terms. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's just a lot to take in for someone who's new to Honkai Impact stuff. Also, yeah, I, I want to say, I wanted to say that at first, but. Uh, Honkai Impact takes place on Earth, right? I guess I'm just so used to Honkai Staria just like traveling to all all across like different planets that I just somewhat expected Honkai Staria or Honkai Impact 3rd to just be on like another planet separate from Earth. It does? Okay. I guess, yeah, I guess my perception of Staria is just like, yeah, if this, if all these, uh, if well, it's like traveling to a different planet, surely Honkai Impact must take place on like a different planet, right? No, it just takes place on Earth. Okay. Who had the power Thanks for clarifying, by the way, chat. Gravity and sunk an entire continent under the ocean. From that day, okay, let me back up a bit here. Previous era, Hersher of Earth, who had the power to control gravity and sunk an entire continent under the ocean. Jeez. From that day onwards, the Star of Eden became the signature weapon of the Hersher of Reason. As things escalated, a confrontation between Addo and Welt's group was imminent. Addo killed Elias and took over the body oh, of Valkyrie named Rihanna, causing a lot of havoc. Joyce, with very little time, managed to take control of his powers and fought back. Addo, who was pushed into a corner, decided to blow up the entire city of New York what? to make sure that no one who knew what? 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 Excuse me? Joyce back it up! <laughs> Otto wanted to nuke fucking New York? <laughs> Excuse me? Okay, I, I guess I'm about to learn how much of a menace Otto Apocalypse really is. <laughs> His remaining powers to create a I knew he did some bad stuff, but nuking New York. Nukes. He was successful, but the damage he sustained was too much for his body. In his last moments, Joyce entrusted his Hersher core and name to the young Joachim, who lost both his father and his hero on that day. After those events, the Shiksal American branch renamed itself into Anti-Entropy, and Joachim, who now goes by the name Welt Yang, became the new sovereign of the organization. How he became a Gigachad. The second eruption. In the year 2000, the second eruption gave birth to hmm. the Hersher of the Void in Siberia. The Hersher was a girl named Sirin, who was a test subject in Shiksal's Babylon Tower. Anti-entropy was forced to take action, and Welt engaged the Hersher in a direct fight. He used all the might of human civilization to create a fleet of tanks, ships, Holy aircraft, shit. <laughs> and other weapons to stop Sirin. I think I should mention here that the Hersher... Makes you question. <laughs> it makes you question. If what can do all this stuff right now, like in Honkai Impact, why does he need to do the same in Star Rail? I mean, he can still create a freaking black hole and everything with his cane and whatnot, but... Yeah, <laughs> part of me is, wants to see, like, Wolf just go giga-powered in Honkai, Imp in Honkai Star Rail at some point. He- I feel like he has to. <laughs> yeah, he seems, like, heavily nerfed in Star Rail for some reason. Not sure why. ...has the power to construct literally anything, as long as the user has an understanding of that object's composition. Basically well, turns him into Green Lantern, curious, almost. Otto disguised himself and stopped Welt from dealing the final what blow... What the? Why is Otto a mass fool? <laughs> ...power for his go. Sirin escaped to the moon, where she got blessed with even more power from the will of Honkai and challenged Welt to a final battle on the giant piece of cheese. 
where it was like oh the moon but knowing that he cannot win he plans like a giant piece of cheese on the moon sure core and take out both himself and Sirin at the same time in the end he traveled damn this man also wanted to sacrifice himself as well <laughs> and Kiana Kaslana's father Welt's plan ultimately failed and Sirin took his core before he can detonate it well, yeah. he died, but in a true Wait, he died? fashion, he already had a plan in place even for this turn of events. Since the Hersher of Reason's core can house human minds, he transferred his consciousness into the core right before his physical body died. Oh, then he what waited the? for an opportunity to strike and used his powers to construct a new body for himself. With his intervention... <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? He died and then it's just like, nah, I'm gonna just make myself a new body and just inhabit that body. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is freaking insane. I don't think we've seen powers even come close to that level of insanity in Star Real. Other than like Acheron's like domain expansion. Yeah, Broken just like, yeah, like, you can kill me, but I'll just move my consciousness to the stone and just, you know, make myself a new body and then put, put my consciousness back there. <laughs> what? That, yeah, that's like light Yagami level freaking planning. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, the hardest of reason is to, like create anything and I guess that includes creating a new body from himself. That is actually gigabrained right there. Holy shit. <laughs> The tides of the battle were turned against the Hersher of the Void, and humanity emerged victorious. Alien space, okay, well, now this is where we get to the space years, stuff. Welt took up the role of a substitute teacher at a university in America. One of his students was Murata Himeko, oh. a young girl interested in studying the stars and the galaxy. During that time, Interesting. Himeko traveled to New Mexico to investigate some UFO sightings. Huh, so Himeko was, well, students, <laughs> and now they're just like the same age. Actually, no, they're not the same age. What am I talking about? Well, it's like a thousand years old, I think. And Himiko's just seemingly looks the same age as, as uh, him now. And well, the company her to keep her away from the truth, since those God, young, young Himiko looks were actually tests that so, so different in my mind. The area. Himiko's father, Murata Ryusuke, was a Shiksal researcher who ran away from Aro and sought help from anti-entropy. He discovered the existence of a small and fluffy alien species called the Sugars. The Sugars? <laughs> one of them named Peppermint. The sugars were hiding on Earth from another alien civilization called the Sky People. The Sky People traveled to different oh, okay. <laughs> to harvest Hunkai. You, you think of a name called the Sky People, they'd be a bit nicer. In an to <laughs> Holy shit. One of Sky People's vanguard stones that was approaching Earth, Welt and Ryusuke boarded a rocket and flew into space. After dealing with it, Ryusuke suddenly started monologuing about humanity's potential and revealed his true intention. He wanted to steal Welt's Hersher powers to fulfill his plan and free humanity from this planet. Ryusuke killed Pepper Jeez, this man has been through a lot, hasn't he? <laughs> With some help from the Sugars, Welp defeated Ryusuke and put an end to his madness. The Sugars, although grateful to Welt for saving them, decided to leave this world since their existence has been discovered. Himeko, who was kept in the dark, gave up on her studies and joined Shiksal as a Valkyrie to investigate what really happened to her father. Hmm. Unlike Himeko, you don't have to join a secret military organization to learn more about the Honkai. All you need to do is subscribe to this channel and give this um. video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you. Oh, well, okay, that's... Oh, I thought that was the end. No, we still have like five minutes ago. AE invasion. <laughs> hiding and poses as a teacher at Saint Freya, a Valkyrie school built by Teresa Apocalypse in the Far East. In the meantime, Cocolia, another entity... Oh, there's Cocolia. ...tries to take advantage of Welt's absence and take over the organization using a clone of Welt Joyce. In the end, Welt reveals his identity... Wait, and oh, they're, oh, they're cloning as well, okay. Cocolia this is essentially like Star Wars now. But just on Earth. Okay, and back third. Okay. I guess back up to the current timeline. Welt and Einstein made multiple experiments involving the Sea of Quanta, which is this strange dimension that exists in between different worlds. 
One day, they come into contact with a powerful entity known as the Serpent, who wanted to escape into reality. To prevent that, Weld sealed himself inside the Sea of Quanta to make sure that the Serpent will not escape. After the reawakening, Jeez, how many, <laughs> how many times has Wild well done like the self-sacrifice play? Also, yes, I'm seeing Kokoli is still as evil as she was in Sariel. The previous era. There, they were attacked by Shiksal forces, and left without options, Kokolia asked Teresa, Einstein, and Tesla for help. After a big turn of events, Bronya ends up jumping into the Sea of Quanta and meets Joachim, a kid version of Weld who has prepared a set of trials for her. After huh. Bronya cleared them, Joachim deemed her as a worthy successor to the Hersher of Reason's powers and passed the core to her. They eventually meet the serpent who turned out Okay, to yeah, I know about that because you guys told me. The heroes of the previous Oh yeah, Kevin Kinsala, yeah, the brother, grandfather, Bronya something. <laughs> of of Kiana. his consciousness inside the core again, recreates his body and saves her. Whoa, the end, what? <laughs> Excuse me, he just again, recreates his body and saves <laughs> Okay, so this happened again. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> Time for me to create a brand new body and and live once again. I guess I'm just immortal at this point. Yeah, how how freaking old is wealth at this point? The ancestor of Kiana. Okay, the ancestor, right? He's over like 50k years old. Oh, you talk about Kevin, right? Holy shit, 50k. Good lord. Oh, he's 80. He's 80 in Honkai Saria. I thought he was much older. I, I thought I've heard people say he's like hundreds, thousands years old. Okay, no, just 80. I mean, he still looks pretty good for an 80-year-old man. <laughs> Sir. In the end, they were unable to stop the serpent's escape, but managed to safely return to reality. Welt wants to let Bronya take over the core of reason and offers to teach her how to use the Hersher of Reason's powers properly. That makes me wonder. How would Welt have reacted? Because Welt didn't actually step foot on Yorilo 6, right? I don't, yeah, I don't think he even stepped foot there. Only Himiko has, like, went down there. I wonder how he would have reacted to seeing Bronya in uh, Yorilo 6. That would have been an, an, an interesting reaction from him. And also, yeah, Sila too, because he surely would have recognized her as well. Anyways, let's continue. Apo. After the Honkai was sealed on the moon, Walt opened up an animation studio where he worked on multiple projects, the most notable one being Arahato, a mecha anime that he started a few decades ago to get some funding for anti entropy. <laughs> one day. <laughs> I found that kind of funny, by the way. <laughs> it's just that, oh yeah, I've defeated like world ending threats. I like defeated multiple Hershers and even sealed myself away and sacrificed myself multiple times. What am I gonna do now? I'm gonna create some anime. <laughs> so sent a squad formed by it's just interesting how his, his life like went in that direction after all he's been through. After the Honkai was sealed on the moon, Walt opened up an animation studio where he worked on multiple projects, the most notable one being Arahato, a mecha anime that he started a few decades ago of course to be get mechas. some funding for anti-entropy. One day, Shiksal sent a squad formed by Raiden May, Carol Peppers, and Mr. Paycheck to San Fontaine. Their mission was to find Mr. a the gang who disappeared in the city a few days prior. Saint Fontaine was facing an unprecedented crisis. Saint Fontaine. And of humans, the city was full of. I mean, no, Fa Fontaine's like a real place in France, I think. To be the sky people who were brought to Earth by Void Archives, a sentient divine key. From right, the Void era, Archives. He's like a Honkai on the moon. What, like a clone of Otto, I think. But don't beat your head around it too much. Hmm. After they've dealt with the threat of the sky people, Welton Void Archives infiltrated one of the sky people's spaceships. 
ships. There, they found out that the Sky People are targeting Himeko, but not Himeko from Honka Impact 3rd that Welt knew. Instead, it's another Himeko from a different world, Honkai Star Rail. Oh, so this is how it all ties in together. Is, Welt wanted to save her, but first, somebody needed to save him from the Sky People's ship. Luckily, the Sugars were nearby, and hmm. they didn't forget Welt's kindness, so they saved and brought both him and Void archives back back to Earth. From there, we don't really know how Welt made it to Himeko and the Astral Express. We only have this dialogue from Himeko in which she says that she found Welt and his friend, who is most likely Void Archives since they refer to him as a he, while visiting a world called Salsoto in a mission from Herta to look for a material called Candace Glass. Candace Glass. After returning to Earth, Welt yeah, the uh, brain overload. Hold on, hold on a minute. So he has hmm yeah let me watch that again so he also yeah this this waifu by the way holy shit hey when when is she gonna come to star rail okay just kidding but so hmm we don't really know how well to made it to himiko and the astro express and then we can only assume he came here with void archives who is like the auto looking guy we only have this hmm. dialogue from himiko in which she says that she found wealth and his friend, who is most likely Void Archives since they refer to him as a he, while visiting a yeah, from rewinding, by the way, I just want to read this again. Herta to look for a material called Candace Glass. Most oh, yeah, that's another thing, too. Isn't it, doesn't Herta exist in Honkai Impact 3rd as well? At least... I think that's what somebody told me, and I, I think that's true. After returning to Earth, Welt found a way to travel to Himeko's world. And since then, he's been stuck on the Astral Express, searching for a way back home. Thankfully, his spirit and youthful vigor haven't changed, and now he enjoys a new set of adventures. Interesting, so he's... While guiding a new generation I thought he willingly traveled to the Star Rail universe. I mean, it's not like he has a wife and a child waiting for him back home. Oh, wait. <laughs> Okay, so he does I, I have a kid. You could say that he really went to buy some milk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that's the end of the video. Okay, interesting. I did not know that Welts went over to the Star Universe out of his like. Yeah, for the, for the longest time, I thought Welts went to the Star Universe of his own volition, like he willingly went there, and for some reasons not returning back. Okay, but no, that's not the case. He's now trapped in the Star Wars universe and is looking for a way back. Interesting. Interesting. Also, yeah, <laughs> just expect a bunch of terms and whatnot around here just to not stay in my head for long because, holy crap, that's a lot of, like, lore to learn about. I may need to watch this video, like, several times over in order to understand everything, but I think I understand the most part about, like, what well it's all about and how he manages to travel with Star Rail. He did want to go there, but he he got stuck, and he went to go save Himiko. And I mean, true. After what happened to Himiko and Honkai Third, which I I think I know about, um, yeah, he definitely did not want that happening again. Introduction to Honkai Verse in the official channel explains the world and what Honkai is. Yeah, that's the next video we're gonna watch next. But yeah, I think this is a pretty good summary of like. Or like I, I think he explained pretty pretty well what happened to Honkai in back thirds welt and how he managed to transition over to Star Rail. I don't understand all the terms fully in this video, but hopefully I should like understand more as I watch more and more of these videos. Yeah, he's Grant Teddy Welt. He's put he's he thinks he's at fault for Himiko's fate because he didn't tell Himiko what happened to her dad. Oh, okay, I see. One day the Astro Express will visit Earth and Welt can return to his wife. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing too. I didn't I didn't know like Welt was married for like a while as well. And he has a kid some more. And I was like, yeah, why is he abandoning them to just go on his journey? No, he's he's stuck. He can't go back. <laughs> I see. If you want contact with the Honkai third manga, maybe in a different stream. Maybe not in this stream per se, but yeah. Pretty good summary, or yeah, pretty I I think I understand mostly what happened to like yeah what well has done in the honkai third universe and how he's now in the sorry universe but okay yeah speaking of that next trailer we're gonna go to our next video here honkai impact third 
intro uh whoops introduction to the honkai verse yeah this one right here i believe it's uh yeah what it basically explains what honkai whoops wrong thing basically explains the premise of honkai impact third and what the honkai is and whatnot so so yeah now that we're done with that video we're gonna probably be watching the official animations from honkai impact like in this order from uh, this whole playlist here and then if there's anything i don't understand i'll go back to Hamu labs and watch videos regarding them like yeah i think i'll watch a himiko's fate one after watching um final lesson which is probably the one you guys are most looking forward to and then yeah probably go through this entire playlist of uh, the animations and whatnot also all these are in japanese dub which i kind of prefer i prefer japanese dubs over chinese dubs anyways but I guess it doesn't really matter what dub it shows us. Actually, does Honkai Impact 3rd have an English dub? I'm just asking. I don't think there is, but if you guys can confirm, that'd be nice. But yeah, we're gonna go next to introducing the Honkai Verse, Honkai Operation Center Chapter 1, Honkai Impact 3rd. Which is the beginning of it all, it seems. I watched this one too, and I think it's a good introductory video. Yeah, I think I understand mostly what happened to Welts, although not fully, because I still need to learn, like, the terms and whatnot. Luckily, somebody on my Discord channel, like, posted, like, terms and whatnot of, like, what, uh, the Honkai Impact terms, like, Hershers and, uh, yeah, which, like, like, yeah, Hersher of Reason, Hersher of Lightning, and what they're all about and whatnot. No, there's only Chinese to Japanese. Okay, I see. Genshin's the first Hoyo game that has English VAs. Oh, really now? Hmm. I see. But alright. Now, let's get into probably what I need to pay attention to the most, and what I need to like, channel all my brain power into understanding, which is introducing the Honkai-verse, the, the beginning of it all, introducing what the Honkai is, and what is happening with the universe and whatnot six minute long trailer so yeah we're gonna be watching it right about now and hopefully i understand most of what's going on i'll ask you guys if i don't understand anything but yeah let's begin watching right about now introducing the honkai verse yeah honkai operation center chapter one captain Unbridge. greetings captains welcome to the whoa. honkai operation center whoa english Have okay you wondered where the valkyries came from what are they fighting for? And what exactly does Honkai mean? <laughs> this, this is actually... Wow, I, I didn't expect them to start speaking English. Holy shit, English, <laughs> English jump scare. Oh my god. Also, yeah, isn't that Yai Sakura? The, the one Yai Miko's based off of? I wonder if we'll get a Yai variant in uh, Star Rail. We will be diving into the history and worldview of Honkai Impact throughout this series. Today Damn, they actually, actually they make an official video about this. Just like, yeah, in case you don't understand and everything and you want to get into Honkai, basically, we're going to explain everything. That, that, that's kind of cool from, like, Hoya themselves. Basic introduction to the prequel of the entire story. Throughout history, the struggle between mankind and nature has never ceased. Oh, God, I don't think the I could show that. <laughs> based on a I made the blur that. <laughs> that reiterates this conflict, humanity's struggle against the Honkai. But what is the Honkai? We don't know exactly where it's from, but it's a force okay, of here chaos we go. that existed from the beginning of time. It wants to destroy human civilization, and when human technology advances, it grows stronger. Hmm. Honkai have tried to destroy us through creating supernatural disasters, monsters and plagues, and giving birth to Hershers, godlike beings who can bend physical laws. Okay. In the Honkaiverse, Humanity has already established a high-tech global civilization 50,000 years 50, ago. Oh, Modern humans geez. refer to this civilization as the previous era. The pr oh, okay. Unfortunately, those high-tech humans in the previous era lost the war and were defeated by the Honkai. The previous era was destroyed, but some humans survived to rebuild human civilization. This brings us to the current era. Of course, Honkai wants to destroy humanity, Still. so they didn't leave us in peace even in the current era. 2717 BC was the date of the earliest record of the Honkai Beast attacks. Fortunately, gifted human warriors such as Ji Xuanyan helped mm -hmm. us defeat these early Honkai monsters. But Ji Xuanyan disappeared into the seas after an expedition to defeat the giant Honkai Beast Chiyou. To defend humanity against the Honkai, a religious organization known as the Shiksal rose after the fall okay, of the this Roman is what Empire. They were, yeah, what, 
was said Sheik in the Saw Welp was video. Led by an overseer, usually a member of the Apocalypse family, who established Sheiksal. It helped create the feudal order by helping various European princes gain power. They also developed crude Honkai-powered weapons and initiated the Honkai Crusades. Honkai the feudal Crus armies of Europe fought the Honkai, defeating them in many battles and reclaiming lost lands. Take a drink every time he says Honkai. Holy shit, you'd be dead by then. <laughs> yeah, the previous era, um... That's okay, that's the one thing I don't get. So, like, previous era and current era, what happened between them? Did, like, the timeline reset and everything? Because why are we back to 2717 BC? I'm assuming that's what it is. It's like a time reset, essentially. For... I, I think that's what it is, if you guys can clarify. To increase its power, Sheiksal also recruited and trained its own military. The Valkyrie Order is the most famous Sheiksal fighting force, and a legendary Valkyrie is Kallen of House Kaslana. Okay, and there's a protagonist. The Kaslanas are a family of knights known for their prowess in fighting the Honkai. Kallen's most powerful weapon is the Oath of Judah, an artifact from the previous era that was very effective against the Honkai. However, many things happened in the year 1470. Honkai created an infectious virus that caused the Great Plague and killed millions throughout Europe. Okay, so for what I'm understanding, the Honkai is just... stuff... it's just a natural force in the world that just causes bad things to happen, no matter what. Basically, it's a... in other words, the world is kind of like a time loop. I think you're being takes a couple of millennia to recover. Okay, I see. I, I, I think I do. But Sheiksal did not focus on treating the plague. Mm -hmm. Instead, the leaders wanted to dominate the Eurasian continent and declared war against the Ming Empire of China. Oh, cool. The Corrupt leaders. Are our favorite. In 1975. <laughs> to pay for the losses, Sheiksal increased taxes and took money from the poor. These bad decisions only made Sheiksal even less popular. When Sheiksal tried to recover from its defeat, the Great Plague continued to claim lives. Otto Apocalypse, a younger son of Sheiksal's ruling dynasty there he is. House Apocalypse, or otherwise known as Lucha in Honkai Although he was not the heir to the seat of Overseer, Otto's discovery increased his popularity. The deaths of his father and brothers allowed him to become the new Overseer. Since then, human technology continued to grow. Everyone thought Honkai was gone. But the first Honkai eruption took place in 1952 and destroyed the entirety of Berlin. The right. eruption gave birth to the first Hersher, a powerful godlike being. Okay, capable yeah, well, choice, which is Shiksa, what we learned about which earlier. Has become a rather secretive organization by now, quickly overpowered and captured the Hersher for research. But Shiksal scientists failed to find out anything. The first Hersher was then transferred to a Shiksal lab in London for additional inquiry. It was there that the first Herscher was given the name Welt by the resident scientists Einstein and Tesla. The scientists and yeah, maybe should have watched this first American before watching the Welt were video. <laughs> very displeased with Otto's militaristic leadership. Some even doubted Otto's oh, they naked? to eradicate the Honkai. <laughs> oh, why are they naked? These <laughs> eventually led to the independence of the entire branch, which renamed themselves Anti-Entropy in 1955. Unlike Sheiksal, which relied on Valkyries as its elite warriors, Anti-Entropy designed and built Honkai-powered mechs. The second Honkai eruption happened in 2000 and destroyed Siberia and the Russian Far East. It turned out that Sheiksal were performing many inhumane experiments on Honkai-resistant children. Okay, One of them, the more I'm going to learn about this Sheiksal, the worse they, they seem. And proceeded to take revenge against those who tested on her and her friends. Okay, and yeah, Sheiksal she fought against hundreds of Valkyries well, yeah. and depleted its entire arsenal of Honkai fission missiles to defeat this foe. Many Valkyries fell in battle, including Cecilia Shariak, reputedly the best Valkyrie of Sheiksal. Fourteen years later, in 2014, a minor Honkai eruption, referred to as an outbreak, how many of these Honkai impact or, or, like, the eruptions are there? The entire city and transformed many into zombies. Zombies, the okay. The the partial awakening of May Raiden, the third Hersher, due to an implantation of a Hersher gem. There she is. The Nagazora outbreak was contained by Sheiksal Far East Branch, led by Teresa Apocalypse. The few survivors of the event, Kiana Kaslana, May Raiden, and Bronya Zajcek, were then enrolled in St. Freya High School a Valkyrie training school built by Teresa Apocalypse hmm. after the Second Honkai War. Now we can finally move on to the events in the game itself. Holy shit, that was... What?
what? We're like five minutes in and it's just... Yeah, that's all the stuff that happened before the game came out. Okay, yeah, this is definitely necessary if you want to get into Honkai Impact. What? That was a, like a crap ton of lore that takes place before the game. <laughs> Holy shit. Honkai Impact 3rd starts in the year 2016. Okay. You are the captain of the flying battleship Hyperion of Shiksal Far East Branch. You will lead Kiana Kaslana, a brash and hot-headed Valkyrie trainee, and her other friends into battle. We hope this provides a basic also, understanding Bronny of looks... <laughs> the important events and forces of Honkai Universe. The rest of the history will continue in future episodes, following the life of Kiana, Mei, Bronya, and other Valkyries in the Honkaiverse. And all these waifus you can pull for, and will suffer tragic fates because... Uh, yeah, because... <laughs> Because the writers just wanted it to be that way. Okay, so... Okay, now I have a general grasp of what the Honkai is about. So now I think from going forward, I think I may be able to understand more and more what, um... More and more of, like, what, uh... Yeah, what each Valkyrie is all about. Like, Honkai lore as a whole. She's a her share of lightning and a partial awakening. I guess that, yeah, because she's lightning, that's what gave birth to Ryan Shogun, and also subsequently Akron. And also, yeah, Bronya. <laughs> I can definitely see the semblance, or the resemblance between her and Silverwolf. And also Bronya herself, of course. Too much lore and research, and sometimes I have a bad memory, so I have to re-research the story and lore. Yeah, same here, honestly. Like, there's so many, so much lore in the Honkai Impact game that I, I feel like if you just sat me down and, like, talked to me for, like, explained to me for, like, 10 hours straight, there would still be stuff and pieces just flying about in my brain that I know I have no idea on. But that's why today's stream exists, is to hopefully understand most of it. Bernie was called the Silver Wolf in the Urals. Yeah, that's what I've heard as well, and that's why she's given the name Silver Wolf in Star Rail. This is like 0.1% of the lore? Oh god, <laughs> how much? Oh, uh, there's gotta be like a lot, a lot more of these. If that's just 0.1% of the lore. Yeah, maybe, maybe learning all this in one day may be a bit too much for my small little brain. Maybe we need to do like another stream, like, uh, like, later on, to learn more about Star Rail, Star Rail, Hawkeye and Back 3rd. Because yeah, this, this just seems like a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. But, yes, let's hope we understand more as we go along. But that's, yeah, that, that's the end of Honkai, introducing the Honkai-verse, and pretty much the beginning of it all. And now we can move on to the actual animations and whatnots. Yeah, Reborn 1, Wolf the Hersher, and Final Lesson, which are pretty much most of the animations here. So, yeah, this is where we're going to get into, like, the whole, like, cutscenes and whatnot that are in-game, I believe. And, yeah, more of the story as it goes along. Okay, so, yeah, Reburn, Will the Hersher, Final Lesson, Cyber Angel, which I'm pretty sure it's like, yeah, this in order here. Uh, Meteoric Salvation, I, I don't, that's not here, is it? Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna go along with uh, my viewers, uh, like, yeah, this guy's uh, recommendations, and just go in order here. But yeah, we're gonna be watching until Cyber Angel, then Animated Short Sela. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, no, yeah, chapter... Okay, that, that one's also in the playlist as well. But yeah, he recommended me to watch also, like, a Sila animated short and also Meteoric Salvation, which are not in the playlist. But yeah, I'll take a look at those after I watch, like, the following videos. But yeah, let's watch Reburn first. And I believe uh, what you guys showed me before, like, when I was watching the Honkai Star Rail videos, uh, one of you guys... Uh, like, yeah, maybe watch Honkai Reburn 2, which I'm pretty sure was, like, I guess a precursor to Star Rail, but Reburn 1, I have not seen. So, yeah, we'll, we'll begin with this, go in order here, and then after the, the final lesson video, we'll go back to Homilabs and watch Himiko's Fates, and then resume with, the, like, the, the order. Get ready to cry? It's a concept trailer, okay. Actually, yeah, when was this released? Six years ago, holy crap. Wait, now that, that'd be all the way in, like, what, 2018? Yeah, <laughs> bet you feel old now, huh? Six years ago was 2018. I can't believe it myself either. 
But alright, let's begin watching Reburn 1. Let's do this. Reburn is technically non-canon, because it's essentially a proof of con concept. Okay, so I guess... Oh, just a concept. Okay, so it's like, not actually canon, I, I guess. But yeah, let's just watch it right now, and I... This seems to be like the beginning of it all, so yeah, let's have a look-see. Miyoyo Anime. Oh, this seems like just regular old Japan. Okay, there's Kiana. Come back, Kiana, Studio Angel, someone's followed through with this. Don't be so stubborn. Oh, they're speaking Chinese. Okay. Um. Oh, captures are not available. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to not understand anything. <laughs> I like your design, honestly. Also, that's... May, I think. <laughs> I think it has to be. Holy shit! <laughs> Did you just fucking Doctor Strange and shit? <laughs> oh my gosh, you just turned into the Flash. <laughs> <laughs> Come back here, little girl. <laughs> also, wait, does he have four legs? Okay. Holy shit, just casually destroyed the entire fucking building, why don't you? Holy shit, he's like throwing trains. <laughs> Oh yeah, anime transform, let's go! <laughs> oh, it's actually an anime fucking transformation. Okay, Hoyo, we don't need that shot, but okay. <laughs> yes, let's keep zooming in on our <laughs> ass, why don't we? <laughs> Holy fucking sword! <laughs> this is like some Meta Gear Rising shit right now. <laughs> No, 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 no. I like this freaking guitar also. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> da. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, that's a bit overkill, Kian. <laughs> Jeez, I think you did more damage than the robot did. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, that's a cool looking shot, though. <laughs> Ick. Huh? What's that say? Ick. I, I don't know what that. What language that is. Ick. Oh, wait, isn't. Is that Dutch or. Hmm. Harmony thinks that. He keeps thinking it's Dutch. But that was cool. Honkai Third Impact. You know, <laughs> for some reason, that, for the longest time, I also thought that the game was called Honkai Third Impact because of this logo here. No, it's Honkai Impact Third. And this is the beginning of it all. Okay, so that's a non can Oh, German, German. Okay, right. I keep thinking it's Dutch for some reason. I keep mixing up Dutch and German. Chapter 15 is literally Metal Gear. <laughs> it, it really does seem like anime Metal Gear. That entire trailer. <laughs> but okay, that was a yeah, that was a cool like ass animation. And also, yeah, Mihoyo anime, like Yeah, it's, it's, these animations are like, surprisingly well done <laughs> for like a, what's apparently a small company back then. But okay, next uh the next trailer is Will the Hersher. Which uh, is next up on the list here, and it's the first grand animation of Honkai Impact, apparently. Oh, yeah, right here. Reburn is not canon, but gets a glimpse of the protagonist and his character. But right, yeah, let's watch this up next. Will the Hersher. 
And I'm pretty sure, uh, to explain it in Genshin terms, Hershers are essentially like the Archons of the Honkai Third Universe. They pretty much are like superpowers. <laughs> and I think that's about... Yeah, and, and each Hersher has like a specific like ideology they follow, like with Hersher of Lightning, Hersher of Reason. And I believe this... Actually, I don't know what this trailer is all about, so I'm not going to speculate any longer. But also, this has a song playing in it as well, so I'm expecting a freaking banger here, Hoyo. I'm expecting a freaking banger for like their first, their first grand animation as well. So, yes, <laughs> I'm kind of hyped for this one, honestly. So, let us begin watching in three, two, one. Let's go. These are in-game cutscenes. Okay. Oh shit. What the hell happened there? Did she like turn evil for a second? Uh oh. I, I don't, you know shit's about to go down with that evil anime laugh. Uh oh. What the hell? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, Gundam to the rescue! <laughs> like, what the hell? Is Kiana evil now? What, did like her Hersher persona like take over or something? Okay, you, you, you know stuff is bad when they have to send in this many robots in to battle her. Oh, music. I should probably turn on something, you know, something that's are on. Oh shit, is she gonna do some fucking anime? Oh my gosh, she's like summoning her own army. I feel like I'm watching a Transformers movie right now. <laughs> it's not Kiana, it's Siren now? Who the hell's Siren? I guess we'll know in a bit. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's gonna work, buddy. I don't think shooting her is the right move. Watch, she's gonna come out of this completely unscathed. Holy animation, though! <laughs> oh, I got fucking goosebumps! Holy shit! Yeah, your fucking orbital cannons mean nothing to me. Oh no. Oh shit. She just fucking annihilated all of them! <laughs> okay, how does humanity have a chance against this gal?
Dude, this music is giving me extreme goosebumps. <laughs> What's this song called? Befall? Holy shit. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> He's like staring to my soul at the end there. Oh shit, no, we're not gonna move on to the next animation just yet. But holy shit! <laughs> she just fucking oblit- Yeah, of course it's the most replayed part. This shit was cinema! <laughs> oh my god! One finger snap and your entire military is just redundant. Fucking cinema right here, holy shit. <laughs> Puts a Thanos snap to shame. <laughs> Honestly, holy shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, how the hell did anybody... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if this, if I was actually playing Honkai 3rd, and this shit came up in the game, I was like, I'd be shitting my pants. It's just like, how in the actual fuck am I supposed to beat her? <laughs> you expect me to fight her? Nah, I'm running away. I'm running the first thing. And even then, I don't think running away would do anything against her. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's how Raidame genuinely felt despair and how she cannot protect... Uh, Kiana. Still one of Miho's best cutscenes to this day. Yeah, honestly, holy shit, this was some grand animation work. My goodness. I almost want to, like, pick up the game because of that now. But alright, that is, like, yeah, probably, like, the first of Hoyo's masterpieces. Yeah, I'm gonna leave a like on that one. That, the, the animation was this was super fucking good. It has 62 million views, which is well-deserved. Yeah, even people said, like, yeah, the scariest part is just... Yeah, her glaring at you at the end is just like, yeah, you, no, you're fucked. You cannot win. You can't even think you can win. Do you remember the Unknown God from Genshin? Yes, I have heard that, yeah, the Unknown God from... That appears at the beginning of Genshin looks very similar to... Uh, Kiana, or... What do you guys call her? Um... Siren? And yeah, people think that's like the Kiana XP for Genshin Impact. But holy shit, it's only gonna get worse from here? Oh god. Yeah, I feel like we only just glimpse at her freaking... The, her very... We only got a glimpse at her true power. Because if she can just do that with a finger snap, I hate to actually see her try. The worst part's yet to come. Oh boy. I guess I better prepare for when that time comes. During Chapter 9, you have to fight her as Fu Hua as a super drawn out grueling battle. The next level is fighting Fu Hua as HOV, and it's a funky instant slaughter. Jeez. Yeah, I imagine. After that cutscene, the fight you have afterwards against her, I assume, has to be dreadfully hard. I can't imagine that fight the fight being easy after you play that shit. Of all things, me and the Celestia trailer gave further evidence to the unknown god theory. Yeah, we will watch that like after everything is done, so Yeah. No need to worry about that. It was hell? Oh goodness. <laughs> Okay, but that is our reaction to, yeah, Will of the Hersher. Holy fucking goaded animation. One of the first of many Hoyo's masterpieces. I need to watch this again, because holy shit. And also the music cue. Ooh, just goosebumps. Just goosebumps all around. And it's just, yeah. Your whole army that shot those things at me? Yeah, say goodbye. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, you guys aren't wrong. Like, yeah, these Hershers are world-ending threats as compared to the Archons. Good lord.
please watch Honkai Impact Retrospective. Oh, Retrospect. Um, if that video comes in the playlist, yeah, we will. But if it doesn't show up, then maybe we'll watch it afterwards. Yeah, free game, by the way. All these games are free, by the way. You can listen to all these for free and experience these fucking great-ass stories for free, by the way. You don't have to use a gotcha, but... <laughs> Unless you really want those waifus. And one barely managed to beat her in her, in her prime and had to use a fucking nuke to at least weaken her? Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm expecting to see more. I, I, I Yeah, I hope... Her, she shows up in more cutscenes here, and we get to see more of what her fucking true power is like. But okay, we're done with this animation, and it's time to move on to the next one, which you guys are probably looking forward to. Final lesson. I've heard many things about this animation. Many, many things. And yeah, I think, uh, I, think I had to prepare to get my heart ripped out here. Yeah, this is what begins Depression Impact 3rd, <laughs> truthfully. But okay, should drink some water to brace myself for this, because, oh boy. Yeah, this is what turn... This is the beginning of Xiao Ji's, uh... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the beginning of Xiao Ji's reign, as I guess you could say. <laughs> Grab some tissues. Hey, I have some right here, just in case. But okay. Final lesson. Let's just begin it. Damn, even the start of this is depressing. Oh boy. <laughs> Gotta say though, I wouldn't mind like a... <laughs> I wouldn't mind Himiko having like an outfit like that in uh Hawkeye okay, Sario. Oh, let's fucking go. Also nice angle there, Hoyo. <laughs> oh it's always Hoyo with the nice angles. Whoa, what the where is she? The hell? Oh shit, you again. What the? Okay. I mean, I asked to see more of her, and I guess I'm getting it. Uh oh. Oh my. She can. How are you supposed to win against her? She just seems mega fucking OP. Oh god. Oh, so yeah, that's like the same shit that the unknown god did at the beginning. Holy shit! <laughs> Barely fucking hanging on. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> oh, even the music is just alluding, yep. Oh, 
Holy shit. Yeah, Himiko's just taking a whole ass beating here. Oh, comeback time. Go, girl. Holy, this fucking music, though. Holy, she fucking knocked back the entire void there. Aww. Oh, my heart. Oh, no. Ah. Uh. Uh. Ah, oh, this song, this freaking song. I've heard it before, but... Oh. That fucking hurts. Yeah, it fucking salutes for Himiko. Ah, uh, that yeah, that that was not easy to watch. Holy shit! And yep, now I understand why many people cried tears of joy when she was announced in Honkai Star Rail. I am aware. Yeah, I'm aware that you can also find her shattered sword in the uh, the Heart of Space Station. Don't know why it's there. <laughs> Good lord, this music though. Yeah, what's this soundtrack called? I need to download it. I need I need to listen to that like ten times over. Let you go. Yeah. And yeah, from this point on, Hawkeye, saw, Hawkeye Impact was just like, yeah, your wife is not safe. They can be killed. Like, if we really want them to be. Jeez. It's called Night Glow. Okay, yeah, we'll be sure to <laughs> probably add that to my playlist later on. Yep, and thus the beginning of Depression Impact. Ouch. Do you still remember the vial? Um, yeah, what about the vial, by the way? Like, I, I've, I paid attention to it, but I'm not sure what you guys, um... Oh, wait, no, it was put into her. So she sacrificed herself in, in order to get Kiana back. Damn. Like, ooh, that, yeah, that animation was not easy to watch. The vial is filled with chemicals that suppress Honkai energy permanently, and... I can live a normal life, and she decided to give that, uh, give up that, uh, for Kiana to have a normal life. Oh, I see. Oh, the vial was used to cure Himiko, but she used it on Kiana instead. Oh, that even makes that makes even that's even more sad. Holy shit! Yeah, now I understand the Honkai Third fans when they. Cry tears of joy when when the yeah, Star Rio Himiko was shown. Although now with Shouji back on the writing board of Star Rail, 
What are the odds they'll fuck with us and kill her off again? I, I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> please, Xiaoji, no, please. I cannot take another heartbreak. Himika was already dying before this art, but if she used a virus, she could have lived as a normal human. Oh, I see. They just kill Welt again. I hope not. I, I hope none of the Astro Express crew dies off. If any of them do, I'm, you're not going to hear from me for several days. I'm just going to say that. But yep, that is the end of Final Lesson. Yeah, now I understand. Oh boy, yeah, the beginning of Depression Impact. Okay, but before we uh, before we begin crying, let's move to the next animation before tears, like... Like, yeah, before... Yeah, to, to cure our tears, hopefully. Cyber Angel. Seems it's another animation before, but it's not canon, so it's not so important about Ronya. Okay, and I'm pretty sure that's like the next one here. Cyber Angel, zero exception Jap Japanese dub version. Yeah, let's just move on before we get too depressed here. <laughs> Cyber An Angel's also a banger. The battle suit she used was corrupting her more and fast and was afflicting her mind too. Honestly, my best bet for a major death character death is Kafka. I do feel like she, she has, I guess, some major death flags. Yeah, they, they better not kill off Star Rail Himiko, I swear to god. If they do, there's gonna be riots. There's gonna be riots in the streets <laughs> for for fucking Shouji's head. Enough sad shit. Time for the sickest shit you've ever seen. Okay. I'm expecting... Yeah, I'm expecting some banger animations here from here on out. If the first animation was that fucking sick... Yeah, I hope the rest of these are just as sick, if not even more. But alright, let's begin. Cyber Angel, zero exception, beginning right now. And this is apparently about Branya. Oh shit, does she have a robotic leg? Also, yeah, where is she, by the way? Oh. Wait, is that? Holy, holy color. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Okay. Oh, fuck, she's like disintegrating or something. Yeah, that's a Hershikor, isn't it? Well, oh, now it's turned into a Kingdom Hearts opening. Uh, <laughs> and that's the beginning of the Bronya and, <laughs> and Sela ship. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh my gosh, she, she appeared among the sea of butterflies. <laughs> Holy... <laughs> Does she have a fucking summon? Is that... What is that in behind her? <laughs> Oh yeah, right, she has the Harsh of Reason core now, so she can just create anything now, right? <laughs> fucking get him, Bronny. <laughs> I love that she fucking uses roller skates. <laughs> Whoa, this fucking animation though, holy shit. <laughs> I 
activate fucking Gundam mode. Let's go. <gasps> Wait, it's turned to a fucking motorcycle? <laughs> That is sick, actually. <laughs> oh, oh my, wait, what? <laughs> she can just, oh yeah, she can, of course she can just summon fucking tracks. Oh, holy shit, this animation. <laughs> Okay, Hoyo. We don't need those angles. <laughs> okay, Hoyo. Fire! Oh fuck, she's gonna run the, the fucking monster right over. Full speed, full throttle! <laughs> Holy, right through the fucking jaw! <laughs> oh, oh, okay, yeah, me. <laughs> this is a bit overkill, but holy shit. <laughs> Die! <laughs> God, they always have to go over the top of these animations. I love it, though. I fucking love it. Okay, yeah, that thing's dead. <laughs> if it survived that. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, okay, it's not over yet. <laughs> Dude, what is, what is this song called? I need to... There's a lot of Honkai Banger for the playlist. <laughs> Cyber Angel. Oh, it's literally the title of the, of the video. Okay. <laughs> Holy sh Oh my god, that's, a, that's another banger for the playlist. It's actually sang by Bronny's Chinese VA? Oh, that's sick, actually. This, so this is actually sung by Bronny herself. That's actually kind of cool. I always love it when, like, songs in-game are actually sung by the VAs themselves. <laughs> Little baby Bronya. <laughs> okay, you don't see me right now because I don't have a webcam, but I'm fucking jamming out right now. Dude, how many fucking bangers does Hoyu Mix make? Oh, well, okay, I'm not going to the next one right yet, but holy, what a banger animation, holy shit. We've been fighting this for like two chapters, I was make this extremely warranted, like, yeah, holy shit, this animation was fucking goaded. Kind of, I, I kind of wish Star Rail or Genshin like had the same, like, like sick animations instead like they instead do like in-game animations with like the models and whatnot but i don't know part of me wants like animated like full-on anime animated cutscenes in the game like in, in genshin and star rail that would just be super sick but yeah holy shit what a absolute banger of a trailer and yeah here's hoping for more bangers to come here holy shit and yeah, now I know like why Sela is like mostly butterfly themed, cause she cause she was like that to begin with. Because it for Saria, but not in game. Oh, true, yeah. 
Like, we, we do have animated teasers for Staria, but they're not in-game for some reason. Although I would like some to be, but I guess we'll take what we can get here. <laughs> I believe Hersher Branya is support too, so why DPS? Not just DPS, I mean. I uh, wouldn't know anything about that because I don't play Honkai Impact 3rd. I would like to. <laughs> and after which, after this, I definitely would like to. Oh, yeah, true. They did animated teasers for, for Genshin, but I'm talking about like in game because it's like all an in game cutscene, right? Yeah, part of me wishes like, yeah, some in game cutscenes were like full on anime animated. But yeah, that is Bronya's freaking Cyber Angel teaser finish. What a fucking absolute banger of a fucking cutscene. And now we move on to the next one. Um, yeah, let me look at... Uh, okay, so Cyber Angel. To get an idea about Bronya and Sila, watch a music video, Azure Waters. Okay, I guess we can watch that one next, because that's not next up on the playlist. Next one is Chapter IX, uh, which is not until very much later. The video image is Bronya, Sila, black and white. Okay. Yeah, should I watch this chat? Should I watch this one next? Azure Waters. Okay, I guess you guys also wanted me to view this one, so yeah. We'll go ahead and uh, key this in here. Let me just go into YouTube. There we go, Azure Waters. Oh, this one, right? Uh... The video image is running sealed black and white. Okay, so I believe it's this one. Also, again, this is also by the official Honkai channel, so should watch it too. Asher Waters is an MV about the about the manga of how Bronya meets Osila. Oh, okay. Then yeah, I think I do want to watch this one then. That video is based on a manga about Bronya and Sila when they were kids. Ah, I see. Oh yeah, lesbian time. <laughs> the thing they're willing to bend. Uh, the thing this is made by a Chinese company, by the way. They're willing to bend the rules for this. Yeah, isn't China like super, super like, um, like anti-gay? Like an like super anti LGBTQ. It, yeah, it's surprising me Hoya decided to do this. Cause yeah, they 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 really just don't like LGBTQ stuff there for some reason. But all right, Astro Waters, Bronya Seal Story, Honkai Back Third, two minute long trailer. I kind of expected it to be longer, but all right, let's begin watching it right now. And I'm assuming the music is also gonna be called Astro Waters. Actually, wait a minute, hold on. Um... Wait. Give me a second, wait, what? Uh... Okay, never mind. For some reason, my... Uh... <laughs> my YouTube thing is telling me that, um... The stream's lagging? It's not, right? But we're, we're fine? It's mostly just the government. They went to risk for this, but hey, their economy proves to bring in the moolah, so they can't complain. <laughs> True. It seems okay. Okay, for some reason, yeah. That's just what it says on my YouTube, like, studio thing. Yeah, we'll just keep watching then. Okay, so, yeah, Azure Waters, Bronya Seal Story. Let's begin watching it. Actually, yeah, let me turn on subtitles on for this. Um, wait, what, what, why is it Spanish? <laughs> okay, there's no English, so we'll just play like normal. Yeah. I'm assuming this is Bronya and Sila's like actual Chinese VAs, it, it, it seems. Whoa. The girl with stigma, the silver wolf of the Euro. So there we go. <laughs> Their fates intertwined. Oh, they're showing actual, like, full-on manga panels. Oh shit, Bronny was actually trying to kill Kakolia? Oh, 
No. Oh. And thus begins their friendship. <laughs> yeah, that's like an actual like AMV from from Hoya themselves. <laughs> I will show you the sea. <laughs> oh, joy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, I have the feeling they have the same amount of trauma as most Honkai Impact third players. It's, yeah, it seems like some terrible stuff happened to them, which we'll probably learn about, but... Oh, there it is! <laughs> there it is, baby! <laughs> Let's go, lesbians! <laughs> Okay, I don't. Th that didn't really sh like show what exactly happened in the manga, but yeah, <laughs> that's just basically show like how they first met and everything. <laughs> yeah, let's fucking go. <laughs> I wonder how people reacted to that, like the first time they saw that. <laughs> yeah, it's canon, absolutely canon. Like, yeah, they're officially a canon couple. <laughs> no in-game kiss though. Eh, maybe maybe they can do it for like I don't know like ethical reasons or something. But <laughs> hey, at least you got it in the manga though. Let's go, lesbians, Ken and Yuri. Let's fucking go. You love to see it. But okay. Um, while the trailer was like really really good and all, the music was so good. I don't think I really understand like what happened in the manga. I think like this all like. So yeah, like Kokoli and no, Obrani was like trying to kill Kokoli at some point. Sela had like I guess her fair share of trauma, and I guess Bronny and Sela bonded over their trauma. Yeah, maybe I have to read the the manga myself to know what's going on. But yeah, that was a really really well done like <laughs> official AMV by Hoya themselves. And now we'll move on to like the next uh, trailers, which are also gonna involve uh, Bronya and Sela. So hopefully I should know more about them there. Just Bronny and Seal's face were really close to another at the last part of the, of the certain song. Okay. Basically, Bronny was an assassin um, until she was taken in by Kokolia's orphanage. Oh, okay. Well, wait, she was an assassin from that young? Jeez. Even in the cooking anime, they went for a date. Yeah, I think we'll watch a cooking animation. like maybe last. Like after we go through like all the all the sad stuff that's probably in all these trailers. Yeah, we can we can end it off with like the cooking like anime, <laughs> like the the cooking animation stuff to hopefully alleviate some of the trauma <laughs> that we'll probably go through here. She was a child soldier and was extremely good at it. Ah, oh, I see. In Hawkeye Gaken second, Bronya looked at Sila's toothbrush every day since the, like, Sila died 50 years ago. Huh, interesting. So, wait, wait, Sila died in Hawkeye Gaken second? Hmm. That's the first I'm hearing about that. Lament of the Fallen is just sitting there mocking us? Oh, wait. Oh, like probably all oh, this one. Yeah, we'll watch this one later on, but we're gonna go in like order here, chronological order. Honkai got into is much worse in terms of depression. Oh gee, shit, really now? Oh boy. If if Honkai Third is this depressing, I don't wanna see what Honkai Gokin is. Good lord. Brian was about to take an experiment, see that took her place and gone wrong. She's stuck in a sea of quanta, and Bronny forced Kokoli to make the experiment to save Sila, but failed. I see. 
Yeah, holy shit, how much trauma can they freaking fit in this one game series? Holy moly. Okay, but that's uh, Azure Waters done. And the next one is... Hmm. Animated Short Sila. Oh, is that literally what the video is called? Oh, literally this one. The one I was just staring at earlier. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll watch this one too. Just to see the contrast between Honkai Impact Sila and also Star Rail Sila. I'm gonna assume they're like very drastically different from each other. Then that's how Branya in the Cyber Angel trying to get the source of corruption and see Quanta and Poof. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, looking for Japanese. Um, wait. Does it say here whether it's Japanese or Chinese dub? Like, because it doesn't say in the title. Also, yeah, Branya gets her own animated short as well. I guess, yeah, maybe maybe we'll watch both Branya's and Sila's, just, just to be sure. And then we'll move on with, like, the playlist here. Actually, no, Branya's comes up anyways. Actually, wait, no, Sila's actually in the playlist here. Uh, yes, yeah, since we're here anyways, we might as well, yeah, we'll watch Sila's, Branya's, and then go on to chapter 11 or whatever this one is. Yeah, let, let's do that. Bronis is semi-canon. Oops. Nope, I didn't want to begin that right away. Whoops, <laughs> that just began autoplaying. HSR Sila is closer, mostly in appearance, to GGG's... Oh, GGZ Sila. Okay. You get to see an Easter egg in Honkai Story after seeing this animation. Okay, well, keep an eye out for anything I recognize, son. Brian Short is before the Cyber Angel one. It's not canon anymore. You have no problem watching it in Chinese if, like, that's the only one available. I would prefer Japanese dub, but hey, Chinese dub I have no problems with. Bronya is cannabis from a bubble world. A bubble world, hmm. To the right? Oh, this one, okay. Uh, I, yeah, I guess we'll watch a Japanese dub one, since we watch all the ones in Japanese so far. Don't wanna, like, yeah, get inconsistent here. But alright, let's begin watching, yeah, Sila's uh, trailer here. I'm assuming yeah, this is essentially like the equivalent of the character demos we get in Genshin and Star Rail. So, yes, let us begin watching in 3, 2, 1, let's go. Mihoyo Anime and Wonderium. Also, it's a quality? Um... Okay, no, it's a 1080p. Oh, and there's the lesbians once again. <laughs> Holy, what the- What the hell is Venom chasing them or something? Sat the fuck out of that- Oh shit. Yeah, what the hell? Oh god, no, not Tentacle Hentai, no. <laughs> Oh shit. God, no. No, she doesn't die, does she? I'm very sure Brawny is like one of the surviving. Like, you're one of the characters that mainly survives Honkai Impact. Who the f. Who the hell pulled her hand and made her fall? What? Oh, what the? Ah! What the? Shadow Bronya? The Shadow Seal, I mean. Holy fuck. The 
fucking trauma in her eyes in that one frame. Good lord. <laughs> Holy sh she just fucking busted through that entire fucking Oh, but now she's falling. What now? <gasps> That's the other Sela? Cop Sela? <laughs> Oh god. Please no. I don't need to watch another. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to watch another fucking Hoyo girl get stabbed through the chest. <laughs> Music time! Oh my god, that holy shit! That's like Arlequino Cypher on fucking steroids. <laughs> oh, that's fucking music though. Okay, I thought the trailer was over there for a second. Yeah, holy shit, that gave me actual chills as well. <laughs> oh, and that's the end of the trailer. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, that was a fucking go to animation, honestly. So, okay, what's the story behind, behind Other Sela? Because that's a, probably the one thing I don't understand. Probably like the disadvantage of watching all these animations, so like, I don't know what's the backstory behind, like, what's going on. So yeah, what's the... Yeah. This is the end of a chapter, these are actual cutscenes in-game. Okay, I see. Right, and I do know, yeah, Sela does have her eyes turn red. And you do see, like, evil Sela, <laughs> like, for, for frames when you use Sela's ultimate in Star Rail. Stigmata Sela. The other Sela is extremely complicated and doesn't get fully explained until, like, after the main story ends. Really now? Also, fucking golden music right now! What is this music track called? Is it literally just called Sila? <laughs> yeah, fucking music is absolutely good. And as expected of Hoyo, like, they have just plenty of bangers. For every captain and Honkai Vector, thank you for, su for your lasting support and company. Man. Actually, yeah, how, how old is Honkai Impact 3rd? When, when was it first released? I think this game is like nearly a decade old, if I'm, if I think, if I'm thinking right. Oh, their faces are so close in this scene. Oh, they are. <laughs> oh, they, they, they are. I guess it's just really hard to see because they're so far from each, so, so far from the camera. 2016. Oh yeah, okay, so I was right, like eight years. Yeah, almost a decade, jeez. <laughs> Sila was born with the stigmata of death, the red mark in her chest, and red Sila is that stigmata. When Sila was trapped in the era of Quanta, some kind of entity attached itself onto Sila and basically became her alter ego. Okay. There's something called Stigmata. The other Sela has a personality created from Sela Stigmata to protect her. I see. I think I... Okay, yeah, now I think I understand now. But yeah, thanks for playing, chat. 
Also, if I might ask something else, what is a sea of quanta? Because uh, out of the videos I've watched so far, it doesn't really explain that. The sea of quanta, hmm. The other seal exists because the Hersher of Death doesn't. If that makes if that doesn't make sense, you're on the right track. Sea of Quanta is a dead universe. Oh, okay, okay. I think I I think I get it. At the same time, I think I don't. Uh the yeah, Honkai Impact lore is very, very I wouldn't say convoluted per se, but it's yeah, coming from a newcomer's perspective. There's a lot to understand, and a lot to need. I need to wrap my head around. <laughs> yeah, I think I may go to Homo Labs like afterwards, like after I watch all these videos here, just so he can explain to me like what is going on. Because I, yeah, I think I will watch him at the very end after watching all these animations. Remember the Fate Sentinel you see in Akron's PV? The sword has two forms, Sealess too. Hmm. Yeah, we have our savior, Homolops, to explain everything. <laughs> Actually, question, guys. If I were to start Honkai Impact, like, right now, per se, I'm not going to. But if I were to start it right now, how long would it take for me to catch up with, like, the entire story? <laughs> how long is it? Because if the game's eight years old, I expect it to be, like, at least, what, 300 hours to catch up to, like, the main story. Months? Oh, God. <laughs> Five months? Okay. Um, holy shit. A month or two, maybe? Y yeah. That is why probably I'm not going to start the game anytime soon, unless... Yeah, unless I have some, like, free time. A few weeks of no sleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I think it's a good decision on my part to just watch these instead of playing the game itself, because it would take me forever to, like, catch up with the main story of, uh, Honkai 3rd. Good lord. But alright, we're done watching Sila's trailer now, and the next one up is, uh, Bronyos, which I believe is here on the playlist. Yeah, we'll go to her and then, like, jump back to, uh, chapter I X I. Like afterwards. Um, wait, is someone Japanese dubbed or is it Chinese dubbed? I wish they put in the title. Actually, maybe I should just look it up. Um, animated short. Bron, yeah. And yeah, you guys, yeah, they did say it's non canon. Uh, I'm not seeing a Japanese dub of Bronya's here. Okay, so I guess I'll just watch this one then. There'll be an explanation about the imaginary tree in the Sea of Quanta in the future in Homo Labs. Okay. I'll be sure to watch that video then, like once we're. Yeah, watch all these ones here. Yeah, what do you guys mean by se semi canon? Because you guys said, like, this takes place before, like, the animation we saw earlier about Bronya, but some parts are just not canon. In this game, they'll send you a real-life gift for an anniversary event. A mouse pad, a calendar, an art book, and a food box. Really now? Huh. Did not know about that. But alright, let's begin watching yeah, Bronya's trailer now. <laughs> yeah, we watched Sila's, now let's watch Bronya's. And yeah, I gotta say, Sila, very different from how she's portrayed in Star Rail. Like, it's clear that the two are, like, completely different characters, but still, they just share the same name. This event is still canon, but they retconned it pretty hard later on. Okay, I see. Alright, so yeah, let's begin watching Bronya's, uh, yeah, trailer, character demo here, right about now. Let's do it. Also, yeah, it does seem like this Bronya is very different from Star Rail's version. Yep. Man, the two are just always intertwined, huh? It's just like there's no Bronya without Sila. It seems. Oh god. Okay, this must be her doing her child assassination days. 
Holy shit. <laughs> These soldiers have got to be like, how are we losing to a 12-year-old with a gun? <laughs> well, did she just yeeted that one soldier entirely. How strong is this fucking girl? <laughs> Most peaceful day in Honkai Impact. <laughs> Whoa, okay, what's here? Oh. Jeez. How many soldiers do you need to deploy to kill this one 12 year old? Also, it's kind of fucked up with firing at the 12 year old in the first place. Oh, she's powering up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the chanting in the background. Oh, what? Yeah, no, you guys. Why are you even trying to fight this girl? Holy shit. <laughs> oh, she's there to save Ronya, yeah, okay. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, if I were one of those soldiers, I would just run. Just no, why would I even fight her if she can just do that shit? Holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, Hoya does love them fucking impact frames. Like, holy damn. Like, you see, like, hang on, let me sc let me try and, uh... <laughs> fucking boo! <laughs> and just casually killed, like, a hundred soldiers. No big deal. All for Sila, right? <laughs> All for her. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's basically Sparag, if you will. Fun fact, Bronya stopped killing people since she was nine years old. Because she don't want to be called Monster by Sila. Oh, really, no? <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, the two are just absolutely just... They go together hand in hand. You, you can never mention one without the other. But alright, that is the end of uh, Bronya's teaser there, and you guys said this was like, what, not canon? Semi-canon? Um, that's one part I don't get. What is the not canon part about this? Uh, because I'm not, yeah, I don't think this, like, interferes with the, the previous, like, demo in any sort of way. Yeah, if you guys could let me know, like, what's the non-canon part about this, that'd be much appreciated. But, okay, what's the next one in our lineup here? The next one is... A very emotional short with a strange name. Chapter... Okay, that, yeah, the next one that we're about to watch here. And then it goes... Meteoric Salvation, which I don't think is actually... Oh, no, it's actually right here. And then we can just continue, like, going down the playlist from here. Damn, it's been two hours already. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, we, we've only gotten to like the, the surface of Honkai Impact lore. And we've only... And yeah, two, two hours in, I there's still some stuff I do not understand. <laughs> Another depression? Oh boy. This does not happen in the story. Ronnie's trailer. Oh, okay. I guess that's why it's not canon. Other Sila was retconned into this part in a major way. Okay, I see. Okay, you guys are hyping up the sadness, the depression here, so... Yeah, <laughs> how depressed am I gonna be within 1 minute 20 seconds? Alright. Let's watch this. Chapter IX. XCG. I'm... 
That means chapter 11, right? I believe so, if my Roman numerals are correct. We'll be in Depression Town for a while. Oh boy. Let me prepare my tissue boxes here for, <laughs> for a bit. All right, there they are. All right. Let's begin watching it now. Chapter IX CG. XI, X, C, whatever. I said that all sorts of wrong, but. Oh. Oh boy. What the hell? Himiko? The hell? Oh shit, it is her. What? How she wait, how she back? Tiana. Oh. Oh no, it's just her PTSD kicking in. Now I'm depressed again. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it just goes to show how much impact freaking Himiko's death had on the whole series. Jeez. Can I try to rip herself before this cutscene? Oh, jeez, really? And now she has full control over her hership powers. Yeah, god, then that was depressing. <laughs> Yep, it just took all but 1 minute 20 seconds for me to be, to be depressed all over again. This was right after Kiana tried to unalive herself by sh J Jesus, really? Oh my god. Yeah, these, these games c cover some heavy themes sometimes. Holy shit. But yeah, that is the end of this this freaking trailer. Hold on, yeah, I can't believe Kiana tried to freaking. Oh my god, she almost blew her head out. Yeah, jeez, I would have not wanted to see that. That would have made me like even more sad and even more like anxious for her. Jesus. Right. Yeah. Not, this is not a trailer. This is like an actual in-game cutscene. Yeah. I mean, true, after all the sh the crap she's been through, like, I, I don't blame her, but... Yeah, it would have been all, been all been for nothing if uh, she just died rather than there. Himiko's sacrifice, I mean. Yeah, it's just PTSD on top of PTSD and, an, and uh, yeah, not familiar with death. Yeah, it just seems like all the characters in Honkai Impact 3rd, like, have some sort of trauma. From all the Honkai stuff and whatnot. She turns 18 here? Okay, so that would mean, like, what? Like, it's been, like, a few years after Himiko's death? At least I think so. But yeah, very sad teaser. Teaser, well... Cutscene from Honkai Back Third, and the depression continues because we're gonna go on to Meteoric Salvation. That's the next one, right? Yeah, and then, yeah, pretty much just in order of the playlist here Lament the Fallen, Honkai vs. Retrospect. Oh, that is here, so we'll watch that like afterwards. Okay, so yeah, after Lament of the Fallen, we'll move on to a different video, like that's not on the playlist. All right, Meteoric Salvation. That's Kiana on the thumbnail, Japanese dub version, and it's another animated short. Oh, it's not that long ago. It's like, okay, three months, okay. For some reason, I thought Kiana was way younger when Himiko died. Just four months after Himiko. Okay, I see. 
Himiko turned uh, Himiko. Kiana turned from silly, goofy protagonist to one of the most thoughtful, well-realized characters I've ever seen. It's insane. Yeah, I'm guessing that's why a lot of people want her in like either Genshin or Star Rail. Probably Star Rail at this point. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully you Kiana fans get what you want in the future. This is when Kiana tried to control her power with the help of Fuhua, her, her, her dead classmate. Oh, okay. This whole traumatic thing happens on December. Jeez. On the Christmas month some more. But alright, 6 minutes, uh, 27 seconds long. Meteoric Salvation. No, yeah, this is the next one in the playlist, so let's begin watching right about now. Oh, see, a food well, I've heard of her as a character, but I know nothing about her. Oh, shit. She parkour and... Whoa. Where's she going? December's the month of her birthday. Oh, that even makes it more sad. Oh, she's running from them. Wait, no, aren't they? Aren't these guys supposed to be friendly? Whoa, Booba! Is that a baseball pass? <laughs> okay, now I see where Stell got the inspiration from. <laughs> Are these guys supposed to be on her side? Hmm. Oh, before doing Shigsaw, okay. Holy fucking, she's spider manning around the town right now, holy crap. How the hell is she blocking bullets with a baseball bat? <laughs> what is that baseball made of? Holy crap! <laughs> Fucking gigantic leg! She has laser eyes some more? I'm guessing, yeah, she has full control of the Hersher power, so of course she's, she'd be able to do this. What a f <laughs> what a fucking shot. <laughs> Me in the guts some more, why don't you? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, she's moving into space. Goosebumps. Whoa. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't expect another fucking banger. Oh, that's how she sees it on the moon. Oh, no, she didn't put it on the moon. Oh, fuck, you just exploded in space. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Another fucking go to animation. Oh, it's not over yet. I'll just wait before that, okay. Whoa, wait. What happened? Oh, I thought the town was like destroyed or something. <laughs> I was like, did I miss something? Bass drop is so good. <laughs> Fucking Apple Cinema. <laughs> oh, and not again. Yeah, that's the end. Damn, yeah, Himiko just really, really just shapes the entire story of Star Rail. Star Rail. Honkai Impact 3rd, I keep getting too confused, I'm so sorry. Man, yeah, that animation was fucking goaded as well. God, yeah, this is, all these Himiko appearances is just gonna keep freaking hurting me over and over again. The, the bomb can turn humans into zombies and the Honkai Beast, and she took all the Honkai energy inside of it, and now she only has two months left to live. Oh, shit. Really now, damn. Yorban Gand uh, planted a Honkai nuke in the city. Hmm. I don't know who Yorman Gen is, but the, the point of the actual bomb was to activate as many stigma as they could, but it would likely have killed basically everyone in the city. The World Serpent wants to awaken Stigmana. That's a cancer Himiko has, but because of that, it has shortened her lifespan. Oh, crap. Himiko was important for almost all the part one stories. See, I can see. I can see that. Making Raidame in a difficult position. So damn, so now she has the same disease Himiko has, and now she... Basically, her lifespan is just cut short now. Shoots. And yeah, now the Honkai, like, freaking, I guess, infection is not corrupting her, too. Oh, boy. Well, I guess we'll probably learn what happens to her, like, much later on. Like, yeah, okay, so next up we have here is, uh, <laughs> spoiler alert. The Honkai Effect of their Chapter 15 CG. So this like, yeah, four chapters after the other animation we saw. Yeah, good lord, like, <laughs> it seems like almost all the Honkai's, like, Impact characters have a freaking, like, self-sacrifice in some sort of way. Like, yeah, Wolf sacrificed himself multiple times, Bronya sacrificed herself. It's just like, yeah, a lot, a lot of these characters just seem to love sacrificing themselves. It's doo-doo time? I'm not sure what that means, but <laughs> I hope I understand by the end of this trailer. CG, what? Cutscene, whatever. What, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> okay, it's one minute and 16 seconds long, but you guys are, are hyping it up, so I can't wait to see what it's all about. 
Time for the biggest anti-climax of all times. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just begin watching it right about now. Interesting I have to put a spoiler alert for this for this video and not the other ones. Whoa, what the hell? Did they just Did they fell Godzilla? The hell? Oh Kevin. And wait, who's that? Who's she? Kevin looks like a Giga Chat, honestly. Whoa, okay. Oh shit, another anime fucking fight scene. Okay, she has a summon too. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Holy fucking ultimate. <laughs> Yeah, this anime is fuck! Holy shit! He just encased that entire fucking sword! Oh, that's it. That's how it ends. Damn. <laughs> that's how it ends. I don't even get to see what how the how the battle ends. Wow, okay. Yeah, okay, so this is yeah, Kevin Kanzala and Who's this? Durandal? Oh, that's why you're calling her Doo Doo. <laughs> this is in Africa, by the way? Are you kidding me? This is in Africa. The place was whole desert before Kevin arrived and turned everything to ice. Are you. Wow, okay. Yeah, who, who the hell's supposed to be the villain in this scenario? I can't tell who, who's like in the wrong here. Good lord. Yeah, damn, I wanted to see this whole freaking fight scene play out. The resolution happens out of cutscene. Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. So we don't even get to know who wins that fight? Yeah, you're, you're not wrong. That is, that is super anticlimactic. <laughs> what the hell? Who's the bad guy? Yes. <laughs> So, so, okay, so I don't even know who's the fucking antagonist in this situation. Black and Durandal, Ajin Ata Gina, aka Durandal or Dudu, I see. Now you know why most guys are world enders in this game, and also the CN community doesn't want their garden of waifus to be solid. Yeah, I'll, I'll also watch a video from, um,. I forgot the YouTuber's name, but I watched a video just explaining how the Honkai Impact community just reacted to them adding like a guy character in the game. They did not take it well. They did not take... <laughs> they did not take in, like adding a male playable character well at all. I forgot what its name was, um, like the male character, but... Yeah, apparently like the Honkai Impact community just the the CN community, mind you, basically sent death threats and whatnot because they added in a or like suggested the possibility of adding a male playable character in the game. Because it's because yeah, the whole game's like filled with anime waifus and whatnot. But the moment they decided to add in like one guy, yeah, shit was just flying through the roof. So they decided to try again, <laughs> like with Star Rail, and then, then it actually worked out. Yeah, Mujin, Mujin, that's his name, right. Yeah, I watched yeah, Mujin's video on it. Yeah, the fucking CN community is super unhinged. Yeah, Adam, that was, uh, that was the uh, male playable character's name. Yeah, the CN community is freaking wild. Hey, did you guys know like, the CN community killed, like, like, somebody killed a cat because they hated Scaramouche? Yeah, fucked up stuff. Really fucked up shit. Let's not get into all that. Let's not get into all the controversy. Let's just enjoy the good stuff, which is actual Honkai Impact stuff. Adam, he's the only playable in a game mode, and it's not... Okay, so he's not like gotcha or anything. Who did what? Yeah, if you guys don't know, um, apparently the CN community... Um, or somebody in the scene community was 
killed a cat because they hated Scaramouche. You can look it up yourself. I'm not lying. It's, yeah, the, the scene community is just unhinged. That's all shit. <laughs> Why, cat? Because of, uh, Scaramouche was portrayed as a cat during the Sumeru, like, interlude quest. Basically, the whole Scar Meow stuff. And yeah, people just hated Scaramouche to the point where they actually killed the cat in real life. Ripped to that cat. And yeah, fucking... Yeah, that, that's why <laughs> I refuse to like look at anything regarding the CN community. It's just so so, yeah, unhinged. Anyways, before we yeah, before we get r ranting on about the CN community and like all their sins and whatnot, let's move on to the next one, which you guys uh, and I'm looking forward to: Laments of the Fallen. Um, okay, does he describe what the animation's about? Lament of the Fallen. Okay, animated short, and Raiden Mei is on the thumbnail, so I'm assuming this is about her. More lesbians. Peak choreography? Yeah, I'm really hyped for this trailer because, for one, it has freaking a shit ton of views, and a lot of people seem to like it, and you guys are hyping it up, so I can't wait to see this myself. Let me take a drink of water first before we begin, and yeah, <laughs> let's just watch this trailer. Cutscene. Something. Yeah, forgive me if I call all these traders, by the way. That's just what I'm used to calling them. Mm. Alright, let's go. Play Lament of the Fallen. Whoa. Whoa, uh, hey. Whoa. Hey, I thought you guys were friends. Oh god, the doomed Yuri is, is real here. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, these guys, these two are supposed to be like a Yuri couple, by the way. <laughs> Oh shit, she's tapping to hurt her. Okay, Raiden, come- hold- hang on a minute. You don't have to do a full-on Mortal Kombat fucking combo on her. Holy- Oh, that didn't even freaking phase her. Holy ass beating. <laughs> she launched her out of the fucking rooftops. Okay, now the fight's getting serious. ボロボロなのに無理やりに笑うあなたは私をみんなを助けてくれと <laughs> oh shit. I can feel another fucking banger coming up. <laughs> Go! 
Oh shit, yep, there, there's a fucking bass drop on the fucking horns as well. Oh. <laughs> oh my fucking god. What a fucking hype fucking awakening. <laughs> Just kiss already, you two. <laughs> ah, there's a quote. If rescuing's a sin, I'll gladly become a sinner. <laughs> she just full on whooped her ass and left. Man. Up oh, just more. Oh wait, no, that's the ending credits. Okay. Damn, what a fucking fire animation. Yeah, now I know why you guys hyped this up plenty. Yeah, let me hang on, where was it? Yeah, that this was a replay. Let's let's watch this shit again. God. Fucking the voice acting too is so good. The fucking scream. <laughs> Yeah, and here it fucking comes. Yeah! <laughs> God, good. God, that fucking bass drop is so fucking good. God, just imagine being so gay for <laughs> for your homie that you wake into a new fucking power entirely. That is dedication right there. <laughs> yeah, I would say this is almost like the equivalent of like Akron's Mir Celestia teaser. And yeah, to think that Akron in Star Rail is like an alternate version of May, if Kiana just did not exist, or I guess died. Yeah, I'm looking forward to learning more about her. In 2.2, hopefully. To see if like this is really the same writing or not. Yeah, this this fucking wow. Another iconic fucking <laughs> like animation of Hoyos. By becoming the Hersha, she weakened the Honkai corruption in Kiana. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, might as well let the Libretta song play out. It's so fucking good. Alright, that's another one for the playlist as well. <laughs> Man, I, I kind of wish, like, Ryan Shogun or, like, Akron had, like, those horns. Actually, maybe we will at some point because, yeah, we did see her have horns in the Hawkeye Sario shorts. Man. There's some stuff that implies that she might have killed her Kiana, which, yeah, that make her depressed enough to make a god look. 
Oh yeah, right, the Ryan Shogun boss has the horns. But for some reason, not Ryan herself. Which I wish she had. <laughs> Damn. And yep, there we go. Another iconic, funky, fucking Honkai Impact animation. Good fucking lord. Yeah, the, this was probably like my favorite trailer so far. This was so good. The fucking dedication to not like Kiana freaking sacrifice herself. I just, yeah, admire that in May. Yeah, probably like top three favorite animations of like all times and like from. From Honkai Back Third. It is so fucking good. But okay. Um, now it's time we move on to another animation. Okay, so after Lament the Fallen, yeah, I I'm recommended to watch Honkai vs. Retrospects, which is an animation for the manga. And then animated, uh, one minute animated, um, yeah, let me zoom in here for you guys. Trailer one minute animated called New Animation Reawakening. Animated short Shatter Samsara. Yeah, I believe all of these are not in the playlist. Oh, oops, I forgot it zooms in all my tabs. I mean, a reawakening is right there, so. It's, um. Reawakening. Oh, yeah, it's right after Honkai vs. Retrospect, so. Yeah, we'll, we'll watch this first. And then, okay, is this one it? The Honkai vs. Retrospects. I believe this is what uh, he was, yeah, they were talking about. So, yeah, what's this trailer about? Um, what did one of you guys say about it? It's for a real Honkai Impact Third trailer, okay. That's all May values the friendship. Kiana saved her, and May plans to do the same. Yeah, you can tell the two are close. <laughs> and beyond close. Oh my god, they're roommates. Honestly, the only way Akron feels like Dr. May to me is the Kevin connection. If I had to name a Dr. May in Hawkeye Story, it would probably be Ron May. Hmm. May Chronicles for May lore. After this, May Chronicle and then Awakening. Okay, if, yeah, if you guys really want me to watch May Chronicles, then yeah, we will do so after watching this, this trailer. They're basically married. Theater of Thunder. Oh, is that what this one's all about? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, if you guys really want me to do that, yeah, we'll watch May Chronicles after we watch uh, Honkai vs. Retrospect. But alrighty, uh, you have no idea what this trailer's all about, but yeah, you guys wanted me to watch it, so let's go ahead and give it a view, see. Honkai vs. Retrospect. Oh, is this another... Oh, it's another, like, explanation thing. Honkai still hungers for the end. Hey, there's our boy! <laughs> oh, yeah, I think that's Fu Hua. Holy shit! Okay, yeah, this feels like an official trailer for the game as well. Nothing exists but the heavy ashes of death. Oh, yeah, now on to current times. 
It just seems like a recap of trailer, like the story so far. Oh, don't play that song again. Nah. Yeah, don't show me this again. I I just feel finished grieving. It just seems like a compilation of like everything we've seen so far. I'm glad you become a sinner. Fucking iconic quote. Nah, uh, look at how happy we were before. <laughs> before Shao you decided we need to have trauma. The embers of war have yet to fade. Our very fates are still being made. Yeah, that that very much seemed like a, a complete recap trailer. This was in the concert? Oh, okay. Not really explanation, more like recap. Yeah, pretty much every animation we watched so far has been in this video. So, yeah, that was a nice little recap of like, yeah, was the story so far before like the next coming chapters. Yeah, Honkai in a nutshell, pretty much. I don't think Honkai Victor gave freaking Hershers in their anniversary events. Yeah, that's another thing too. I think I've heard that Honkai Victor actually gave away just free five stars for like each of their anniversaries. Well, not all of them per se, but some of them. Chachi has only worked on Chapter 9 and the Elysian Realm in Honkai Impact 3rd. Oh, okay, so. Hmm. So he, so he wasn't responsible for all the stuff that happened, or well, all the traumatic stuff that happened in this game. I see. They always give free five stars for anniversaries. They even gave him a uh, Hersher of Void in one of their anniversary, and a Hersher of Lightning skin for Raiden May. Oh, really now? Yeah, geez, yeah. Hawkeye Impact Third just seems super, super generous as compared to like the current games. Elysian Realm. I watch uh, Finn Anna's stream on that. I bawled my eyes out. It was so good. Yeah, maybe one of these days. Like I'm, I'm reacting to like the cutscenes and trailers as of right now. But maybe one day I'll just sit down and like watch like the full story of Honkai Impact to understand in its entirety. Because honestly, after seeing these trailers, I'm motivated to do that. Maybe not anytime soon, but eventually. Eventually, I do want to just sit down and just watch the entirety of the Honkai Impact story. Not sure. Yeah, I don't think I'll play it myself, but yeah, watching it, I think. Yeah, it should be enough to like for me to like fully grasp the entire story. The director of Honkai Impact uh, and Star Rail manages till this day. No surprise, Shoji cooked in the Elysium realm so hard. Yeah, that's like one of the more recent arcs in uh, Honkai Impact, right? Like, we're not gonna get to that until like very much later on, I believe. Yeah, and I have heard that Honkai Impact 3rd used to have really bad rewards until a new director stepped in. And then, what do you know, that director that was working on Honkai Impacts is now on Genshin, which is why Genshin has like less generous rewards. It confuses me that, we, like, that they don't just fire that director, honestly, but oh well. But okay, that is Honkai vs. Retrospective. Pretty much just recap of the story so far, and the next one... Up is, uh, which one? I forgot where I'm at. Where am I? Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, Reawakening. That's the next one. Two minutes, 16 seconds long trailer. Um, who's that on the thumbnail? I don't recognize that character on the thumbnail. Hmm. Get the... <laughs> 
I didn't know that. That actually explains everything. Yeah, if you want, guys want to know, that's the reason why Genshin's so stingy with their rewards. It's because of the director that gave stingy rewards for Honkai Impact moved to Genshin. It's, yeah, honestly baffling that they don't just fire them at that point. Right, May Chronicles. Wait, wait, wait. May Chronicles, yeah. I, I'm, I'll, I'll watch that. Although you guys seem to want to watch this one first, so yeah, after this trailer, we'll get to May Chronicles. Let me just actually bring it up here so we can watch it afterwards. May Chron. Right to May Chronicles. There we go. Just to have it there. Wait, is it this one? Thunder Reborn. Okay, yeah, that's the one. Okay, we'll watch uh, Reawakening first, then we'll watch that one afterwards. But right, new trap, new chapter trailer, Reawakening Japanese Dub Edition. Yeah, Honkai Impact Third. Not sure who's this is gonna be about, but hopefully it's just as a banger as the rest of these and uh, these animations. Who's this? No, shoot. Oh, that's... what's her name? Durandal? Who the fuck? Kevin's here too? Oh fuck! Fucking angel of death! What? You can't just cut away? Show me what happened! What? Is she just going after all the Hershers? All the freaking major characters? Who is this woman? What the fuck? <laughs> this girl crazy. Okay. What in the hell? That's Fuwa? Oh fuck. Oh fuck, she turns evil too? Okay, we're not going to the next trailer just yet. How- okay, <laughs> fucking what? How does she become corrupted? Good lord, like yeah, she fucking tried to kill Bronya and Kevin and fucking Durandal all at the fucking same time. Yeah, if she can fight fucking Kevin who like froze Africa, I don't know what- <laughs> I don't want to know how powerful she is. Oh, Fuhua's daughter, okay. I can fix her. <laughs> Y'all are down bad, Chad. You know that? <laughs> They're all facing the same one, by the way. Hmm. Basically, the Hersher sentience, the other Fuhua. It's Fuhua at the same time, but it's not. Senti. Okay. <laughs> this. Okay, I need to wrap my head all around all of this. Yeah, this is why I want to watch, like, the full Honkai story, because. Despite you guys telling me, I don't think I fully understand, like, what's going on and whatnot. Yeah, maybe one day I'll do another stream was just, like, reacting to, like, the story as a whole of Honkai Impact. Honkai has got her body, and her body had memories. Okay, so basically the Honkai just took over Fuhua entirely. She's chicken? Is that like an inside joke I'm not getting? <laughs> what do you mean, Fuhua's chicken? Fuhua Chronicles will give you an explanation. 
Okay, then. Um, actually, does Fuqua Chronicles show up here? Oh, no, we only have, like, five, uh, like, trails left in this playlist. But, yeah, of course we're going to go to Thunder Greetings, Reborn Captain. first. Well, English. English jump scare. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, they do have an operation center for Fuhua as well, so... Can we watch that one, too? Simply was a support, right? Um, Fuhua, it's another one with a very unique circumstances. Animation will clear things. Yeah, maybe we should just watch these two chronicles back to back. Also, this one for Auto Apocalypse. I do want to watch that one too. Because yeah, Auto's like pretty much like the main antagonist of like the whole series, right? Yeah, no, like after we're done with this playlist, you guys can just recommend me a bunch of videos of Honkai to watch. And then we'll go like probably in order here. Let me actually like pull up the Honkai YouTube channel here. Actually, don't I, do they have a Honkai Chronicles like playlist? Oh, so yeah, Cooking with Valkyrie. So, but watch that like after everything else is done. Oh yeah, Honkai Chronicles right here. Yeah, we. I guess we can, after we're done here, we can move on to like the Chronicles playlist and watch everything here to actually know some of the stuff. Yeah, actually we watch most of the videos here. Although, yeah, I do want to watch the one re regarding Kiana and also Auto Apocalypse. So I guess maybe you can watch those ones later on. Yes? All right. Then, yeah, once we're done with this one playlist, we'll move on to, like, the rest of the Chronicles. About Auto, I recommend Official and Homu Labs. That's another thing, too. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to watch uh, Thunder Reborn. We're also going to watch Fuhua's one. Uh, go back to this playlist, finish it, and then go to the Chronicles, watch it in full, then we're gonna go back to Humble Labs. Very confusing order, I know, but that's pretty much what I plan to do now. <laughs> Unless it's like some other videos you guys want me to watch as well, but yeah. Let us go to Thunder Reborn. It's 14 minutes long, so I'm expecting a, like a, a crap ton of lore dumps here. Watch Golden Courtyard after Elysian Realm. Um, I'm not sure where Elysian Realm shows up here, or what Golden Courtyard is, but you guys, I guess, let me know when when it does come around. But okay, let's begin Thunder Reborn, Honkai Operation Center, Chapter 2. Greetings, Captain. Welcome back to Honkai Operation Center. In recent stories of Honkai Impact 3rd, May has been the center of stage. She returned to the city of Nagazora, regained her Hersher powers, and once again became the Queen of Thunder. And beat Kiana's ass to How oblivion. How did this heiress of a multi-billion dollar corporation turn into a Hersher? What did she experience and witness? To answer these questions, oh, we God, have divided May's journey into four parts. Origins, Valkyrie, Arc Fugitive, and Returning to Nagazora. I like this, by the way. I like that they're doing like these videos because it seems Honkai Impact like themselves know their lore is convoluted. <laughs> it's like very, very hard to understand and get into. So I'm glad they made these videos just to get us to, I guess, understand in more detail what happened to each character. May Raiden was born on April 13, 1997, in the city of Nagazora. What the? Okay, let's. I, I kind of want to read things here. 1999, mother deceased, cause of death cancer. Ooh. Abducted by a terrorist organization, underwent a three year mental trauma treatment at a private institution under ME Corp. Jesus. Father, Ryoma Raiden, arrested for economic crimes. Oh boy, she had quite the childhood. Her father, Ryoma Raiden, was the head of Massive Electric Corporation. May's mother, however, passed away when she was young, and her name remained a mystery. May was enrolled in the elite high school of Chiba Academy. Only children of rich, powerful, and connected people could hope to study there. Okay. And May Raiden happened to be one of them, and she was so much more. She was beautiful, tall, and intelligent. Everyone in school idolized her. And simp for her. But this didn't last forever. Disaster struck ME Corp that her father owned. Ryoma Raiden became a criminal, guilty of economic fraud, and went missing to avoid arrest. May's life was turned upside down. Her classmates and even teachers turned cold and ostracized her. Jeez. That was when she learned that their friendship and adulation 
were only reserved for her family fortune and prestige, and those had disappeared when her father ran away. Left alone Damn. to face- Damn, I always hate those kinds of people. It's just like, oh, I'm gonna be friends with you because you're rich, and your father's rich, and yeah. But, oh, no, your father's a piece of shit? Nah, I'm not gonna associate with you anymore. I always hate those types of people who don't become friends with you only- or, like, become friends with you for ulterior motives and not truly because they want to become your friend. Those people fucking suck. It's an uncaring world. May soon became extremely jaded and started hearing a voice echoing in the darkness. It promised terrible powers. This world deserves to be destroyed. Oh. She chose to become a Hersher and ignited the 2014 Honkai outbreak in Nagazora. Millions died as a result. Oh, God. While May reveled in her new powers, a mysterious silver-haired transfer student named Kiana Kaslana suddenly appeared to stop her. <laughs> and she starts a freaking baseball bat. For destroying the city, Kiana appealed to her human conscience. With her help, May successfully subdued the Hersher within, and Kiana quickly became a close friend. The two girls met Bronya, and the three of them worked together to flee the stricken city. And thus, the main tree of Honkai Empire by Hinako, formed. A Valkyrie of Sheiksal's Far East Branch. Teresa Apocalypse, who's in charge of the Far East Branch, used all her powers and resources to enroll the three girls into her own Valkyrie training school, St. Freya High. Okay. And that was May Raiden, an ex heiress once worth billions, who lost both her parents, became <laughs> ostracized, acquired her. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but why, why is this, this is such a funny ad fucking frame right here? Oh, mom, rip. Dad, oopsie, he got arrested. <laughs> I feel like that's a poor way of like explaining a character's backstory. It's just, oh, <laughs> traumatic stuff happened. Oh, well. <laughs> what the? Yeah, what the heck is this frame right here? We can assume he died of old age or something. I'm assuming, yeah, he just, just never mentioned ever again. But it's just like, oops, your dad got arrested and now you're being bullied for it. Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> that's that's a very simplistic way to explain things. It's like, yeah, try to explain to a child what happened. Anyways, her powers destroyed a city, met two very good friends, and started training to become a Valkyrie. In a city, met parents, became ostracized, acquired Hersher powers, destroyed a city. See, that's another thing, too. Did me, me actually killed millions, right? And yet Kiana was just like, yeah, let's still become friends, even though she's probably like a mass murderer. Also, misinterpreting it. Like, yeah, did she actually cause like the, all those millions of people to die? I can't blame her uh, parents. It's just that some parents don't deserve kids. Kiana can fix her. And, well, I guess she did, in a sense. All right, let's continue. Met two very good friends and started training to become a Valkyrie and defend the world against the Honkai. May was ever fearful of the Honkai also, defend the world. Also, BFF Kiana. Yeah, we, we know. We, we know what this is supposed to be. It's not BFF. It's something else. Anyways, against the Honkai. The Hersher persona did it, not May herself. Oh, okay. Okay, just want to clarify that, because <laughs> I would just question Kiana. It's just like, this this girl murdered millions. Why would you want to become friends with her? But okay, no, it's not her directly. Hi. May was ever fearful of the Honkai within her and agreed to let Himeko implant a heart bomb. Whoa. The bomb has a sensor that will start a countdown if it detects Hersher impulses within May. Holy. During her training. A heart bomb? Excuse me? So she agreed to let herself die if the Honkai went ballistic. And agreed to let Himeko implant a heart bomb. Jeez. The bomb has a sensor that will start a countdown if it detects Hersher impulses within May. During her training, May and her friends Kiana and Bronya took on many missions that included stopping an ancient Honkai monster, Chio, and recovering a runaway battleship known as the Selini. May also demonstrated her superb cooking abilities. Uh. She even learned to play video games. <laughs> May also demonstrated her superb cooking abilities, unlike a certain other Raiden we know. 
I just I just find it funny that <laughs> the contrast between this Raiden and uh, Genshin's Raiden. Anyways. May also demonstrated her superb cooking abilities. She even learned to play video games. Also, I love that Branya but face. things would once again turn just to the nah. worst. <laughs> Shortly after graduating as fully minted Valkyries, May, Kiana, and Bronya were sent to Shikshal's Oceania branch to recover a Hersher core, the Gem of Desire. The gem was placed in an ex-Valkyrie named Wendy, who served as its human vessel. But Wendy eventually lost control and became a Hersher herself. While the young Valkyries battled okay. Wendy, Kokolia from Sheiksal's rival faction of While the young Valkyries Excuse me? Valkyries battled Wendy, Kokolia from Kokolia. <laughs> what? Is that how our name is actually supposed to be pronounced? But no, they they say as Kokolia and Star Rail. <laughs> also, yeah, some people I think said that Wendy is supposed to be like a Venti XP and like in Genshin. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Pronunciation jump scare. Coco Lia. <laughs> what? That took me for a fucking loop. I thought it was Coco Lia this whole time. Anyways. From Sheiksal's rival faction of anti entropy ambushed them, using a brain chip implant to control Bronya and capture both Wendy and May. Oh shit, what? Damn, it just seems like every Honkai character just turns evil at some point. What? Using a brain chip implant to control Bronya and capture both Wendy and May. Okay, so Bronya was evil too at some point. a prisoner to be experimented upon for her Hersher powers, Bronya chose to sacrifice herself by burning out her brain chip so that Kiana and the others could rescue May and escape. May soon realized that her friends often suffered grievously just to save her. A sense of helplessness and a matching desire to get stronger began to grow in her heart. Also, yeah, how's that? How does she do that as well? She somehow burned the brain chip while still being under control. Out her brain hmm. chip so that Kiana and the others could rescue May and escape. Also, that's gotta be May like. Soon realized yeah, I assume that's gotta be grievously just to say really her, painful. A sense of helplessness and a matching desire to get stronger began. To also, how's she alive? Is such her brain? <laughs> that wasn't the end of the bad news. As Teresa and the Far East Branch worked around the clock to wake Bronya from her coma, oh, she went she to coma. Overseer Auto Apocalypse oh, suddenly boy. abducted Kiana and took her to his secret headquarters. Oh boy! It turned out this that guy. the Overseer always had a secret plan of reviving a Hersher known for her burning hatred against humanity. May, once hopeful that she could protect the world as a Valkyrie, realized that she simply wasn't strong enough. Bronya went into a coma to save her. Kiana was kidnapped, and her ultimate superior, Auto Apocalypse, turned out to be a scheming supervillain <laughs> who would soon unleash a terrible Honkai disaster upon the entire planet. Once again, May's life entered another pivotal moment. This girl cannot catch a break, can she? Kiana was revealed to be an artificial clone designed by Auto that served one purpose only. Excuse me? Oh, wait. Wait, no, she's a. Wait, hang on. To serve as a vessel to Sidim, the second Hersher who was defeated in the year 2000. Oh, okay. To rescue Kiana and stop the impending Honkai eruption, Teresa of the Far East Branch rebelled against Overseer Otto. May also became part of the alliance forged by Teresa. Right, and Kiana's Indiana. a clone. I think, yeah, right. You guys told me about that. She's a clone of uh, Kevin, I, I believe. I think, I think that's what you guys told me. And together, they fought their way into the headquarters of Sheiksal itself. While battle raged, Sidin began to stir in her slumber. The second Hersher gradually assumed control over Kiana's body and summoned a horde of Honkai beasts. To help clear the way to the possessed Kiana, Teresa decided to remove the heart bomb from May. May was grateful for Teresa's trust. Armed with the power of the Hersher within, she easily defeated numerous enemies. But all her struggles were in vain. Yep, because she... When the rebels stepped into the heart of Sheiksal, Sidin's oh. persona had already succeeded in fully possessing Kiana. A terrible battle followed. Uh huh. Sirin tore away the gem of conquest from May's body oh, and shit. acquired even greater power. Okay, oh, so that's what happened after the, the cutscene. The removal of the Hersher core also took May out of the fight. Just when all hope was lost, Himeko entered into the fray and bravely fought Sidin. Oh, uh, yep. Her selfless fight Final gave lesson. everyone the time they needed to escape. Teresa and the exhausted rebels withdrew from Sheiksal. They failed to stop Otto and Seating and became fugitives on the run. 
The Battle of Sheiksaw was yet another blow in May's life. She couldn't save her best friend. Searing even took May's core, gaining greater powers to wreak havoc on the entire planet. And in the face of such an enemy, May's only option was to flee. Damn. <laughs> Having been on the run for four months, Teresa came across witness reports of Kiana at Ark. Okay, so... Oh, so... I guess Kiana didn't recover immediately after, like, she was injected. Like, still, the Hersher steering is, like, still taking over, like, Kiana's whole body. And I guess she, yeah, never snapped out of it until, like, much later on. Yeah, how much, how much trauma can this girl fucking be through? Good lord. Oh, Kiana's a clone of the real Kiana and Sirian. Okay, I see. K423 is our Kiana. Okay, I see, I see. Okay, sorry. Just getting stuff wrapped up in my head here. City, located in Shenzhou. Teresa, Bronya, and May tried contacting an intel dealer named Grey Serpent. Instead, they came across the Ningyo, a cyborg girl who might know Whoa. Kiana's whereabouts. But Sheiksaw's agent Rita suddenly appeared and defeated the three fugitives. They were forced to retreat with the Ningyo. The bad news was that the Hello, Ningyo no this longer baddie? had any useful data after being formatted by Rita. May, who felt she had been performing poorly in battle, asked Dr. Tesla to make her an augmented battle suit to work better with her residual Hersher powers. <laughs> That's uh... Meanwhile, the fugitives also yep, decided to split can get their forces in, game. in two. <laughs> Teresa would respond to Kokolia's request and head to the deep Kokolia, the okay. <laughs> to retrieve the Gem of Desire. May and Tesla would return to AE headquarters with the Helios to repair the Ningyo for data salvaging and locate Kiana's whereabouts. While May and Tesla worked on the Ningyo, the cyborg suddenly conveyed a message from Rita. Rita revealed that Kiana was indeed in Ark City to investigate a mysterious serpent-backed company. Kiana even agreed to form a temporary alliance with Rita. Hmm. But Rita soon walked into a world serpent trap and lost her S-rank Valkyrie powers. Kiana was also captured by the world serpent. With little options left, Rita thus decided to call May for support. Though suspicious of Rita, May would not give up any chance of reuniting with Kiana and went back to Ark City eventually. Hmm. May was also surprised that Rita did not lie and even tried working with her. May did get what she wanted, reuniting with Kiana. She asked her friend to return to the Hyperion. However, Kiana chose to stay in Ark to stop the World Serpent from creating an artificial Honkai eruption in the city. A World Serpent mercenary named Raven tried to stop Kiana. Oh, and right, Raven. Yeah, he, yeah, you guys, I think most people said that she's uh, Natasha in Star Rail, or like an ex of her. And these two are like completely different, by the way. She's like a full-on assassin, while Natasha is like... A, a nurse. Also, yeah. Once again, um, I have to ask. Um, yeah, did how long did Ki like? Yeah, did Kiana take a while to like recover from the Hersher stuff? Like after being injected with the serum Himiko gave her. And yeah, Natasha and Honkai Third also like has an orphanage, I believe. Raises an orphanage. Yeah, let me scroll up a bit here. Uh, let, yeah, let me read chat for a while here before we continue. Uh, let me see. She basically recovered initially, but suffered from PTSD and was tormented by her other sentience or serum. Okay, I see. All right, yeah. Sorry, sorry for asking these questions again and again, like, in, while in the middle of the trailer. I just want to understand everything going forward with this trailer, but yeah, all right. Girls fought her off, only to realize that Raven succeeded in delaying them. A wounded May could only see her friend tapping into the Forbidden Void powers to send the detonating Honkai reactor away from the city and save millions of people. Kiana passed out from overexerting herself and fell. Her deadly descent was stopped by a tree that sprouted from a lance. May rushed forward to save her friend, only to find out that Durandal, the most powerful S-rank Valkyrie of Shiksal, had arrived first. And this Valkyrie was ordered to take Kiana away. No matter how Damn. hard May fought, she couldn't stop Durandal. 
Okay, yeah, now now I'm beginning to understand. Basically, everybody just kept sacrificing themselves and also doing things that she could not help with. And she just felt helpless, like, the whole time. Because, yeah, everybody was doing, like, everything they could. Meanwhile, Mei was here, just yeah, being powerless to do any anything to help them. Once again, the cruel hands of fate tore them apart. The attempted reunion with Kiana at Ark City only deepened May's angst. She was too weak to stop Sheiksal, and her weakness allowed them to take Kiana. Though imprisoned at Sheiksal's Vemer Labs in North Africa, Kiana managed to escape during the chaos caused by a World Serpent attack. She used her void powers again and teleported herself to Nagazora, the place where she first met May. Dr. Tesla detected the energy fluctuations from Kiana's teleportation, and thus the fugitives headed toward the city that was destroyed by the Honkai eruption three years ago. Hmm. May and Tesla arrived at the city ruins and tried looking for Kiana. Instead, they found scavenging children living in shelters who survived the Honkai disaster. And the sensei protector of these children who helped build their shelters oh, yep. was none other than Raven, the world serpent mercenary that May fought in Ark City. When facing rising sea levels and Honkai resurgence, and also due to her need to protect the children, May agreed to set aside hostilities and join forces with Raven. Together, they located Kiana's whereabouts and even defeated the Honkai dragon Benaris that was trying to protect its queen. Trying to protect its queen, okay. Hmm. Then Raven revealed her intent for coming to Nagazora. To protect Siren. She wanted hmm. to kill Kiana and end the threat of the Honkai she poses. Nevertheless, Raven gave May a chance to stop herself. May drew her blade without hesitation and ended her brief alliance with Raven. But without her Hersher gem, May was no match against Raven. God, and she kept losing like her, many fights as well. No different than an ordinary human. May knew that Raven would kill Kiana once she was defeated. She decided to sacrifice herself and started concentrating Honkai energy within her. Raven was shocked. She just witnessed a Corliss ex Hersher releasing a sudden burst of terrible power. She therefore allowed May to take Kiana away. After enduring many battles and defeats, May was finally able to bring Kiana home. But then Dr. Tesla told her the bad news. Uh. The three Hersher cores within Kiana had overloaded her body with Honkai infection. She had less than two months to live. Right, as you guys told May me. May found herself utterly helpless after hearing the bad news. God, this girl just cannot stop feeling helpless, can she? She like lost several fights and also... Yeah, was helpless to help any of that. Jeez. She also found that Kiana had lost several senses and could not even taste the food she cooked. The World Serpent, however, was well aware of the relationship between May and Kiana. Kevin Kaslana, the sire of the World Serpent, met May in person. He was a previous era survivor and lauded as their most powerful warrior. Kevin promised May hmm. that the World Serpent could save Kiana's life. And that would require May to simply become a Honkai Hersher once again. Oh. Once May became a Hersher, one of the Hersher cores infecting Kiana would dissipate and reappear in May instead, oh, greatly reducing that's, Kiana's okay. infection. But May would have to leave Kiana and join the World Serpent to ensure that their grand project succeeds. And when Project Stigma successfully reforms the human race and defeats the Honkai, Kiana would no longer have to sacrifice herself to protect the world. To save her dying friend, May accepted the Serpent's offer without hesitation. Because of course she and would. shortly after making her choice, a channel into the Sea of Quanta suddenly appeared in Nagazora. It turned out that Otto had fired the second Divine Key to create a channel right through the sea. Oh, God damn it, Otto. And Not this again. was only possible because of the deal that Kevin and Otto made a few days ago. Kevin told May that she should take this chance to absorb Honkai energy seeping from Nagazora and complete her metamorphosis. Oh, okay, never mind. Everything that was intentional. Everything that began in Nagazora would end in the same city. Three years ago, Kiana stopped May from becoming a Hersher, and the two girls became best friends. And now, May has decided to become a Hersher once more, just to save Kiana. When Damn, the transformation the is arc, complete, though. May will have to betray her just to save. This this must have been so satisfying for like people who were like just following the story it's just you know finally seeing may come into power after years of just not of just losing just constantly if kiana when the transformation is complete may will have to betray her friends and join forces with the enemy but that's the price she needs to pay entering the darkness is the only way she can return kiana to bliss 
We're happy that you managed to stay with us and oh, reach and the end of this video. And you're all caught up. We would also like to know what you think about the story so far and what you would Man. like to see next. Background history of the factions such as the World Serpent, Sheiksal, and Anti-Entropy? Or background stories of characters on your Valkyrie roster? Perhaps even secret technologies of the previous era? Do leave your Wait, how do they pronounce perhaps an anti entropy? I got a minute. Background then. stories of characters on your Valkyrie roster. Valkyrie roster. I thought it's Valkyrie, but okay. <laughs> perhaps even secret technologies of the previous era. Do leave your opinions in the comments section. Okay, yeah, now, now after watching this, yeah, now I have a better insight as to what. Yeah, the, the similarities between Raiden May and also like Acheron's like stories. I think, anyways. It was painful. Now time to go to sentience. And yeah, now 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 it feels like more connected. Now now I'm starting to understand. Like yeah, now the similarities between Acheron and Raiden May. Yeah, we'll we'll watch Acheron's trailer like at the very very end, and then just compare the like the two trailers together. But man, yeah, fucking this girl went through a lot. She went through a lot, a lot. She could not catch a break until like she finally became a Hersher. You notice each Hersher has a dragon after all. Oh yeah, true. The dragon felt the prescience of Siren in Kiana. Hence why uh, she has three Hersher cores in Kiana. Okay. It's like that meme, oh she's Kiana-less. <laughs> Her girlfriend is gone. Gone, I say. <laughs> okay, so... Right. So, to in order to save Kiana, she had to, like, pretty much defect to the other side while also becoming a Hersher. But, yeah, she decided, yeah, that was a price to pay if it meant saving Kiana as a whole. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, yeah. And then, next up, we have uh, Operation Center Fuhua here, which is up next. Um, I'm pretty sure this also explains her backstory as well. And then, yeah, after this, we'll go back to the playlist here, watch the rest of these... And yeah, also like probably do the rest of the Honkai Chronicles as well. So yeah, hopefully this Fuhua trailer explains why she turns evil here and why she got like corrupted by, by the Honkai and like who she is like to begin with. Because out of all these trailers so far, I know nothing about Fuhua. Oh, not yet. Okay, shared some Sara first. Okay, 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 okay. But we'll save this for later. Then we'll save this for later. Shared some Sara. Where is is no? It's, it's not here. I'll just look it up then. Uh, right. Shared Samsara. Right. Apologies. Greetings, captains. God, Welcome wait, back. Wait, no. I actually hit the back button on my freaking mouse on accident. Hang on. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, Shared Samsara, Everlasting Flame Animated Shorts. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go with the order here. Like, then, yeah, Chronicles of Kiana, Chronicles of Fuhua. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll just follow this order here that that, that uh, this guy commented. Yeah, Shared Samsara. Whoops. I forgot to put. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Hang on a minute. I forgot to put that on. Okay, there, okay, this is the video, probably. There we go. Is it a playlist? Scroll up in the playlist. Oh wait, it is. Oh, this playlist. Wait, share some Sara. Where it is? Where is it? Uh, wait. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, no, I don't see it on the playlist here. Wait, reawakening. Or do you mean the Chronicles playlist? Okay, you no, know, Kiana. No, I'm not seeing it here. Yeah, I'm assuming this is a video you guys wanted me to watch anyway. So, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll watch this first. It's right under Re Reawakening. Oh, is it? Oh, this one. Wait, were this one... Oh, yeah, okay. These two are just essentially the same video. Okay, okay, I, I I was confused at first because of this beginning part, the Honkai 3rd anniversary stuff, but this and this are the same video, so, okay. Thanks for cleaning up any confusions with Vinny. And then, yeah, we'll watch this first, and then, 
Actually, we might as well have just finished this playlist as a whole. Actually, wait, no. Actually, how many? Do we, how much do we have left? Oh, we, okay, we still have a few more to go. Uh, yeah, I think we'll do that first. Maybe finish this whole playlist first, then watch a Honkai Chronicles afterwards. Or n actually, no, we'll just follow this this order right here. Yeah, there we go. Shared Samsara, Everlasting Flame, Chronicles of Kiana, Chronicles of Fuhua, New Arc Trailer. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go in this order right here. Okay, shout out to get to that guy by the way once again. Yeah, I'm assuming like this spoils stuff that that's gonna be said in the Fuhua Chronicles, so that's why you didn't want me to watch that first. But okay, yeah, thank thank you guys for warning me. <laughs> I uh, yeah, nearly spoiled myself there for. Oh, what that said. Oh yeah, it, it shattered Samsara, not shared Samsara. For some reason, I thought it said shared. My bad. Yeah, it's just me misreading there. Okay, so Honkai GLB third anniversary. Oh, so it's the third anniversary of Honkai Impact third. I made short shout out Samsara, which I'm pretty sure is gonna be about Fuhua, as we're about to see here. But all right, let's begin. Six minutes, ten seconds long. Let's go. <clears throat> Sorry, just choked there for a second. I also gotta love the MiHoYo anime like logos like Kiana. Whoa! Where are they? Holy crap, she's changed. Whoa! Already off to a fucking <laughs> a great start. <laughs> also, love her design, by the way. The fucking Buhua's like design. God, the fucking guitar, holy shit. <laughs> Why do you have that clown out? Oh. What the? <laughs> okay. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> Emiko again. Oh, wait, no. Oh, actual Fuhua. Not her insane self right here. <laughs> Holy, she's some something a little black hole up there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this fucking animation. <laughs> oh, and yep, Hoya loves those impact frames for sure. Ritsha,私に任せなさい。元気はもうすぐ解除される。もう帰って。<laughs> Good look at that shot though. Yep, and here's where the sad music kicks in. Yeah, you're- I'm, I'm asking the same things, Kiana. Why is it always like this? Oh, 
Oh, this track. What the? What the hell? ま、私は嘘をつかないよ。ルツセツはここまでのようです。信じてくれた人、私に生理が来なりました。私は強いから、そんなの心配ないよ。でも、still <laughs> Goosebumps. Oh my god. Oh, this animation though. <laughs> If I were actually playing Hawkeye Impact, this is where I would ball my fucking eyes out. <laughs> I can tell. I've grown accustomed to parting and despair. I've lost touch of time. I struggle in the Samsara, only hope in the beginning, my mission. This fucking music. <laughs> This is a song this is sang by a guy? A man? Really? One man has this angelic of a voice. Holy crap. Everything changed here and now. Oh shoot, we're not going to the next one. I hate the autoplay. I should turn that off. Actually knows a play is it always autoplays, but Holy crap, what a f what another fucking great animation. Yeah, for once they were able to actually s save one of the characters and not kill them off this time around. Fuhua has suffered countless betrayals over 50,000 years. And Kiana's sick of losing anyone else, so she's defying logic to save her. <laughs> like, like a true anime protagonist would. Yeah, holy shit, the happy fucking ending for once. And not somebody dying off for a change. Yeah, honestly, that was... I, I'm still in shock. That was sang by a guy? That did not... I, I don't know any man with an, as in jug voice as that. Holy crap. For sure, this animation is about Kiana fighting against Fuhua's body with the help of Fuhua's mind. I see. Zenzo, he has the rarest type of singing voice. I, I gotta listen to that again, hold up. Th that deserves a replay, don't you guys think? Let's do it. Actually, yeah, where does it... Where does it play here? Yeah, here we go. I still have trouble copying it that this is a guy singing. <laughs> Yeah, who are... Hmm. I'll probably know about them in the Fuhua Chronicles. He's very famous in China? Yeah, I would expect him to be. <laughs> Oh, chills. <laughs> Literal chills. The power of friendship <laughs> defies all logic and reason. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, what's this song called? I've heard this before, before I watched this trailer, but I did not know what it was about. Now I know the context. Rubia, th that's what it's called. God. <laughs> yep. Now, I'm just learning that now, yeah, my playlist is gonna be full of Honkai Impact third songs. So fucking good. Yeah, that man has a literal voice of an angel. Holy crap. Go search and watch Ruby and the top comment is Genshin. Is it really? <laughs> uh, nope, no, 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 I'm not, not watching this one yet. <laughs> Hold up. Don't want to, don't want to, like, advance forward here. She went. She wants to go back home, but can't find a home. So she kept waiting for 50k years, and now she's found it. St. Freya High School. I see. Yeah, hang on. I do want to actually test that theory. Um, okay, Rubia. Yeah, yeah, I've heard this initially at first. Oh, see, this one has like 10 million views, like, well deserved as well. Yeah, I'm gonna leave a like on this one as well because this, the fucking song's fucking goaded. <laughs> and of course, like, yeah, the top comment is like the Genshin channel themselves. Yeah, what a fucking goaded song. Holy crap. Literal chills. I've never heard a man's voice out angelic in my entire life, but I'm glad I've heard it first here in Honkai Impact. A lot of voice coaches are shocked to hear him singing. As he said, a little voice of an angel. Yeah, he, that is such great singing. If you want some Yata, watch Hersher Sentience trailer. I have no idea what this Yata thing you guys are talking about is. I'm assuming it's an inside joke. I guess we could watch that. Um, Hersher of... um. Uh, sentience. Yeah, that that is what we're gonna watch next. We're gonna watch. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hershey sent. Wait, is it here? Um. Wait, I'm not seeing it here. Wait, why they? Yeah, why do you leave with the Fuhua Chronicles one? Wait. Yeah. No, I'm not seeing it here. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to like look it up myself then. Uh. Okay. Fuhua Chronicles. That's what we're gonna watch next. There we go. She shot Yata after an attack. Oh, that's why. Okay. Unequaled and unrivaled 4.6 PV. Oh, wait, is that where? Like, she. Okay. Wanna watch a Honkai third concert yet? <laughs> Maybe in a different stream. Maybe in a future stream I will do so, but not right now. <laughs> we only have like an hour left after all. But okay, next up we'll watch, let's see here. Yeah, Fuhua's um, Chronicles trailer and also Kiana's as well. <laughs> and yeah, also to, you know, understand her as a whole. Oh wait, Everlasting Flame. Should it, wait. Uh, that, that's this one right here. Hmm. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll watch Everlasting Flame first before we go into the Chronicles one. You'll like that, I swear. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll watch Everlasting Flames first, then the Chronicles trailers. Yeah, but I guess we can watch the Hershey Sentience trailers like later on. Wuhua Chronicles, the next animated short, then Kiana's Chronicles. I guess we can do it in that order, yeah. I guess it doesn't really matter what order you watch it in, just so as long as I don't accidentally, like, spoil myself for what's happening and whatnot. It's, yeah. 
Let's begin with Fuhua Chronicles. Surprisingly, it's only, it's only like nine minutes long. Yeah, we'll, we'll go Fuhua and then Everlasting Flames, then to Kiana. All right. This one dragged me to Honkai Impact. Okay, yeah, then I'm yeah, I'm excited to see what this trailer is all about because yeah, I basically know nothing about Fuhua. Other than yeah, other than the two animated teasers we just saw of her, um, I know nothing about her. I, I don't know who she is, Sukiana, and I don't know like nothing about her. I haven't heard about anything about her ever, like at like at all. So kind of excited to learn more about her. Only nine minutes to learn about her fifty k years of tragedy. Oh, you mean Everlasting Flames drags into Honkai? Okay. But yeah, let's watch uh, Fuhua's uh, yeah, Operation Center trailer. and oh, tra tra I call it trailer, but it's just a video. But yeah, and see if we can learn more about her. Greetings, Captains. Welcome back to the Honkai Operation Center. As time flows forward, Fuhua has shaped the history under different names and identities. The A. Thersher, who calls herself Fuhua, has now appeared before us. But who is she really? What has Fuhua undergone in 50,000 years? 50,000 years. Let's take a closer look at the long and Surprise solitary she, life of like, a warrior. Surprise, she has lived fucking Fuhua so long. Fuhua was born in the lower district of Also, she somewhat looks like Cloud Retainer <laughs> She grew in that up one practicing shot. martial arts after her father and lived a disciplined life. Due to her humble origin, plain appearance, and straight, reserved personality, Fuhua Gotta was a loner when she glasses, girls, right? <laughs> Only until she saved a classmate during a zombie attack did she gain the acceptance of those around her and learn to warm up to people. But just when she was beginning to envision a bright future, fate forced her on a path that she had never imagined. The Honkai Impact tore what she knew apart. The city was burned to the ground and her family and friends were killed. Fuqua fled and was saved by Moss mm. Squad 5 leader Himiko. In a world where one could not survive alone, Fuhua could no longer afford to dream and was only left with the mission to eliminate Honkai. Fuhua joined Moth as a soldier, but she was still too weak to save anything. Moth, the okay. Fell. Billions of lives perished. Her savior, Himiko, died in the hands of her comrades after transforming into a Hersher. She only had the passion wait, to be hold up. in the hands of Wait a minute, wait. It wait no, that's that's not how she died. Wait, is this a different Himiko, or is it... Hmm. Different Himiko. Okay, okay, different Himiko. Right, 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 all right. Previous era Himiko. Okay, Th thanks for answering. She only had the passion to defeat Honkai, not the power to God. realize it. The story killed Himiko twice, enemy, and that's just, jeez. <laughs> running away the best thing she could do, Fuhua did not accept her fate. Burning with a grudge against her fate, Fuhua was reborn after challenging death. In an experiment that was deemed lethal, Ikor miraculously fused with her and transformed her into a mantis. And the user of Key of Domination, as well as Fun Huang Dao, the mantis. Okay, so, sorry. I'm sorry I'm pausing so much, but what are all these terms? The Ikor miraculously fused with her and transformed into a mantis. And then what? And the user of Key of Domination, as well as Fun Huang Dao. Yeah, I. Can you guys explain those terms to me? I, what are those terms? <laughs> What's an Icor? What is the Mantis? What is everything? Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna watch the rest of this and hopefully you guys explain to me in the comments. The Mantis brought home one victory after another until the final Hersher descended. Humanity stood no chance in the decisive war. The few that survived forfeited their civilization. They put themselves into cryogenic sleep so they could start anew when the time arrives. Okay. And so Fuhua's story enters the next chapter. After ten millennia of sleep, ten millennia, Fuhua was awakened geez. as the executor of Project Ember, whose mission was to guide the people of the new era in developing their civilization and resisting Honkai. Fuhua was not alone in this. She was surrounded by lifelong friends who genuinely cared for her and wanted her to take back her life. Yet she lost all of them in a judgment class Honkai disaster. God, the Honkai Fuhua always has to ruin alone. everything. As a mantis, she is immortal. As the user of Feng Huang Down, her memories last forever. In Fuhua's near everlasting life, as fleeting as her interpersonal encounters may oh, yeah. be. Oh, yeah, okay, this is where like most of the Chinese designs come in. Would still scar her for life. Very Chinese esque like With designs her last here. Gone, Fuhua closed off her heart. She secluded herself from the earthly world. Carried on the mission of yeah, you can't tell me she does not look like Sienyun. 
No mercy for the corrupt. But well, Sienna looked like her. Conduct. She came first. She only cared for the mortal's corruption, not their lives. In 1458 AD, Fu Hua founded the school of Taishuan at Mount Taishuan Shenzhou. It was to safeguard Shenzhou and cleanse the world of Hongkai. The school of Taishuan, which only had seven disciples, dominated the martial arts world with the edge of Taishuan, a secret sword fighting style that could channel Hongkai energy. To the ordinary people, Fu Hua was as untouchable as a celestial, and hence was named Phoenix. Oh, okay. In 1475 AD, That's why he has, like, a phoenix. In Central Asia, Fu Hua single-handedly trounced Like in that one, yeah, when she absorbed the Hongkai energy. Kalan Kaslana. This battle also led Fu Hua's first encounter with Otto Apocalypse, her lifelong rival. Oh boy. In the next year, for reasons unknown, her seven we'll disciples get to that man in a bit. raised Mount Taishuan to <laughs> the ground. Fu Hua was grievously injured. Having lost her full power and immortality, Fu Hua temporarily withdrew from the world. Since she could not protect Shenzhou in that powerless state, she made a pact with Otto. Fu Hua joined Shiksal and worked for Otto. In return, Otto pledged to watch over Shenzhou in her stead. Oh boy. In 2008, working for Otto never seems to end well. Brought total destruction. It was later known as the most devastating Hongkai disaster of the current era. In a few days, multiple major cities were destroyed, resulting in millions of casualties. In this war, Shiksal and the anti entropy fought back in full force. Fu Hua was dispatched to subdue the Hershers as a Shiksal Valkyrie. Okay. In Fu Hua's long life, she has never ceased rethinking what fighting means, so she may one day slay all Hershers and eliminate Honkai. By then, she had found the way of defeating a Hersher. With unparalleled combat experience and Feng Huang Down's power, Fu Hua overwhelmed the pseudo Hersher of fire and temporarily suppressed the second Hersher who possessed six Hersher cores. Yet, even with such mm. nigh immeasurable power, she could not defeat the second Hersher, who was under the protection of the will of Honkai. Oh, directly on the moment, okay. Fu Hua sacrificed Feng Huang Down and her memories to activate Feng Huang Down's first power, Taishuan Eminence. It severely wounded the second Hersher and cut off her connection with the will of Honkai, creating an opening for humanity to turn the tables. Fighting this war cost Fu Hua her memories and most of her power. Over a decade later, hmm. Fu Hua enrolled at Saint Freya as an undercover agent. She became the class monitor of Kiana's class. Okay, so, so now comes the current the times. Of the void inside Kiana. Although she approached Kiana and her friends with an ulterior motive, she regained long lost friendships and bonds in a campus life full of joy and laughters. <laughs> she carried out <laughs> the fucking pissed face, secretly helping out Kiana and her friends to protect an addictive yet fragile balance of fate. However, the mission of eliminating Honkai ultimately made her side with the other end. Well, she took away a Kiana and helped Otto rouse the Hersher of the Void. Oh, Little she was responsible for that. Otto did not play by the contract. He only roused the Hersher for his selfish desires, not to protect others. Yeah. Fu out of his plan, he shot her. Oh, to stop okay. Otto's plan. Fu that was activated. Okay. Fu down zeroth power. That was what was dying. shown in to her trailer her earlier. To partially into the feathers and bind her sentience with Kiana's soul. Feng Huan Down, which bore Fu Hua's sentience, led Himiko to the power that could confront the Hersher of the Void and provide the serum that could quell the Honkai energy inside Kiana. When Bronya was trapped in Grey's Serpent's Mine Labyrinth, Feng Huan Down appeared in time to help her escape. Hmm. After the Hersher of the Void begot a Honkai eruption, Kiana sunk into self blame. Oh, loss. Uh, it was Fu Hua's sentience that supported her. Okay, that was what you were guys talking about. Power. Ugh. To protect Kiana, Fu Hua's sentience burned herself out in the battle against Kevin and fell into a slumber. However, that was not the end of her story. After the Shiksal battle, Otto repaired her body, only to revive a Fu Hua that was not the fighter who upheld her mission above all else. Oh, but as an evil Hersher. She had the looks of Fu Hua, but uttered frivolous, arrogant, and impetuous words. She had the memories of Fu Hua, but could not understand the motives underpinning them. She loathed Honkai as much as Fu Hua, but she was no different from Honkai in action. 
purely driven by a desire for destruction, she destroyed. Oh, fuck. <laughs> she killed Otto's clone and demolished half of Shiksal's headquarters. To vent her desire for destruction, she fought Durandal and Kevin to trick Fuhua's sentience in Fun Huan down into submitting to her. She varnished over her motive time and again. To win the trust of Kiana and Bronya, she lured them into her memories to elicit their sympathy. Hmm. In the end, she was not Fu Hua, but the eighth Hersher born from her memories. God, wow, she's been through a crap fucking lord. Holy moly, yeah, fucking Otto, that fucking asshole. Sadly, they don't touch on Yanching and her disciples. And yeah, I'm aware Su Shang's a playable character and like... Oh, Su Shang's Fu Hua's student in Honkai 3rd, okay. Interesting. Yeah, I wonder if we are gonna get a Fu Hua in Star Rail if that's the case, because she seems heavily intertwined in like the main story of Honkai 3rd. She just, she seems as important as like Bronya and Himiko are, and yet she's like nowhere to be seen in Star Rail for some reason. Hmm. That's how she supported Himiko and Kiana. Okay, I see. Okay, let, yeah, let's just finish up this trailer first before I get my thoughts out. Perhaps to the eighth Hersher, this story but that my God has she been through a lot. Years is an elaborated, pitiable tragedy. The Fuhua that constrained herself and lived solely for her mission was nothing but a failure. She wanted to become a better Fuhua. Perhaps the girl bathing in the sun on the grass fifty thousand years ago would have had the same idea had she had learned the story of her life. It is a life that has seen hmm. too many betrayals, lies, and sacrifices. However, it is also a life that shaped Fu Hua into the remarkable fighter that her friends believe in and rely upon. What does the future have in store for her? We will find out together. I see now. Also, yeah, okay, um, you guys probably answered it earlier, but let me uh, just scroll up here. Uh, yeah, what are those different terms, like the I-Core, the Mantis, and whatnot? Key sentience is Feng Huan Down. A previous era super soldier program. Okay, I see. They added a Honkai's Beast genes to her. Oh, oh, that's why. <laughs> Even after 50k years, she's still flat. <laughs> Come on, you gotta, you don't gotta do her like that. You can't just kill her like that now. <laughs> In GGZ, she becomes Otto's harem? The fuck? <laughs> okay, I'm not not sure if I want to look at GGZ now. So far, there's been a mention of the name Hua in the Law Fu. Marsha Hua of the Sien Show. Oh, so I guess maybe that could be Fu Hua. Now you know why anyone who voices Otto... Uh, they immediately be sus. I also Luocha and whatnot. True, but the difference is Luocha actually, like, like, yeah, was confirmed to be evil. Meanwhile, Ayato, we just have no idea about. We have no idea what Ayato, like, if, if he's even evil. I don't think he is. I think he's just, yeah, he's just voiced by Otto and that's it. She's a mantis, a surgery beast, a surgery of Honkai beast, so she's immortal. Okay. Then Fuhua is a ghost who stole Yata's body and uses like she's still alive. Ah, okay. Yanqing is an old man in Honkai 3rd. Yeah, I'm aware of that. I believe Yanqing has some relations to Fuhua, but I'm not a, a, exactly sure what it is. I believe, like, yeah, he should have been like the manga, like old man Yanqing. If the generous Fuhua. Uh, then I'm willing to break my waifu code for her. <laughs> Su Shang's daughter of two disciples of Fu Hua. Fu Hua killed all the disciples to break her. To break her swing. What? Oh, Yanjik's also a student of Fu Hua. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, but that wraps it up for like yeah, Fuhua's Operation Center trailer. Okay, now I understand more and more about who she is. God. 
Yeah, step aside Blade. Like, fucking Fuhua has been through, like, years and years of trauma. And because of the Mantis power, she's essentially immortal. Or I guess that immortality is not taken away, but still. 50k years worth of trauma. My god. Yeah, is there a character in this game that does not have trauma? I'm willing to bet there's none. <laughs> and yes, okay, the next trailer we're going to be watching now is Everlasting Flame. She uses Fangkwa down Divine Key so her memory lasts forever. Yeah, it's insane what this girl has been through. She lost all her friends. She watched Himiko die at one point and then had to watch Himiko die again. And she basically yeah, became the strongest warrior and then worked with Otto, who then in turn betrayed her or did not keep her word and was turned into an evil clone of herself. <laughs> so much shit. Yeah, if Honka exists, freaking everybody just has trauma. But alrighty, next trailer we're up to now is uh, the animated short Everlasting Flames. Eight minutes long and you guys are hyping this one up, so I'm expecting this one to be another freaking banger. Also, yeah, she suffered, like, countless betrayals, too, from, like, all her friends and sacrifices. So, yeah, if that all, if all that shit happened to me, yeah, I would turn evil, too. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> Su Shang is one of the daughters, uh, one of uh, Hua's disciples. Her dad is a scammer who married her mom just to learn the Fu Hua sword art. Oh, okay. But alright, up to like the next probably hype trailer that you guys uh, want to be probably watching. Everlasting Flames. I... Okay, who's on the thumbnail for this one? Uh, I think that's Kiana and somebody else, but not entirely sure. But yeah, no idea what this trailer's on about, but you guys are hyping it up, so it must be really good. So, and you guys are saying, yeah, peak me Hoyo. You are my special treatment. So yeah, let us uh, begin watching this right away. That's why Sushang's mother, not another disciple of Fuhua, can't stand anymore and take her away. I see. Okay, but yeah, let's begin watching Everlasting Flame. Yeah, let's just give this a go. I'm hyped for this trailer, honestly. I keep calling it a trailer, but it's probably like an in-game cutscene. Whoa, hands. <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell are these freaking puppets? Oh, shit. <laughs> Ah. Also, they said she doesn't have the power of the Hershers, so what, was it taken away from her? Ah! <laughs> oh, grabbed her by the mouth and slammed her into another puppet. Yeah, Kiana's a fucking badass, from what I see here. <gasps> What the hell are these guys anyways? Ah! What the fuck? Don't tell me they just... Holy fuck, that was brutal. God, that was fucking... Oh my god. And the blood and everything too just made it worse. I just love that whenever she's like seemingly about to give up, she always thinks of Himiko. 
Oh. Another sad track. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, these fucking puppets are creepy. Yeah, kill them all, Kiana. She's still alive, good. How though? Fucking. <sighs> Whoa, what the shit? Where are they right now? Yeah. Oh yes, our fucking friendship, baby. Holy Adam, <laughs> fucking powers. <laughs> Shut up, Megatron. Prepare to die. <laughs> Oh, this animation though is so fucking clean! <laughs> fucking impact frames again. They fucking always use that whenever shit's about to go down. Ah, uh, of course, Himiko. Holy shit, she's about, to, she's about to go Super Saiyan! <laughs> Man! <laughs> oh! Oh, okay, I thought that didn't end there for a second. Holy crap, though. And yet, yeah, all those stones were like the stones of like the, the Hersha cores, I believe. Man, I legit cried for an hour after this chapter. Yeah, Honka Impact fucking seems like an, a super emotional game. I'm not sure if I would survive if I played it, honestly. The Hersher of Dominance power is to dominate other Hershers. The will of Honka I sense this in response to so many Hershers fighting for humanity. I see. When Teresa gave back the alcohol she took from Hiko, it's sad as hell. Man, oh, this freaking song though. This is Kiana Bronyas and Fuhua's Chinese VA singing. Oh, that's cool. 
once again, I love it when, like, the actual VAs of the story, like, sing an actual song in the game. To every captain supporting the game, thank you for our, our journey. May the fires of hope always guide us. Man, this right here is what makes Honkai and Hoyo as a whole so fucking special. I honestly can't think of any other gacha games that have like this a story this in depth. I'm pretty sure there's probably other gacha games that have a really deep story like this, like Honkai does. But at the top of my head, I can't really think of any other gacha games with a story this deep and so engaging. Man. Yeah, Keanu Chronicles is up next, but yeah, this right here, these animations are like, yeah, what make Hoyo so special. There was a song called We Will Meet Again, sung by Kiana, Bronya, Mei, and Fuhua, and Himiko's Chinese VAs. Hmm, maybe, we'll, yeah, maybe I'll check that out later on. But okay, the next... Yeah, th this was a fucking really, really good trailer as well. Cutscene, I mean. I keep calling it trailer. My brain is just all over the place right now. But okay. Next up, yeah. After all that freaking... Yeah, all that depression and whatnot. Yeah, let's go to back to Chronicles now. And yeah, watch the Kiana Chronicles. Because I think we pretty much know everything about her as is. But to recap, or to like know things that I don't know about her. Yeah, we're gonna watch Kiana Chronicles and probably finish up this playlist here. Uh, how many videos we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we also got the auto Chronicles as well that I do want to watch. And then, yeah, probably after all this, I'll probably end off the stream there because we only have like 50 minutes left, one hour left. And I don't think I can watch any more, but maybe I'll resume this Honkai watching session like at a different point in time. When I hear this song plays, I always stand up and salute. Honestly, yeah, same. <laughs> that song also wants me to like freaking salute as well. What's the song called, by the way? What's the song title called? Is it literally called "Everlasting Flame," or is it like a like a different title song? Can we do cooking with Valkyries? Sure. At the end, if we uh, if we have time, it's called Moon Halo. Okay, th thanks, guys. I think, yeah, thanks for letting me know. Yeah, I'm aware, like, that sword was literally Himiko's sword, so it's just like, yeah, <laughs> all of her companions just supporting her, which probably made that trailer so freaking special. But alright, now on to Honkai Chronicles, Kiana Kasa... Kaslana. Okay, I almost mispronounced that for a second, but yes, our, our main protagonist, our hero. Let's, yeah, play the trailer and know more about her. A few years Even though I think we've known plenty. A girl came into this imperfect world in an experiment pod. She had no name, only a cold serial number, K423. K423. K423 was created by Otto via splicing Kiana Kaslana's genes and that from Siren the Hersher of the Void together. The yeah, after watching most of the trailers, I think I pretty much know and what kind of person Kiana to is. A human with Hersher powers. In 2007, mm. Siegfried Kaslana attempted to abduct K-423 in secret, but was intercepted by Shiksal in his escape. His biological daughter went missing afterward. Siegfried adopted K-423 and raised her as his own, but was unwilling to name her <laughs> his own daughter. That was until one day, to protect the injured Siegfried, K-423 took up arms to confront a Honkai beast in his place. Tender soul defied fate for the first time in order to protect her loved one. Touched by her action, Siegfried decided to name her Kiana Kaslana. He made a promise to her. As the descendants of House Kaslana, it was an honored tradition for them to fight for their loved ones. On this day, the girl received her name from her father, and she set foot on a path deviating from her written fate. Hmm. However, Fate had other plans. Oh. 
In 2010, the they had trauma in store for her. <laughs> blazes of anger scorched the world that had just opened up to her. To protect Kiana, Siegfried used Judgment of Shamas to suppress the Hersher of the Void. Holy! But as a result, he was severely injured. Damn, Kiana's dad was also fucking Giga Chad, too. <laughs> Siegfried realized that he would inevitably rouse the Hersher persona again. To protect Kiana. Oh my god, he, he lost an arm. Jeez. The girl was worthy of love. Those who loved her could do anything for her. But in the girl's eyes, it was her very existence that brought them endless sufferings and miseries. Ah. Nevertheless, she did not forget the promise with her father and continued to believe in the good of the world. In the Honkai stricken Nagazora, when Raiden Mei, who had become the Hersher of Thunder, turned against her, Kiana still reached out to her. When they were fleeing Nagazora, yes. <laughs> Hineko rescued Kiana and Mei and took them to St. Freya. And that's how they Kiana's became roommates. Kiana's troubled fate was finally calmed for a brief moment. On the campus, she met friends who were like family and made the solemn vow to fight for all that is beautiful in the world. She wanted to stay. Ah, a cruel twist. All that was wholesome until... Yep. Until... Depression impact comes in. Whoa, who's this? Oh, wait, no, that's... Dark seeds yep. germinated in the shadow of the peaceful years. The other sentients inside her preyed on all the good in her life once more by encroaching on her cognition in her dreams. It was Kiana's pining for a mother's love that made her awakening possible. She created illusions to make Kiana believe that she saved her mother from sacrificing herself to end the second eruption. Okay. When she realized the great joy she experienced was elusive, she broke down and let the Hersher persona take over. Oh. Being taken to the Shiksal HQ by Fu Hua, she was confined in the same bleak experiment pod. God damn it, I'm not just as Otto when she again. Was born. Only this time, Otto, who witnessed her rebirth, wished to see the Hersher of the Void return. Just as Otto expected, the St. Freya group revolted and attacked the Shiksal HQ with anti-entropy to rescue Kiana. In fact, he wanted them to gamble everything for Kiana. Their deep love and the ensuing sacrifices would stimulate Kiana's emotions to help her overcome the Hersher persona so she could become a human with Hersher powers. The Hersher of the Void achieved complete awakening and pulverized St. Freya and Anti-Entropy in a display of power. Uh-huh. In the end, the fucking Kiana, snap that fucking... The, <laughs> the snap that also... <laughs> Broke millions of credit cards she worldwide. The of the void and injected the Spear of Destiny, a Honkai neutralizing serum, into Kiana at the expense of her life. Ow. Himiko fell into the imaginary space. Yep, and... Yeah, we know what happens from there. Kiana might be a Hersher, but her friends and teachers still loved her and believed in her as much. Yet their goodwill was too heavy to bear. Kiana wandered in Ark City after waking up from the nightmare. Honkai beasts and zombies hunted her. The whispers of the Hersher tortured her. She wanted to run, but had nowhere to run. Those pains and sufferings are predestined. Jeez. She was test subject K423, the vessel of a Hersher and the root cause of the world's and her loved one's miseries. Would the world be a better place had she died? Ah, that still makes me when uncomfortable Kiana as was shit. to die with the Hersher inside, Fuha's sentience in her mind stopped her and the Hersher from reviving. Kiana finally remembered that Himeko sacrificed herself to save her because as her teacher, Himeko believed in her potential to change the world. Kiana snapped out of grief and loss to repay Himiko's faith, she will continue fighting her ill fate. With Fuhua's help, Kiana learned how to contain the Hersher persona and utilize Hersher powers. She became a rogue hero that fought to save Ark City from destruction. Kiana discovered that the Honkai disasters plaguing Ark City were not related to the Hersher of the Void. They were the work of a shady organization known as the World Serpent. Hmm. All traces pointed to a dreadful ploy, Project Stigma, 
Project Stigma. Caused by it would level Arc City to the ground. Uh huh. Kiana must transfer the Honkai bomb planted by World Serpent to save Arc City. She made it. Even though the Hersher persona and Honkai were eating her away, she did not fail Himeko. To change this imperfect world, she became the meteor that ripped Arc City's darkness open and propelled the bomb out of the atmosphere, which rewrote the cruel fate of this city. And yeah, in turn, suffered. Yeah. The Hawkeye corruption, essentially. Yeah, that's pretty much just recapping what we all just watched just now. The oh. unconscious Kiana was taken to the Shiksal North African lab by Durandal. Otto needed a Kiana who had harnessed Hersher powers to activate the second divine key. Sick of being manipulated, she broke out from the lab and escaped Kevin's pursuit under Fuha's cover. Kiana returned to the ruins of Nagazora. She was ready to meet her end in the place where she first met everyone she cared about. <coughs> she knew she had little time left as the Honkai core continued to corrupt her. To bring back Kiana, May set foot in Nagazora. Kiana had not stopped imagining how she would reunite with her friends once. Yet she could not seize the chance when it finally came. Honkai was growing thick in Nagazora. She had to step forward to protect the world and her friends, even if it would cost her her life. She had always been like this. She would laugh off the worst injuries. She saved the world, saved everyone, but kept the pain to herself. God. She was killing herself to protect the good in the world. That's how you write but a good protagonist right that there. She also meant the whole world to her loved ones. To save Kiana, May made a pact with Kevin. A new gem of conquest solidified in her body. She became the Hersher of Thunder again and joined World Serpent by choice. And fucking led to an May epic fucking awakening. Would never accept her choice but she could not create a future for her dearest if she held on to her past. Yep, they said it right there, her dearest. <laughs> but we know what they meant. Roommates. Ah. Uh. After May left, Kiana and Bronya went to Mount Taishuan to find the ways of mastering Hersher powers recorded by Fu Hua, without knowing the Hersher of sentience had already woken. In the illusion created by the Hersher of Sentience, Fuha's lonely life, bound by her mission, flashed before Kiana's eyes. Fuha planned to sacrifice herself again. Yep, here we to go, this song the song again. Kiana could not accept a fate that exchanged their lives for the greater good. It was Himeko's. It was May's. It was Fuha's. It was hers once. And it was not the happiness they wanted. That should be just that fuck, this wretched story fuck everything. Truly wanted, Kiana stopped I'm fighting saving alone. my friends no matter what. She chose to believe in her friends. In the theater of domination, built by the Legion Hersher, she confronted her fate for the last time. She accepted her fate and who she was. She and the Hersher of the Void were both continuations of Siren's persona. The Hersher of the Void was Siren's hatred toward the world manifested. She was the other possibility, born from Siren's desire for love. The countless hearts that loved and helped her made this possibility a reality, turning her from test subject K423 into a Valkyrie who fights for all that is beautiful in the world. Into Kiana Kaslana. Into who Kiana, leads the <laughs> forward. The poster girl for Hoyo. As for where her path leads to. We will soon find out. And for out. good reason, it seems. Man. I just made me curious, though. What if Genshin and, like... Oh, I, I'm assuming that's the end. Yep, that's the end. Man, what a fucking... What a spectacularly written fucking protagonist. Man, you almost wants to make me, like, play Honkai Impact for myself. I think I may do it at some point. I think I may actually play Honkai Impact at some points. I'm not sure when. Or actually, or just, you know, watch the story of it. But yeah, I think that will eventually happen. But 
soon. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe not soon, but yeah, it just yeah. This this trailer as a whole just wants me to fucking play Honkai and back third and learn more about everybody. Yeah, <laughs> Kiana and May broke up. Yeah, that, that's pretty much what their whole freaking fight was all about. Poor baby tuna. <laughs> why? Why is Kiana being called a tuna? I I don't get that. Dad of the year teaching Kiana how to flirt with a woman. Is that what Siegfried did? <laughs> teaching Kiana how to flirt. <laughs> Yeah, man. Like I, my, my my respect for Kiana. Like at first, I know I knew nothing about this character. I knew nothing about her. But after watching all these trailers and cutscenes and whatnot, yeah, my respect for it has like shot up immensely. Makes me wonder though, what if, like, if if um the Traveler in Genshin and uh, the Trailblazer in Star Rail were not self inserts. Would they have made like another go to protagonist? Like th th that's the one thing that makes me kind of curious. Like if they were to like ditch the whole self insert stuff and actually main went for like an original protagonist, would they have been as iconic as Keanu uh, would be? Hmm. It's me by Mihoyo. It's a Chinese joke about a name. I heard that Kiana's name almost means the same word as salty fish. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's why. It's a meme by Bihoyo. Kiana is being portrayed as a tuna in the game's emojis. Oh, okay. So that's where that tuna stuff comes from. Man, though. The memes got so popular to the point Mihoyo made a weapon for a fish. Yeah, true. The Trailblazer seems to like have an in-game backstory. Although they're still like relatively a self inserts, um, they still have like their own personality to to an extent. But all right, that's the end of uh, Hon Honkai Chronicles, uh, Kiana K Kansala, and yeah, now I understand why everybody loves her so much and wants for her to be in Genshin or Star Rail. I hope for that too. I I hope like maybe we get a like, Kiana. In some point in one of the games. And when that happens, yeah, I might pull for a day one as well. A great swordfish equipped it on Himiko as well. Yeah, true, because like the character you play is like the captain or whatever. Uh like yeah, that's your self-insert. Kiana is not the self-insert. He she's like, yeah, not the player. Although she's undoubtedly like yeah the main protagonist of Honkai Impact, Kiana's been there since the beginning, since the main character in MiHoYo's first game, Fly to the Moon. Yeah, I, I can I can tell, I can feel the freaking love Hoyo puts into Kiana and also Honkai Impact as a whole. Like out of all these trailers, like yeah, you can really see the love they have for this game absolutely shine. Yeah, no wonder Honkai Impact 3rd is called, like, Mihoyo's Magnum Opus, because, yeah, it's it's really, really, really good. Captain is a protagonist in the Captain-verse. Captain-verse? If Kiana becomes a playable character, I'll be E6er and S5 are like Cone. <laughs> yeah, if they ever drop Kiana in Star Rail... She's gonna make freaking billions, I tell you. <laughs> I'm not even exaggerating. I feel like she would make that much, or at least a hundred million. But all right, now that we're done uh, with yeah, Kiana Kinsala's uh, yeah, uh, Chronicles trailer. How much time do we have left? Okay, we have a new art trailer. Yeah, maybe I can stretch the stream by like half an hour to like watch all of these. I think for the remainder of the stream, we'll watch like these, the rest of the trailers in this playlist, and then subsequently also Honkai Chronicles Auto Apocalypse to end it all off. And then if we have some time afterwards, yeah, I know we said we would get to Hamu Lab stuff, but honestly, man, it's like watching all these trailers take a really long time. So yeah, maybe we'll save the the Hamu Lab stuff 
for another stream or maybe for like a separate video or something. Because since we only have like, I can stretch it out to like 50 minutes at most, but after that I can't like make the stream any longer. But yeah, may maybe we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll watch the stuff from Home Labs at another point in time. But yeah, we'll finish up this playlist, watch Auto Apocalypse like trailer, as well as, uh, you guys said cooking with, uh, <laughs> cooking with the Valkyries to end it all off, just for some wholesome moments and whatnot. But okay, let's begin with a new art trailer pre revelation. Actually, let me see right here. Yeah, okay, that, that is up next up in the in the playlist. And then Reburn 2, which we've seen before, but we might as well watch it again. Yeah, Chronicles of Auto Apocalypse, animated short of this spoke apocalypse. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get through all this today. But yeah, maybe we'll resume like at, uh, at some other point in time. Captain Verse is a series of Honkai Third events where we travel in the sea of Quanta, finding a way to save our love. That event is four years long, five years for Chinese players in real life, and 10k years in story. Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. What the hell? <laughs> True, yeah, the Unknown God is kind of somewhat like Kiana, but not really Kiana. More like evil Kiana. <laughs> okay, but yeah, let's begin watching the rest of these trailers, and hopefully we can like wrap this all up before I have to end it off for today. But okay, new arc trailer pre-revelation. Pre Don't know what this trailer is all about, but we yeah, let's give it a look-see. Oh, hey, all the logos are gray. Auto? Oh, shit, it is him. Oh, this is Chinese dub. I don't mind it, though. <laughs> okay, so this is about a auto. What the heck? Are those supposed to be clones of him? Whoa, holy fucking Su Chang Ultimate. <laughs> Wait, that is. Wait, speak of Sushang. Wait, she's on auto side? Of the. I am the storm that is approaching. I can't help but think that when they, ever, when they do that pose. Auto, you fucking madman. What are you doing? What is this end goal? Oh. And here he is defeated. Hmm. Kalen. Oh, wait, yeah. Interesting, so it's... Yeah, it's just a whole trailer dedicated to just auto. Hmm. Interesting. Watch the next one and you'll find out. Okay. Auto saved her life so she helps him and keeps Fuhua away from the fights. Damn. Yeah, this is probably like the first time I'm seeing Su Shang in all this. I have no idea what she's on about, but yeah, what, what, how different Su Chong is compared to her Honkai Star Rail self. Yeah, we're gonna go to the Spoke Apocalypse. I've, I've already seen Reburn two in my Honkai Star Rail like uh, live stream. So if you guys want to see my reaction to that, you can go ahead and like view it there. But yeah, next up is the Spoke Apocalypse. 
Okay, I guess we're gonna get into some heavy auto lore here. Su Chang is HSR and summons a giant chicken while Su Chang and Hankai third summons a giant sword, yeah. <laughs> Fun fact, Su Chang called every blonde people she sees Raksha, which means Locha and Otto just says Locha is fine law. Oh, and that, I guess that's why she's called, he's called Locha in Star Rail now. Okay, but yeah, let's watch it now. Thus spoke Apocalypse. Now, okay, now we're getting some auto lore, which I'm kind of looking forward to the most because I have no idea what he's on about, what his end goal is, and why he's doing all this, why he wants to awaken the Hersher of the Void. Wait, hopefully this trailer lets me know. しかし手にしたのは全て一体化せと工場だった。世界は混沌としている。それは不公平で。不合理だ。ウォー。さて、イマジネリートリー。the most selfish villain. Oh boy. Wait, they're hanging her? Oh, fuck. まで距離。そして彼女に対する世界の逆襲だ。しかし彼女の信者は決して諦めない。Holy fucking sat right through the the freaking head. <laughs> Also, he seems to be getting corrupted. Uh... Yeah, what the hell's that freaking black stuff on his neck? Oh, what are they doing? Oh, shoot. You could have broken free this whole time? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Chain the beast! Is he literally gonna swing, swing a whole ass cross on this man? The power of Christ compels you! Oh wait, it's a sword, not a, not a cross. <laughs> Oh, music. Who's that girl, by the way? Is that the original Kiana? 
It looks like her, but no. Hmm. I don't know actually. Ah, what the? F oh, ow! Oh, ah! Oh shit. Shit. Did Otto just fucking rewrite the whole fucking timeline just to save her? Shit, fucking the entire world's changed. Karen. Oh, that's her name, Colin. Basically, you're just rewriting history just for you. This is the most selfish thing one can do. Oh, they were childhood friends. Oh, and she's gone. Damn. Oh, and they're so strong. Yeah, I feel like I'm watching like this man's entire life story. <laughs> so everything he does is just for her. To protect her in pretty much every timeline. Tim. Yeah, he essentially gave birth to hell everywhere just to save this one woman. That is, yeah, the fucking pinnacle of selfishness. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people say this stuff about Otto. It's just like, he's a piece of shit for like causing all the major catastrophes that happened in Honkai Impact. But at the same time, you can understand why he does it. He's like respectable in that. In that manner. Colin, yeah, the, the white-haired woman. Is she supposed to be related to Kiana? Or is she just someone completely unrelated to her? Because... Yeah, why, why do they look similar, if that's the case? Unless Colin is, like, Kiana's mother. I hate and respect him at the same time, which is really weird. 
Oh, she's an ancestor. Okay. A, a, a Kasala. Right. Okay. So not like directly related, but related through bloodline pretty much. An ancestry. Bro denied a canon event. <laughs> I'm just scrolling through you guys' messages here, but. Damn, she, yeah, she full on rewrote history just for one woman and cost all manner of hell just for, just for her. Yeah, I think I saw a comment earlier. It's just like, yeah, Otto is just like a full on simp and he sucked to the path of the simp till the very end. If there's a good way and a bad way to save Colin, he would choose the good way, but there's only a, the bad path left. He will not hesitate. I see. Okay, but yes, next up, um, I was going to continue with the, the playlist here, but yeah, one of you guys suggested, since we saw that, yeah, let's watch the Chronicles of Auto, Auto Apocalypse to see, like, things from the very beginning, because now's a good time as ever to do that, until we move on to, like, the other, like, yeah, the last four animations uh, that we have to go through here. Homer loves to make a good video about Otto's actions, and now he isn't just a simp, but we can watch that another time. Yeah, we can. I think we'll save the Homer Lab stuff for, like, a different stream entirely, but... Yeah, let's watch the Chronicles of Auto Apocalypse. Also, once again, I have to remind you guys, leave a like on the stream if you're enjoying this, by the way. And yeah, maybe I'll do, like, the other Honkai, like, react to the other Honkai Impact, like, trailers in the future, if this gets enough likes. Causing hell and erasing himself just from existence. And he spent his last day just to sew a new coat for Teresa, the world's cutest granddaughter. Hmm. But all right, let's uh, yeah, let's let's watch like the history of Auto Apocalypse right here, and yeah, what made him turn out this whole way. Yeah, let's watch it right now. Honkai Chronicles Auto Apocalypse. Life is but a walking shadow, a clumsy actor gesturing on the stage, who only appears briefly and steps off in silence. Mm. Auto Apocalypse, the most pathetic fool alive. The most pathetic man alive. <laughs> he is the revered Shiksal Overseer. He is a corrupt, bigoted clown. Over centuries, he once sacrificed lives beyond count for his selfish desires, but also overthrew a decadent reign with people's support. He treated humans as pawns and trampled the value of emotion and life. Jeez. But treasured Valkyries at the front line and prayed for their triumphant return. Commitment and betrayal, friend and foe, truth and lies. This man no has it all. Has ever seen through him, but to Otto himself, his actions only served one purpose. It all began in an afternoon 500 years ago. Yeah. Though Otto was born in the three houses, he was frail and sickly. Three houses? He could only Fire <laughs> I'm kidding. Which naturally deprived him of inheritance. His older brothers detested his effort at self-destruction, but no one noticed his inner needs and desires. It was then that a white-haired, blue-eyed girl brightened Otto's cold and dull heart like a ray of sunshine. She praised Otto's work sincerely, expected great inventions from him, and invited him to save the world with her. For the first time in his life, young Otto felt recognized. He could be expected. He could be needed. Since that faraway afternoon, everything he did has gained meaning because of her validation. Oh. <laughs> And but the twisted fate would not spare them. The rampant yep, tragedy the struck as it usually does in Honkai. The prosperity they lived in apart. Power and force were the perfect fuel for greed, turning a shaky faith into the breeding ground for degeneracy. In the turmoil, the lives of the two reached a turning point. 
fearing abandon. Basically, he was neglected by his Auto family. Yeah, it does seem like that. Ethics and performed experiments on dying patients. He sought findings at all costs. Callan, who could not condone his crime, became a raven at night to spread hope and enact the justice in her heart. Mm. Lies were lies. After many operations, Callan discovered the secrets of the human experiments and Otto exposed himself at the last minute. Before the infinite greed of Shiksal, individual will was nothing. Jeez. Callan was imprisoned. The cold bars separated the two that were once childhood friends, yet their minds had already drifted further apart. To Callan, the dignity of life was what she had sworn to defend. To Otto, morality and ethics... Oh, were what a shot. Holy shit. Pay. A loud slap and a conflict of beliefs sent them on completely different paths. Otto knew that in no way could he stop Callan. He accepted it and helped her escape in silence. After everything settled, Otto was given the key to the line. Okay, so Otto was a pretty oh, bad person to begin with. Well, not to begin with, but he later turned into a bad person. Otto hmm. did not fall for it. He developed technology with pieces of knowledge, and thus a game that would last centuries began. In the days that followed, Otto searched for Callan while continuing his research and experiments. When he heard Callan was in danger in Yai Village, Yai Village. he immediately had Oath of Judah delivered, hmm. but not the response letter that spoke his loving heart. Meanwhile, Callan sealed the Hersher of Corruption in the black box with Oath of Judah, but was okay. severely wounded. She was taken back to It's the first I'm hearing about this Hersher of Corruption. Callan was faithful and refused to sacrifice for family feuds, and thus was sentenced to hanging. Otto tried everything he could, but it was futile before the church's will. On the day of execution, the desperate Otto released Honkai Beast on the execution ground. He planned to take Callan amid the chaos, but he underestimated Callan's resolve. Hmm. In the end, Callan lost her life when protecting the people. Losing the love of his life painted Otto's world gray again. Resentful, he chased after Callan's shadow. He tried to give this sad story a happy ending as she would have wanted. He sounded the horn of revolution with his wisdom and cleansed the remaining evil with his hands. People sang his accomplishments and soldiers admired his resourcefulness. As cheers of victory echoed through the silent church, Otto could not help but ask himself if this was enough. In the centuries that followed, mm. the hole inside Otto was still agape. The only way to mend it was to revive the love of his life and the holy maid of the people, Kalan Kaslana. And thus he reset the entire timeline. In 1496, mm. Otto had no choice but to travel to Shenzhou in search of the legendary Master Phoenix for a chance to revive Callan. He met the fledgling swordswoman, Li Sushan. Oh, and found okay, that's where she Fuhua. comes into the picture here. To his surprise, even an immortal celestial had regrets and could not bring back departed souls. In the end, Otto and Fuhua made a pact. Shiksal would protect Shenzhou in the powerless Fuhua's place and Fuhua would serve Shiksal as a Valkyrie. Hmm. In 1952, the first Honkai eruption broke out. Shiksal captured the amnesiac first Hersher and performed three years worth of serial experiments on him, Jeez. which yielded nothing. Otto even approached him in person to persuade him ah, to they're naked again. <laughs> as a overseer, but failed. To eliminate risks, Otto decided to wipe out the North American branch that was about to discover Shiksal's ugly truth. Oh, and thus he nuked he New, York. Yep. At New York. Yep. Jesus. Where tens of millions lived. Heroes defending freedom and justice stepped forward and crushed Otto's scheme at the cost of their lives. This led to the independence of anti-entropy. 
This failure taught Otto to take hold of the power to retaliate Honkai, which led to the Clone Project and the Artificial Stigma Project. Mm. In 1972, Otto began running forbidden clone experiments in the hope of reviving Kallan, but the results were not satisfactory. After injecting the cells of Honkai Beast Vishnu, the first living batch of Kallan clones was born. Otto made them fight one another to death at what? the end of the survival test. Otto, what the hell? This man's completely insane. I was gonna say, like, his freaking story almost reminds me of, like, Darth Vader. He turns, like, to the dark side after his, like, loved one has, like, or, like, in fear of, like, their loved one, like, dying. And then when they do that, when they do that, they just go completely fucking bananas. But what the hell? He cloned her, his love into, like, several beings and made them all kill each other. What? <laughs> Otto made them fight one another to death at the end of the survival test. Only the individual numbered A310 rejected this absurd order. Her kindness in valuing life and her courage to defy her maker shocked Otto. He took A310 into his family and named her Teresa Apocalypse. Oh, that, okay, there, that was the birth of Teresa. Otto established the Tower of Babylon Laboratory to study artificial stigmata. Yeah, this makes like a completely insane. Children were taken from their parents and subjected to inhumane experiments day and night. God, Otto, you and your experiments. Insurmountable suffering and hatred against humanity nourished these Honkai vessels. At last, Siren, the second Hersher, was born. Otto mustered Valkyrie troops to subdue the Hersher, dived into her sentience with the help of Fuhua, and received revelation from the will of Honkai. After many great hmm. sacrifices were made, Otto gave the order to launch Honkai fission missiles at Siberia. Siberia now to too? To the truth deep beneath the scorched snowfield. God. Otto's resurrection project gradually took shape due to the guidance from above. What the? Was he trying to kill himself years, there? <laughs> Otto tried to create the most promising clone with Kiana Kaslana in Siren's genes for the second Hersher to possess upon return. He transplanted the core of the second Hersher to the test subject numbered K423. K423, aka Kiana. Gave her life. After being taken to St. Freya by Himeko, the love she felt and the bond she made helped her learn to love this world and those around her. But then Otto said, fuck you. <laughs> Watching Kiana move along the path he designed, Otto knew when she began to believe she would never be alone was when he could advance the plan. Yep. In the illusory Tower of Babylon, the girl's despair and longing for motherly love facilitated the Hersher persona's awakening. Fu Hua took her back to Shiksal. The experiment pod confined her once again. Facing the pod, Otto's eyes only showed a hunger for the Hersher of the Void's power. As Otto injected enormous Honkai energy into K423, Hersher of the Void returned. Okay, that's the one thing I don't get. How is... How the heck is reviving the Hersher of the Void supposed to bring... Uh, Callan back. How is that supposed to... <laughs> I, I don't see the correlation between those two goals. How is... It's probably explained here. I, I, I shouldn't be interrupting. Otto saved the dying Fuhua and told her his plan. Looking into Fuhua's furious eyes, Otto paused for a short yet long moment and pulled the trigger. Oh. Everything went according to his plan. Himeko burned up herself to tear through Siren's will. Kiana's sentience returned to the body of the Hersher. Uh, oh, yeah. The Hersher huh. of the boy who could command the power with human will. Now I know why what has PTSD when he saw Lorcha. <laughs> this man has done fucking bonds could terrible things beyond belief. He never respected nor honored them. Uh huh. So far. Callan's revival was only missing a key, Cosmic Juggernaut's beacon. Previously, to reach the imaginary tree that governed how worlds worked, 
Shiksaw cracked the legend of King Arthur and found the key of infinity that offered space travel in the River Thames, but it was incomplete. Durandal passed Pioneer Sue's test by chance mm -hmm. and received information and experience as numerous as sand grains in the Ganges. To complete Cosmic Juggernaut, Otto struck a deal with World Serpent's leader. He traded Void Archives for Cosmic Juggernaut's beacon. Okay. When the Hersher of Dominance and Hyperion were locked in battle, he took the Theater of Domination and thousands of cores in secret. At last, the fully prepared Otto returned to the beginning. Collisten, where Shiksal's blood and tears were buried. It would become the end of his long journey. Oh, and... On the other side of the stage, Valkyries had readied themselves as well. Teresa would succeed as the Shiksal Overseer and lead the newborn Shiksal toward a bright future. Bronya would shoulder the weight of the Welt name, for the Hersher of Reason's path had stretched to her. Okay. Fulia concluded a feud that spanned centuries, so she could embrace yesterday as a human and open the door to tomorrow. Kiana broke free from the shackles of fate and created a trail. Okay, so now we're like just nearing like the end of the story, it seems. Oh, end in quotation marks. The barrier of Kaslana and earned a new heritage that only belonged to her. Valkyries were eager to settle accounts with Otto. Indeed, they won. Their crushing victory was a heavy blow to Otto. What they did not know was that their growth their resolve, and even the joy of winning, were also part of Otto's plan. <laughs> you can even fucking what plan for them to win? Past five what kind of eyes and brains shit is this? <laughs> ...to attain death and a new life. After being defeated by Valkyries, Otto broke free from Imaginary's control momentarily. He imbued the world's wedge with all the false god's power to create infinite possibilities for Kallen. As Otto left his last message, his sentience finally dissipated in the still time space. Ah, uh, that's when Otto came to sacrifice himself. <laughs> to different people, Otto perhaps means different things. But to Otto himself, all rights and wrongs are transient. He has attained eternal peace. Mm. His life as a fool is finally over. Doesn't excuse the countless amounts of deaths he caused, though. <laughs> yeah, for... Mm. I mean, yeah, respectable goal, but... Really, really weird steps. And very, like, unnecessary steps to get there. Uh, I guess it was necessary in his eyes. To get Colin to live, but yeah, not sure if I would forgive him necessarily, but I do understand where he's coming from. Man, what do you think of Auto Apocalypse now? Yeah, he's just he's done a lot of terrible things. Understandable goal, but still genocide. I think yeah, he's. Like, a very evil man, for sure. And extremely selfish. And also, you know, extremely smart as well, as you guys are pointing out. But I think... Hmm. Not only to save Colin, he needs a plan for winning humanity against Honkai. Because Colin f loved humanity. Yeah, I'm not sure if I respect him or hate him at this point. <laughs> I'm confused with my emotions about Auto Apocalypse. Like, on the one hand, I want to respect him, but on the other hand, eh, <laughs> genocide of, like, millions. Millions. And also, yeah, he's probably part of the reason that most of the girls in this game are traumatized. So, that is the... <laughs> He needed the power of the Void to take him to out of the system while keeping his god power. Otto used 10-year-old wealth to force his dad 
to kill his friend, and his dad after the job is done, that's why. Hmm. Current era ends worse than previous. Hmm. We had a good version of Otto in Sea of Quanta. That world didn't end well. As much as I hate him, he did push our girls to what they are today, and without him, they would never have made it to where they are now. True. I guess, yeah, without him, most of the... Yeah, most of our, the girls here would not have wakened to, like, their... Yeah, their harsher powers, and probably, like, save the world as they did. But so, did, did he really need to kill all those people? Did he really need to kill all those people just for that to happen? Maybe there was, in his eyes, there was no other way, but in my mind, there, there had to be another way. Hmm. Ottawa and then Shiksaw was the main fighting force against Honkai in the world. True. I restate him. Respect and hate him. Yeah, I think that's where I stand of Auto Apocalypse. That man is, like, yeah. A lot of the stuff in this game is blamed on him. He's responsible for Himiko's death. Indirectly. And he's also responsible... Actually, no, he is, because he released the Harsh of the Void. He was, he's responsible for, like, most of the trauma these girls go through. But at the same time, he did... I guess, like, manage to bring these girls up to where they are now for the potential to save the world. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm so conflicted about him as a character. But, but for one thing, I, yeah, I do respect and also am conflicted about him at the same time. And now you know why we are paranoid about Locha and Honkai Star, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> if if Locha is any as big's brain as Otto is... Yeah. I'm terrified of him. Although he is locked away right now. Although he is there willingly. He's in like the Cienjo's prison willingly and not of like of his own volition. So Yeah, who knows what he's what auto auto like Lorcha is planning. Do you think the coffin is the variant of Kalen? Maybe. Now, yeah, not now that I've seen this, yeah, maybe in that coffin is Kalen. Maybe. <laughs> I wonder if we'll ever get the, the answer as to who's in the coffin with Lorcha. But alright, that concludes the end of Honkai Chronicles Autopocalypse. Man, yeah, this, this stream is like going by quick. And now we have a few animations left in order to watch. And then we'll end it all off with... um. And yeah, we'll end it all off with uh, the cooking trip. <laughs> uh, the cooking with the Valkyries, just to alleviate some of the trauma we've been through. Uh, give me a second, because considering this has taken this long, I... Give me my second to like, text my family that I'll be late to dinner tonight. <laughs> I do want to finish this, don't get me wrong, but... Actually, yeah, I'll stretch, I'll stretch things out a bit more here, so... Let me just message my family real quick. Um, that, yeah, that, uh, I'll have to stretch the stream for a bit, bit longer. Okay. Yeah, have to have to message my family that I'm late to dinner. But all right, next trailer. You guys are already saying in a chat, "Pink Jesus," <laughs> and yeah, hopefully I do know why you all of you guys call her Jesus. Okay, back to an animated short because of you. And I believe this character. I, I think I've seen her when she was first coming out, Alicia. I think that's her name. <laughs> Forgive me if I'm butchering her name, but I think that's what she's called. Yeah, I think I've actually seen her around, like, in, like, some, in some sponsor segments from YouTubers, uh, when I was watching Genshin videos. Not sure what she's all about. <laughs> all that I know is she's pink, she's pretty, and a lot of people call her Pink Jesus. But alright, let's begin watching. This is an eight minute, an eight and a half minute long trailer. So, let's get right into it, now.
Mi Hoyo anime, Hoyoverse. Okay, so yeah, now we're in the Hoyoverse arc of a. Uh... Whoa. So at this point in the story, Otto is long and dead. Oh. Hello, Miss Pink. Whoa, domain expansion. Gosh, she, she has such a pretty design. What the heck? Oh god, her voice is so hot. <laughs> Sorry, not to be a sip or anything. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? <laughs> Fucking enemies like launching CDs at her? Whoa, what? Going, oh god, to bondage. Oh, now we're in the Elysium realm arc. Whoa, what the? Yeah, what's going on? Why is everything just like glitching and everything? She lost a fucking arm as well. <laughs> the metaverse is wild. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Whoa, what happened to her? Did she fucking became data? Oh, holy feet. <laughs> Vera Alicia. Delete complete. What? This is Hersha corruption, by the way. Oh, okay. The booba. Who's this girl? Oh, magic <laughs> magic go transform. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> oh my gosh, she's fucking... <laughs> Who are all these guys? So many freaking new characters. <laughs> oh, I've seen a lot of artwork of her on Twitter. <laughs> I don't know what her name is though. A pony, I, I believe. Oh, there's Yai Sakura. Oh yeah, there's a bass drop. Holy shit! Die, Eva Eyeball! <laughs> oh god, she got like 10 times prettier. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> don't do that, I'm gonna simp. <laughs> Oh, 
Holy fuck! <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> I fucking love the music in the Hoyo, dude. What the hell? Is that a whole ass mealer of her? <laughs> okay, now I know why you guys call her fucking Pink Jesus. This music fucking goosebumps again. <laughs> right in the fucking eyes. <laughs> oh. oh, that's the end of it. Damn, what another fucking go to freaking animated short. My name. The Elysium Realm arc was one and a half years. <laughs> you don't have a choice, you have to sim for her. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of characters in that that I don't know about. I'm guessing that, yeah, they were all new characters that came in. As a whole auto storyline was done. Hey, who are all these? I'll probably learn when I watch like like the full story as a whole of Honkai Impact. They're the 12 flame chasers in the Elysian realm. The day we say farewell to her is the day we meet her. 365 days of love. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't recognize all these characters. They must be like the newer characters that were introduced after like the main story. Previous era heroes, one of them being Fuhua. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I recognize her. She, she gets a lot of <coughs> fan art on Twitter. I think her name's Aponia or something. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> what's up, Honka Impact characters and fucking challenging godlike beings with a baseball bat? <laughs> God, she's so pretty. <laughs> Baseball are the ultimate weapons of the Castlanas. Yeah, I, I thought that was Kevin for a second there. I, I wasn't sure. I didn't want to say in case I was wrong, but yeah, that, that was Kevin. So this... Wait, okay, so is the Elysian Realm takes... Does it take place after the auto storyline? Or does it take place like way before? Like in the... It's a previous era storyline pretty much. The 12 Flame Chasers, Kevin, Alicia, Aponia, Eden, Will V. Kalpas, Sue Sakura, Cosma, Mobius, Greece, Grisio, Juan Pardo Felis. Oh, it takes place during the, okay, the whole thing. The Elysian Realm is a whole simulation, okay. Yeah, let me scroll up here just to read what you guys said, because I think I need a bit more explanations. Yeah, and I've heard from you guys, yeah, Shaoji did write this arc. I have no doubt in my mind it's just as freaking awesome as this cutscene is. Defeat the Hersher of Corruption by, by deleting the entire Elysian realm with the Hersher still in it. Oh, okay. After the Elysian realm, only three are alive. Jeez. So out of all those characters I see here, only three of them survive? Good lord. Oh yeah, you guys, I think you guys have told me at some point that nine of them, like, die during this arc. Which is, damn. Also, yeah, just for an encore, let me, let me, uh, 
watch this again. Just because I want to see it again. And yep, there's our boy Kevin. God, that bass drop is so good. Sue's a Baiju lookalike. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, yeah, that guy looks suspiciously like Baiju. Yeah, what's this, this song called? Sorry, you're gonna hear me say that a lot because all these are bangers. Only. Okay. <laughs> yep, too late. I'm simping. <laughs> true. Or true E. I'm... Okay, that's what the song title's called. Yeah, thanks for letting me know, guys, because. <laughs> Half of these songs that are playing here are gonna go to my freaking playlist. Flame Teachers, Ice Cream, Miss Pink Elf, Mommy Eponia, Rich Drunken, Vil the Gang, Big Ass D <laughs> Dr. Blind, Dr. Ears, Emo Boy, Snake, Jedi Seal, Hua and the Cat. Yep, I've become a part of the Elysia, <laughs> the Elysia Sims Parade. <laughs> Sue's like stuck outside of the universe, can only really observe at the moment. Yeah, once again, I'm, I'm missing a lot of context when it comes to these cutscenes, but it doesn't stop them from making me so hyped about watching all of them. Yeah, after seeing all these cutscenes and whatnot, I do want to like, maybe like watch a full-on playthrough of the, of the Honkai Impact story as a whole. To, maybe not, maybe not anytime soon, because Honkai Impact freaking lore takes a long time to like go through and process but yeah maybe one of these days one of these days i will watch a full-on honkai playthrough where's our alicia in honkai sarreal march looks alike but she's less bouncy <laughs> yeah i think that's another thing too that a lot of people um have theorized that march is like an alicia like xp I think some people have even made jokes that uh, at least that like, March is like <laughs> Alicia's daughter or something. Yeah, I'm not sure like if those are if they if those two are gonna be connected necessarily, but it will be cool like if like yeah if they do reference that in the in the game itself. Next one is the part one finale. Okay, so yeah, the next one is preview of Honkai Impact Third part one finale, and then graduation trip. Okay, so could you guys let me know like what is part one and part two? Part two, I think, is like a whole revamp of the game as a whole, but I'm not sure what's beyond that. Yeah, the fucking tr track here absolutely fucking rocks. Part one is the ending of Kiana and the group story. Part two takes place on Mars. Oh, okay. Part one is chapter one to 35. Okay, so then from part two onwards, we're going to be like moving away from Kiana. I see. Kiana, Maze, and Bronya stories. Okay, and then part two is... Okay. I, I think I understand now. Okay. Uh, but yeah, next up is preview of Honkai Impact 3rd Part 1 finale opening, and then, yeah, graduation trip, which I'm assuming is like the end of the Kiana story in Honkai Impact. But okay, so, yeah, interesting that it says preview right here, and not like the full-on, like, end of it. Or like, yeah, the full-on, like, uh, cutscene is showing the end. There's also part 1.5, which is after part 1, but before part 2. Yeah, which is like the last trailer in the playlist here. So, yeah, we're gonna, yeah, watch the remainder of these. And then probably end of the stream there. Yeah, we'll watch part 1.5 too, and make that like our last one before like... Ian, yeah, we'll watch Cooking with the Valkyries, just to alleviate the depression at the very end. And then end it off the stream there. Yeah, don't worry. Cooking with Valkyries will save for last. 
it's just that, yeah, after all this, that will be, like, the end of our Honkai, like, lore diving. Probably will continue, like, in a different stream. Not sure when that stream will be exactly, but I'll let you guys know in my community tab when that does happen. But, all right. Oh, yeah, right. Akron's PV as well. I, I, I do want to rewatch that with, the, like, the new context that I have in my mind now. But, okay. Uh, preview of Honkai Impact 3rd uh, Part 1 finale opening. Open, interesting, it says opening, so it's just like a full on anime opening. Whoa! Right into the action. Oh, now we're. Oh, okay. Now we're in space. Whoa, is this on 60 frames? They got an upgrade I see here. Uh, our boy Kevin. Holy fucking power. <laughs> Hey, there's me. And yeah, you guys pointed out like each heart has like a dragon following them, which is kind of cool, I think. <laughs> Holy fucking anime! <laughs> Moon's origin and finality. Part one finale. Okay, I'm, I am interested though as to why they're all fighting Kevin all of a sudden. Hmm. God, yeah, that, that was a fucking hype fucking trailer. Holy shit. <laughs> Kevin in his strongest form. No, only Void has a dragon. Okay, never mind. The dragon May was riding with Sasirin dragon. Okay. Yeah, the fucking main trio going up against Kevin. That is just fucking hype right there. That is just like, yeah. That's how you know it's like the end of like an era. Kevin wants to turn humanity or humans into new things to keep them alive. Hmm. Remember the conversation Welt and Akron had in HSR? I, okay, I don't remember everything, but I think I also watched that after the Acheron PV, too. Um, with the newfound context of all the Honkai Impact stuff we just watched. You get a special animation if you have all three characters together. Hmm, I see. Me divorces and took the kid. <laughs> But okay, now I think what is like actually like the full on ending for part one of Honkai Impacts. Yeah, graduation trip. That name just already seems to me like it's like the, fi the finality of like everything. Hang on, let me scroll up here for a second. After the part one finality, Doo and Kiana saving Siegfried and Kiana transcended. Part 1 is Kiana's story, part 2 is a few years after about Kiana's students, okay. Time to cry? Oh boy. <laughs> that update, all of them get their special skins. In previous era, after the 12th Hersher showed up, the final Hersher, the 13th, descended and destroyed Earth's surface. The point is after the 12th Hershers has been defeated in the current era. Okay. And now, like, here is, like, yeah, the ending to everything. <laughs> the ending to part one of Honkai Impact. And the end of, like, yeah, Kiana's story and whatnot. Oh, boy. If you guys are saying it's time to cry, then... I better brace myself, then. Okay, but... Let's go. Final part of part one. Graduation trip. Oh. Uh, whoa. 
Breaking the fourth wall. Whoa. Holy, wait, that's Kiana? God, she looks so different. Otto. Hey, what are you doing here? Are you supposed to be dead? I'll go away, creepy dolls. <laughs> what the? What is he doing here, too? <laughs> しかし残念だ。僕たちの物語はもう終わった。過去の人は過去に残ってもらおう。じゃあ、さよなら。I'm assuming that was all in her head. What the? Oh. Uh. Oh, back where they all began. <laughs> the, the thing here is still destroyed after their fight. <laughs> the school never bothered to repair it. <laughs>。いろいろあったね。本当にいろいろあったわ。今回もここでお別れなの。いいえ。今回は最後まで一緒に歩くわ。Oh my god, they're roommates, chat. Roommates till the end. <laughs> so, we have to go to a lot of places. Oh, everybody's just leaving peacefully now. Aww. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's Bronny and Sila. <laughs> oh my god, they're in Inazuma. Oh, Sakura. Oh, the gang's all here. <laughs> Got the music. Uh Spy shot there, Hoyo. <laughs> Kiana. Oh, yep. Good friends are going away. Will you wish them to remember your name? Good days. Ah, this story would have been nothing without him, Echo. Of course. Whoa. 
Man, why do I want to cry? I even know what's gonna happen. But it's always like, I know something. Ugh. Music is so freaking emotional. Oh, sevens and Chad, boys. Oh, sevens and Chad. Salute for Kiana. <laughs> Thus concludes the end of dedicated to every captain supporting this game. Hawkeye Impact Third current team and made short production team. Thank you for joining our journey. This is a story we created together, as in the past, as in the future. Man, what an what an end of the what an end of an era. I'm probably gonna need to ask you guys what this um planet this purple eye thing is. Because I'm not sure what happened to Kiana at the end, just... Did she get a happy ending? Did she get a happy ending? Or did she go sac like sacrifice herself again? Either way, I'm leaving a like on that one. Man. It's a cocoon of finality. Oh. Atuna has grown up into a beautiful and reliable woman. What's the transcend cutscene? For Honkai Star Rail Places, you can think of her as an Eon. Damn. Yeah, when, when did this come out? One year ago. So, you guys hadn't, like, probably gone on, like, if you played Honkai Impact Threat at the beginning, and kept playing it up till, like, this part, you would have gone for, like, a seven-year journey with this woman. And then you have to say goodbye to her. I, I can't imagine how, how that feels for, for you guys. And then, yeah, from here on out, it's no longer Kiana's story. <laughs> Let the people in the past stay in the past. Said auto costs half the storyline from trying to revive Callan. <laughs> yeah, I found that quote kind of ironic coming from Otto, of all people. Oh. Fate once questioned the world, so the hero gave an answer. Across the endless samsara, create a story for everyone. This everyone... Uh, this everyone. <laughs> this animated short is presented by Mihoyo Anime. The theme song is Da Capo. It's produced by Mihoyo's in-house music team, Hoyo Mix. Da Capo. Oh, that's a track name. Man. I stopped Honkai Impact 3rd for a few years. The reason I played it again was because it was about to end. Kiana has to leave Earth along with the entire Honkai energy to let Earth heal. She's trapped on the moon containing the Honkai from Earth. Oh, and she sees herself on, her, on the moon. Okay, so I guess in some ways it is self-sacrifice. It's still happy end though. GGG Kiana has to fight with the Honkai God at the end of time to keep the Honkai away from our world. And now we have part two, which is another male and female protagonist, but that's another discussion. Yeah, part two, part, part, part two stuff will leave for a completely different time. As of right now, I think, yeah, we'll just sub up part one for now.
She's just chilling on the moon with her god powers. Okay, I see. Okay, and you guys said to watch... What was it? Um, Transcend cutscene. That's not this one, right? No, that's not. So let me search up. Honkai. Impact. Tran. Transcend. Oh, this one right here. Okay. <laughs> and there's even a track connected to it called Finality. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll watch that first before we watch, like, the 1.5 stuff. And then probably we'll end it off with, like, well, not, yeah, we'll watch all the stuff I said earlier <laughs> in order. Okay, Transcend. Two, and f two minutes, 50 seconds long. Kiana's now on the moon, living a lazy life with a ramen cup, video games, and, and the homework shit she will never complete. The skin that made every Honkai third player drain their wallet dry? Oh boy. Yeah, let's, let's yeah, watch this first to conclude part one as a whole. They said Kiana will come back, but knowing Xiaoji, you don't have my hopes too high. I mean, it could happen, but I guess we'll never know if it does. Okay, let's uh, begin watching Transcend. And yeah, to sum up part one. I love that you could also slowly tell how Honkai, like, Honkai's animations, like, improve over time. Oh. There it is. Himiko's sword. Oh, she left her sword behind, too. Now, Hmm. Oh, Otto. <laughs> of course. Hey, look, it's a four star wish. <laughs> Just kidding. God, this music is getting me fucking amped up. <laughs> Jimmy, Holy, what? Yes. Okay, Akko. <laughs> I mean, Raiden. That's a very fucking different look for her. <laughs> Whoa, who's that? <laughs> oh, Elysia, of course. <laughs> Whoa, okay, and that's how she got her fucking new look. Luckily, yeah, that, that fucking outfit on her looks fucking gorgeous. And so does Ride and Endings, too. Damn. May got, <laughs> May got Alicia's powers. That's the skin I mentioned. Kiana became a Hersher of the Flame Shion and became a true Hersher. I see. I cannot unsee that Kiana with that outfit but without cat ears. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I've seen some memes <laughs> with her having cat ears on with that outfit. The universe is truly very fortunate compared to Acheron's world. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't call the Honkai Impact world fortunate. 
per se. I would not call it fortunate by a long shot. No, no, no. I think it's the exact opposite of fortunate. Also, damn, what a fucking shot at the end here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, save that screenshot. Probably use that as thumbnail material. Mace Alpha was designed by Elysia, essentially. Oh, okay, I see. Mega Elysia's powers. Uh, Kiana got Kakuna Finale's powers, or Bronya, she got Welt's powers. Okay, and that's... Yeah, the summary of, like, how the, yeah, how they're, how they all ended up here. But damn, though, what a fucking journey. I mean, I've been only here for, like, five hours and didn't <laughs> experience, like, the most of Honkai Impact story, which I do want to do. I think, yeah, I've made up my, my mind that I do want to, yeah, eventually do a stream or do streams where I, like, watch a Honkai Impact story. Like, a full-on playthrough of the whole thing at some points. I'm not sure when, but I maybe I will do it at, at some points. Yeah, Kevin versus the fucking Chureho. <laughs> but okay, now that we're done with all the part one stuff, yeah, we'll, we'll finish it off with watching 1.5, this last one in the playlist here. We're going to be re-watching Acheron's PV in Honkai Star Rail, and also re-watching the conversation between Welt and Acheron in Star Rail. And then we'll end off with Cooking with the Valkyries, just, to, just for some nice wholesome goodness. Watch 4.6 PV. Um, I, I think we're pushing it, guys. I think we're pushing of how long I can, I can stream here. Like, I've already stressed the stream out for like an extra hour than I'm supposed to. So yeah, we'll save PVs for another time. Part 1 finale trailer? Um, wait, didn't we watch that, though? Is, isn't this the part 1 finale trailer, like right here? Or is it a different one entirely? Yeah, we, we have seen the part one finale right here. It's already done. Okay, but yeah. Last thing... Yeah, last, I guess, five... Uh, actually, how many... Um, I gotta see here. How many uh, Cooking Valkyries videos are there? Sort of like the last five videos or so. Oh my god, wait, Cooking with the Valkyries, wait, there's actually episodes to this? Okay, maybe I'll watch like one or two of these videos, not all of them, probably, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll end it off with Cooking with Valkyries. But okay, now we move on to the last, um... Yeah, one in the playlist here. Part 1.5 concept trailer, hailing from Nagazora and falling into Abyss. So this happens all after Kiana's story. It's long two seasons. Yeah, we'll probably like watch the first episode and just leave it at that. Maybe we'll watch the rest another time, but yeah, we're stretching things out here. But okay, part 1.5 concept trailer. Interesting. So I wonder if, if, if any of this is like canon. Up, oh, and that's Durandal and Sela, I think. Oh yeah, the motorcycles definitely Sela's. Whoa! Damn, this fucking beat! <laughs> okay, I thought Kiana took all the Honkai energy to the moon. Why are these guys still here? <laughs> oh, the fucking choir? <laughs> Okay, that, that trailer didn't really tell me much of what's going on, but I'm guessing after the whole... Yeah, after part one was concluded. I guess Sila takes over as protagonist. I think for this... For 1.5, that is. Hmm. Basically, it's Venus. 1.5 is essentially two arcs. One focusing on Sila and the other one on Fuhua. The rest is on the moon. Ah, okay, I see. So... Fu okay, focusing on Fuhua and Sila's arcs. I see. 
Saving Siegfried uh, cutscene left. Only 1% of the Honkai are at Earth. Oh, 1%. Okay. So, so there's still Honkai exists on Earth. It's just very, very reduced. It's about Fuhua traveling to another planet and saving all the aliens while seeing Tavat? While, while Sia comes to Tavat? Okay, so I'm not sure what's the concept behind that, but... But yeah, save for, we'll save all this for another time. For the rest of the videos, I've missed out for another time, but... Okay, we are done with the Honkai Impact 3rd stuff as a whole. And now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go back to Honkai Star Rail, Acheron... Yeah, and watch that one more time. Like, rewatch it again with the newfound context that we have. Um, I believe it was, yeah, the Mirror Celestia teaser. And now with this newfound knowledge of all the stuff regarding Honkai Impact, maybe I'll understand more things as a whole here. And also Honkai... Alright, Star, Star Rail, Welts, and Acheron, like, yeah, the conversation between those two. And then we'll end it off with, like, yeah, Cooking with the Valkyries. Okay. Yeah, let, let, let's rewatch this one more time. Who's Vod are we using here for the V, for the... The dialogue. Uh, I'm just gonna watch like somebody's random video about like the yeah, the conversation between the yeah Acheron and Welts. It doesn't really matter which one I watch here. But okay, I played this yeah at the beginning of the intro because I did want to rewatch this again. But actually, no, this is the mere Celestia teaser. What am I talking about? Do you still? But yes, now the newfound context of Hawkeye Impact. Let's rewatch Acheron's trailer and see if I can pick up anything that I might have missed the first time seeing it. Watch a you and me cutscene? Guys, I, I have to stress that I'm out of time for today. I can at most watch these last three videos and end off the stream there. Like, if I'm gonna watch more Honkai Impact videos, it'll probably be in a different stream, because as of right now, like, my family's gonna, probably gonna yell at me for being late to dinner, so... Yeah, another time, guys. Another time. But alright, Mirror Celestia trailer. Let's rewatch Acheron's yep yeah, a trailer here. Do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? Yeah, this is looking very much familiar now. <laughs> now I've seen a uh, Honkai Impact. Because in times past, when the Yao Yorozu no Kami descended here. They brought death and disaster. Also, yeah, this world in its it does seem slightly different as to what happened in to Honkai save Impact. The world. Izumo splintered 70,033 blades and forged them into the 12 Sentinels. Yeah, okay, the 12 Sentinels. I now I understand what that's all about. Forged by the Sovereign of Revelation. It could teach mortals the way of the law. And, and yes, now each of these like yeah, represent like the 12 Hershers. I'm, I understand now. <laughs> the second was Sky, forged by the Eternal Zenith. It could form a barrier from the firmament and prevent the innumerable gods of misery from passing through. Okay, so I think that was Void, pretty much. The, was Howell, the Hersher Void. Able to summon lightning to rend Howl, aka the Hersher of Lightning. Punishment. The fourth was Mist, able to break Earth and tear cloud uh, with the I wind don't know what rain. the fourth one is. The fifth was Frost, freezing the land in an instant. The sixth was fate. The restless cycle. Of yeah, I think I remember the, like the first three Hershers, and after that, it's just a mystery to me. Thought, root, form, bind, maw. Actually, I'm, I think a comment below explains which one corresponds to which ideology. Victory after victory. Until all of them were broken. The price of every victory was a world in its entirety. Hmm. And in the end, that entirety was lost. Bad and ending. So Izumo splintered twelve sentinels and forged them into two bearers. The first was origin. And finality, which the represents Kiana. Was end. Or end. The world. I guess the two mean the same thing, anyways. Forty-seven blades, and only one could save Izumo. But you and I both know the road to salvation. Oh, win, win for the third sword. Okay, I thought it, I thought it was lightning, but no, lightning comes much later on. 
Sorry. Resisting the Kamigami, humanity will eventually become Oni. We pawned everything, more for the destruction of two worlds. In times past, Takamagahara, upon which the Kami descended. Oni zombies, okay. I think that's, yeah, that's what I assumed it to be. So, do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? Because of a lie. An end that never existed. We long since strode into their shadow. Oh yeah, and then freaking... Each step forward one that we can... Nihility kind of consumed the whole planet, didn't it? Until the last blade is forged into... Yeah, that planet's near a black hole, yeah. Truth is truth, sky is void. And yet. Yeah. Vo and yet. Howl is thunder, min mist is wind. Yeah, pretty much. It's just like, yeah, if you knew Hawkeye Impact was stuff to begin with. I actually believe, like, somebody asked pointed Ed down here, but yeah. Frost is ice, fate is death, flare is flame, root is star, form is dominance, thought is sentience, maw is corrupt, and bind is binding. If you watch the CN version, the last blade was not made from life, but from human. And you know what? Elysia is her share of human. Ah, okay. Yeah, with this newfound lore, I hope I, like, if anything regarding Honkai Impact comes out in 2.2 of Star Rail, yeah, hopefully I'll understand it as a whole. Okay, and then, yeah, now that we've watched that, let's also go back to Welt and Akron's conversation here. Because now, like, yeah, with this newfound knowledge, I think I'll be able to piece together what guest. they're talking about. Could you come out for a second? Yeah, it doesn't matter who we watch it from, we'll just watch it from here. I'd be embarrassed, too, getting stared at like that. Uh, forgive me. Uh, my name is Welt Yang. I'm my name's Welt Yang, and I've met Hugh you, Gay Lover and I many other people. <laughs> you've met my colleagues. Well. Is there something about my name? Also, interesting that Akron First, seems to know. Don't you want to know my name? Like, well, I already do, Miss Acheron. You're a prominent figure in Panacone. What are they saying about me? Oh, yeah, Some like the world from this world, the yes. Culprit behind these murders. Because, yeah, what did come to this world? It would, like, and. So that subsequently means there's probably like a Welk XP that exists in this world that probably Akron has heard about. I wonder if then if some point we're going to see like two Welts walking about like next to each other, unless that Welt is dead. That the Annihilation Gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blade. And that you're now attempting to unleash another bloodbath on Penicone. The Annihilation Gang. Ifrit of Everflame Mansion. Tragic fate. That duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as a martyr. He was a determined and heroic path writer. Okay, I uh, think we can just skip all this because we already know what happens in game. Do they really think that a blade is more dangerous than that black hole you're wielding? Keen intuition. Not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this cane. Okay, so is the cane p part of Welt's powers as, as I guess, an ex um, Hersher? Or is it like something else entirely? Hmm. So you must surely know, Miss Acheron. Maybe Acheron killed Welt? Maybe. Is hmm. not a wise move. As oh, a the Star of friend, Eden. Your knowledge of us has reached. Right, I forgot you guys mentioned that. Depths. Reveal your true identity. It's a divine key of gravity. A reforged star of Eden. Okay. I mean, they say okay, but I'm, the star of Eden has not come up once. But if it makes the nameless throughout the whole like of us watching, unless it did, then I'm just forgetting. Believe it or not, Galaxy Ranger, 
Acheron. The black hole, the harsher of reason wields. Okay. Which is funny because the Star of Eden looks like a gun. Oh, right in the Welt lore video. Yes, we did see it there. My bad. I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. And that's it. I think I've been honest enough. Still unwilling to reveal your true identity? Hmm. It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't. Okay, this this is not the conversation I wanted to watch. Actually, I, I've only now realized I, I looked at the wrong one, but this one. The, the conversation <sighs> they have after meeting with each other. Miss Acheron, now it's my I clicked on the wrong one. My apologies. Story with you. There was a man from my homeland who, at a time when the world was grappling with deep, unhealable pain, made a choice. And that's Otto. No, no, Kevin, we Kevin. together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes, and shouldered this burden himself. From this, he created a giant. It's playing the Kevin Adam, OST. Virtual Adam. Yeah, shout out to Street Rhapsody moment, for that. <laughs> I don't think this music is actually in the game. ...and Earth becoming the pillar of the world's existence. As a price, those who found it hard to move forward who could not advance forever lost their future mm -hmm. they slumbered in a dream devoid of disaster and pain living out their days peacefully in the man's created utopia and it is because of the wishes of those people who wished not to awaken that this spiritual atom became unbreakable right project stigma and yet, you stand here right now, which also means that man failed. Because people must always move towards the future. Even if human weaknesses make them pause when they truly cannot move forward, humanity will eventually seek a way to save itself. Hmm. And that man he was never a failure like everyone in that world he etched the possibilities of human nature into his heart he was the sun chaser of legend right icarus towards the sky and embracing his final victory when he ascended to heights uncharted only to come face to face with the sun a place not visited by anyone before his wings would melt because of it, only for him to fall into the sea. And after that, countless others would surpass him, soaring to even greater heights. Our girl Kiana, and also many a others. A metaphor for the nameless's trailblazing spirit. Thank you, Mr. Yang. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to confirm. the power of the lesbians. The universe has innumerable similar yet different worlds. In these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike yet don't. I too have embarked Wait. innumerable people. Hmm. People who look alike yet don't. I too have embarked on journeys, encountering old friends with familiar faces on different worlds. Witnessing their destinies follow paths similar to mine. So I will tell you, even if not completely similar, the story you just told, it overlaps with my past. And within that abyssal dream, I ended that man's life alone. And within that abyssal dream. Kevin seeks to absorb everyone consciousness into a dream and anchor it into imaginary space. Thus, his logic will save humanity from destruction by the final harsher to the finality. I ended that man's life. Right. And alone. And seemingly, Akron killed his world's Kevin. I am not who you think I am. Nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. I am sorry. It's fine. I don't mind, so long as I can alleviate your suspicions. Hmm. 
you think Kevin or Kevin Acheron is a combination of May and Doctor May? I have no idea about Doctor May. She hasn't come up once in this, so I don't know anything about her. Exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated your solitary journey thus far, Mr. Yang? Before answering that question, I wish to continue the previous topic. I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. Birds are born to fly. But in a distant past, their ancestors could only gaze at the sky in envy. They saw that faraway ray of light from above the heavens, hmm. piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And so, time and time again, generation after generation, the birds spread their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch its ceiling. All because the sun was there. Dr. May is a previous era then, of, of Ryder May, who's also Kevin's lover. Oh, I see. Into the sky, only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness. Hmm. Then why, exactly, do we even walk towards the light? Okay, and that's the end of that. Man, it's like... Yeah, you miss a lot of context, like, if, if you don't know nothing about Honkai Impacts. Yeah, like, like, that flew over my head the first time I saw it around, but now, now I'm finally understanding, yeah, everything that, that was said in that cutscene. Well, mostly everything. I probably need some clarifications on a few things. But as a whole, I think I, yeah, know what the both of them are talking about. And yeah, hopefully, like... Yeah, probably Akron's gonna probably bring up some stuff about herself in 2.2, and hopefully then too will I understand, like, yeah, uh, what what stuff she references and whatnot. Yeah, Ke I know Kevin questioned like the question, why do birds fly? Yeah, because they need to fly. So basically, previous era ran headfirst into finality. Akron's planet ran into IX. Yeah, which pretty much just ended her whole world. GGZ, Dr. May is pure evil, but in Honkai 3rd, she was not a bad girl, so in Honkai Serio, she may be different this time, too. Yeah, I think so far, Akron has not proven to be, like, evil in the slightest. I think she's pretty much been the most trustworthy comrade we had of the entirety of Panagani. I mean, fucking... Firefly lied to us, and she's actually Sam. Uh, Gallagher is extremely sus, as you all know. Sunday, I'm not sure what she's all, he's all about. And uh, Robin, Robin is also, I guess, trustworthy too, but we know nothing about her. <laughs> Other than she's like a super pop star and everything. Uh, Russian, Russian, slow down there. I I only said I have enough time to watch like a few more videos. If if there's any other videos you want me to watch, that'll be for next time. As of right now, I can't, like, watch all videos from Honkai Impact as of right now. Because we, we're, we ran out of time for today. So, yeah, be patient and wait till, like, the next time I stream Honkai. Like, I'll do another one of the, these streams. But, okay. Now we're all freaking caught up with Honkai Impact. Well, mostly. Mostly caught up with everything here. And now, just to alleviate all depressions... Yeah, we're gonna watch just one episode of Cooking with Valkyries. So just to... Yeah, alleviate the depression we've just all been through in today's stream. This is a venturing to prove this theory correct. Um... Everyone is a snake, you can't trust nobody. True, Aventurine was a bit of a bit sus at the beginning. This is a great stream, thanks for bearing of all this lore. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I need to process all of this like once the stream ends. I probably need to watch those videos like ten times over to fully grasp everything. But yeah, this has been an enjoyable time. i I'm fully I'm heavily enjoying like learning more about Honkai Impact and what started the whole thing with Hoyo and everything. Yeah, th this has been a very, very enjoyable stream. And hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me react to all these videos too.
<laughs> but okay, we're gonna end it off with Cooking with Valkyries. I didn't know there was like so many episodes, but yeah. Uh, how long is each episode actually? Five minutes. Okay, we can spare five minutes to just watch the first episode. I'm probably not gonna watch anything beyond that, but episode 10. Hold up, wait. Oh, no, this episode, okay, it's arranged in, yeah, opposite chronological order. Yeah, sure. <laughs> to, to alleviate the depression we've just been through, yeah, let's, let's watch Cooking the Valkyrie, Season 1, Episode 1, five minutes long, and then we'll probably call the stream there. But alrighty, we're done with all the Honkai Impact lore stuff, and now it's time to just get into some slice of life stuff with uh, the gang and whatnot. Alright, Cooking with Valkyrie, Season 1, Episode 1, Bronya's Special Borscht. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, him goes still alive here. <laughs> oh my god, this is so fucking cute. <laughs> wow. The contrast between this and the entirety of Honkai Impact. Sally's non canon? Yeah, Sally. I don't think it, it was canon. <laughs> I had that feeling it wasn't canon to begin with, but. Yeah, I need this. I need this after the depressing shit we just been through. <laughs> if you watch the Chinese version, they sing it in English? Really? <laughs> I think I need to watch that like later on then. <laughs> yeah, fucking pee 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 pizza. I, I thought they were saying pizza, but I think that's what they're actually saying. <laughs> Ah, look at this. The world of Honkai Impact without the trauma. Yep. <laughs> oh, they're playing a fucking fighting game. Oh, and Hobo is there too. <laughs> yeah, the other girl is uh, Teresa, right? I, I think that's her name. She hasn't been brought up much, but I think that's her. Yeah, I think I know somewhat about her. Yep. <laughs> nah, Bronnie's just like, nah, fuck that. Holy crap, she just tore that fucking lettuce in half. <laughs> God, that was, that, that was a stupid fucking large lettuce. <laughs> I love how fucking cute this art style is. Yeah, fucking Christmas traffic is fucking rough, I tell ya. Luckily, that's not the case in my country, but in other countries, yeah. Traffic is freaking rough. <laughs> Also, don't mind my, my dog barking in the background. What the hell? Why is there so many of them? <laughs> Not gonna lie, this makes me want to learn cooking as well. <laughs> yeah, I love how fucking... How much of a fucking coup de ray <laughs> Bronya is in Honkai Impact? <laughs> She's somewhat reminding me of like Lynette's personality in Genshin. <laughs> gay, gay, homosexual, gay. Man, the power of gay was enough to wake her up, huh? <laughs> the power of lesbians. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that looks fucking good. Although, it's weirdly red. Almost too red. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why, but I feel like... Ho Oyo just decided to make this, just like, okay, we can't make our players too depressed now. <laughs> Let's actually make some, like, slice of life content to, like... Get their spirits back up. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
God, Bronya, stop thinking about your girlfriend for two seconds. <laughs> I love how tired of shit Himiko looks here. Silas <laughs> <laughs> just like, I'm watching you, no matter where you are. <laughs> oh, it's borscht, that's what she, she was cooking. What the fuck? They actually showed the recipe here? <laughs> okay. That's kind of cool, actually. It's just like, hey, if you want to make this yourself, here are the ingredients, and here's what you have to do. Well, that's that's kind of sick, honestly. <laughs> okay, that, but that was some really cute slice of life like stuff. Ah, I needed that. I needed that after the mounds of trauma I just watched. This is in English, too, if you watch the Chinese version. I think I'll watch that like yeah, maybe my own time or maybe afterwards. I think I made the dumplings that Fuhua made. Yeah, it's kind of cool that they also like help out with like actual cooking as well. Like if you want to like make the food yourself. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I needed this. I needed this after the, the amounts of freaking trauma. Actually, what did the comments say? <laughs> when I first played the game, this is what I expected from the story. God was I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is what everybody expected going into Honkai Impact at first. Until shit took a, a right turn and then it's just trauma after trauma. <laughs> but okay, I'm not gonna watch the rest of the Cooking with Valkyrie stuff. Maybe I will in like a separate stream, but as of right now, that is where I'm gonna conclude things for today. Also, yeah, the Hamu Lab stuff will save for like a separate stream entirely. But alrighty guys, that is where I'm gonna end things off for today for our Honkai Impact like reaction stream. Let me just turn up uh, the music back in um, Star Rail. Yeah, I think I mostly get what was happening. Yeah, what's happening in the entirety of the Honkai Impact lore and how like this. Yeah, how the simulators correlate with Star Rail as well as Genshin to some, to some extent. Yeah, holy shit, we've been streaming for like six hours, six hours straight. Good lord. Almost thick in half now, but yeah, after this I'm gonna have to take the time to like process everything and also take a rest. But yeah, this was a much enjoyable stream and maybe we'll resume watching all these Honkai Star Rail videos. Star Rail. Honkai Impact videos at a different point in time. But yes guys, that is where I'm gonna end things off for today everybody. Thank you all so much for coming out to watch everybody. Yeah, holy shit, we hit like 400 views in today's stream as well. But yeah, thank you all for tuning in. Be sure to leave on the... <laughs> Let me try it again. Be sure to leave a like on the stream if you enjoyed it, my reaction, and also to encourage me to like watch some more of the Honkai Impact videos live on stream. And yeah, be sure to subscribe as well, because tomorrow is a 2.2 update. Yep, Aventurine's banner is gone. And tomorrow is when Robin rolls around, and we're going to be playing the Honkai Star Rail 2.2 uh, story live. So yeah, subscribe if you want to see some more, uh, well, yeah, if you want to see me play that live, and also pull for Robin as well, and hopefully, you know, pick up some other Honkai Impact cues in Star Rail as well. But alrighty, folks, that is where I'm going to end things off for today, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys again in the next stream tomorrow, when we do pull for Robin and the rest of the gang. Yeah, I cannot wait for the, the rest of the Panacani story, and yeah, I cannot wait to see, like, and yeah, if there's anything related to Honka Impact that that's gonna be set in 2.2. But alright, folks, that's where I'm gonna end this off the first. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you can tell I'm tired. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna end off the stream for today, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. And yeah, hope you have uh, good luck when you're pulling for Robin tomorrow or Topaz as well. But alrighty, boys, that's where I'm gonna end things off for today, everybody. Take care and have a good night. And I'll see y'all again in the next one. Bye-bye. <sighs>